You never know when your time is going to come to rise above the rest, to seize the opportunity, to be crowned a champion. Is it time for your story to be told? The World Poker Tour. Welcome to the WPT World Championship from Wynn, Las Vegas. Five days ago, we started with 3,835 entrants and we are down to 44 today on day five. I'm Jamie Kirsten. I'm joined by Jesse Sylvia. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm doing great. I am very excited for today. A lot of friends still in the field that yeah. I'm rooting really, just people that are very easy to root for. A couple enemies I'm rooting hard against. Absolutely. You got to have some of those, you know? <laughs> and guys, a little bit you're going to be pretty happy. Chat all day yesterday, clamming, clamoring for mustache mark all day. It's all we saw you talk about. You'll be happy to know we are featuring him today. You know, women want him and men want to be him. <laughs> it's mustache Mark. It feels like his time. Sure. We have a pretty wild feature table today with Alex Foxen, mustache Mark, <laughs> Onkit, who I have a decent amount of experience with at the table. He is not the, a boring player to watch. Let's put it that way. He can go for it. And taking a look at our our leaderboard, Mustache Mark is the leader by a lot with 94 big blinds. Next closest is Ade, 37, Onkit, 35, all the way down to Mihai with only 13 big blinds. So he's going to have to make a move sometime soon. Blinds at 100K, 200K, 200K, big blind ante. Also a, a fan favorite, Roberto Romanello. I don't know if you've ever played with him before. Super good personality, really like interesting guy. Really? Mm-hmm. Man, I have learned of a few players and watched a few players during this tournament that I didn't know much about, and it's been really fun. Yeah. I wasn't uh, very familiar with Ren Lin until uh, day three, I think, of Me this too. tournament. Man, that guy is unbelievable. <laughs> Me too. He's so funny. It's awesome how one player like that at a feature can kind of like loosen everybody else up, too. It was a really chatty table for so deep in the tournament. Yep. For sure. Thank you. Not a normally More talkative group, group and all of a sudden they're just all chirping. That's Roberto Romanello right there. Oh, I, I think we he have was, played together. Um, sponsored by Party Poker back in the day. That's how I got to know him. Nice. He's uh he's considering it with the five three offsuit. 
thinks better of it. I actually played day one with, with Onkit. He, uh, his whole table presence, you'd think he'd be nittier, and he's definitely not. That's what I'm saying. You, you, you think he's going to be a big nit just based on general physical I think it's tells. the way he dresses know. and everything. Yeah. I was like, oh, this guy is going to be very reasonable. And then he just yeah, he got involved a lot. Yeah, he's well-dressed, groomed. He's got the nice glasses polite. and watch. He's very polite on the quieter side. And then he just gets real gangster out yeah. of nowhere. Oh, yeah, mustache mark, Alex Fox in blind versus blind confrontations. That's what I'm here for. You guys can uh, watch yeah, dual streams in a few hours. Maybe also, we have the, the prime final table. Uh, 1.4 million, I believe, for first in that one also, if you want to have both up. Mm -hmm. And then in the field, we have the $1 million one drop tournament also going on. I believe there's 14 out of 17 players remaining. They're going to play down to a final table that we will cover tomorrow. I like this. More days, but keep it shorter. Me too. I think it's a, a lot less taxing physically and emotionally on these people who are like, why would we torture them? You know, I yeah. feel like it used to just be like this grueling uh, process, but like people want to, when they're playing for $5 million, they want to be able to think. Yeah. And I'm not saying you can sleep because every day that you make it further in one of these tournaments, the adrenaline's pumping a little harder. It's a little harder to sleep, but at least give them the opportunity to get a lot of <laughs> yeah. sleep. Yeah. It's probably where those like you know, all the meditation and stuff comes in where I'm like, I'm not really a big meditator, but I feel like people who are probably have it like have it made at this point in the tournament. Yeah. Could actually get themselves calm, go to sleep. Yeah, we're all big fans of meditation after day six. <laughs> Me high in the tank with thirteen big blinds and Queen Jack offsuit. He's considering doing something here and it we know it would work. But yeah, I, th I feel like that's a bit light. For sure. That would be maybe a little out of line. Definitely would require some sort of read or... Having experience with the player. Yeah. Knowing that he opens too wide. I, I have no idea at yep. this point. So. More like 90 minutes. Uh, 90 minutes? Oh, just, you don't have phones. So. Yeah, but he can tell me, right? He could. The stream is 30 minutes delay? I think so. But I don't know how anyone yeah. can get information. Yeah, of course. You can only get info on bank. I have a question for you, though. Does Mush Mustache Mark know that that's his nickname, or did Chat nickname him that, and we've just run with it? I'll take a water I think Henry came up with it on the fly okay. on day three when we were in here. And right after that happened, Mustache Mark ran pretty big bluff and got a massive hand to fold, oh, okay. and that, the legend was born right there. You got eight seconds. You got five oh. seconds. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is very Thank helpful you. for all the dealers out Sorry there. Some of them say when you have five seconds left in your clock and some don't. And mm. it's very helpful when they say five seconds. Yeah. Because you just, that's enough time for you to, whatever you are about to do, just get it out there mm -hmm. quickly. And these time extensions are 30 seconds know. piece? I, didn't want them to make a I believe so. Mm. No, what up? They might be a minute. I, I forgot I about I think that. they are 30, though. Like, at this point, yeah, a lot. Like have, of course, yeah. A good amount of players have a lot of time mm -hmm. extensions, so 30 is probably plenty if you're sitting on 12 of them. I feel like anybody who's got an online poker background tends to play kind of fast, even with, like, tough decisions. Yeah. Used to having one minute max yeah. on your time bank. I'm very serious. This it is like nice. Uh... I used to play mostly online poker. When I first started playing live poker, I was like, whoa, I actually no, have no time to... Yeah. Yeah. Too, too serious. Must have the 9-4 suited. Oh, Getting yeah. Through. Never met a hand he didn't like. Strap in. It's going to be quite a day, fellas. Some they have money here. So they don't need... He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't look guilty one bit. No. They don't like he <laughs> gave Fox a little look the, like, <laughs> I'm not locked in here with the, you. Um, the You're locked in here with me. The blonde. <laughs> White. She's still here, right? Mr. 150k <laughs> yeah, average buy-in. Took the chips, man. Uh, yeah. On table, like very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Barbie that's good at poker. <laughs> good combo. Who, who starts first? Good combo. Who starts? You or her? Her. Yeah? Alex talking about Chrissy. She started playing poker first. She was a she's an OG man. She's no TV. Chrissy Bicknell. She had a I bracelet in the ladies' a bracelet and I think the fifteen hundred bounty yeah. and then one other one she scooped along the way. Yep. And before any of that, I think she played something like thirteen million hands. Yeah, she was supernova elite on poker stars yeah, back she, in the day. I remember her posting uh not a graph but uh whatever. They're her stats. And I was absolutely blown away by how many mm -hmm. hands she had played. It was a number that seemed impossible, but you know, Zoom is another animal altogether. Yep. Well, deciding not to defend. And he was wise to let it go. I think had a big hand there. You had a good watch, sorry? I had a good one. A good one. Yeah. One King good, one off. bad. I wish I did. King sent off? No. No. One no. good, one bad. <laughs> no, both good. Oh, both. both you said good. you have good one. Both good. Yeah. Good hand. Good one, yeah. Two. You have good two. two. Good two, yeah, yeah. How good Eight. on a scale of one to ten? Top one percent. I got on a scale of one to five. On a, on a scale of one to ten, what is it? Believe me. What would you say your hand was? Ten. 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 Yeah. Wow. He said one percent. Yeah. That's wow. Hundred on a scale of one to hundred. Yeah. Believe me, here. <laughs> yes, one to thirteen. It's hard to lie. There, you do it. It, it felt like the nuts to me. It, it felt like the nuts. Okay, yeah. so it's changing a little bit. Yeah, it's changing a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I like Ankit. He's cool. Yeah. I'm a fan. Anything. Yeah. Great attitude, laid back demeanor, and yet relentless. It was always funny to me after Black Friday, meeting some of the guys that I played online with and just seeing their personalities and their screen names have nothing to do with each <laughs> other. I remember I met, I think he was like JD Killa, and he was the chillest, most baked dude I've ever. <laughs> I was like, this can't be your screen name. That's mean no pair. No pair. <laughs> two good ones. Not like no my screen name now, which is completely encapsulating my personality. Dan Bilzerian. That's yeah. That's <laughs> I, when I see you, I, all I think is, this is Dan Bilzerian. Total bro. Double. Yeah. I did. I. That's probably the worst part about not having chat. Yeah. Is oh, yeah, watching you get berated by people yeah. who think you're Dan Bilzerian. It was great. I, I played into it, though. I'd be like, oh, yeah, uh, I'll tell your girlfriend that you said hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those screenshots are some of the greatest <laughs> things ever. Doing a little card dance before we fold. You know, there's pay jumps looming. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. You got to do what you got to do to... Uh, you know, we're not judging. <laughs> Playing for a lot of money here. I, I go the opposite way with it when I'm... If we're on a bubble and I'm short or something, I'm just like, look, guys, I'm sorry to do this. I'm not going to be egregious, but I'm going to take about 20 to 30 seconds before I fold each hand. <laughs> I'll tell you that I'm folding so you don't have to, like open and then sit there like I'm, you know, staring at you and yeah. tanking or anything. If the other tables are doing it, you have to also, you're giving up some equity. Yeah, it's really frustrating. So Wynn has done the best job of solving that that I've seen so far, which is really cool. Or I should say WPT at the win. Mm -hmm. um, just handing out, they, they were doing 15 second preflop time banks and then you get time chips that are only 30 seconds. And that really sped up the process and allowed us to play a lot of hands on the bubble instead mm -hmm. of Everyone getting six hands a level. Five point two seven five four. Thought it was far and away the best solution I've seen. <coughs> we still might need the satellites to go hand for hand a little earlier. We had some 
pretty wild stalling going on. Yeah, that's the, those are the worst spots where people stall. Yeah. They did go hand for hand like six away, which was great. It's just Their win is awesome at that. They'll even do it for smaller tournaments, smaller satellites. They get on the policing like right away. Mm-hmm. Jason putting in a big race preflop. ID not going anywhere. And this flop is all 9-10 suited. It's going to be very difficult for Jason to win the pot, regardless of how ID decides to play it, because he's going to have to find a triple if he wants to win <laughs> yeah, this Yeah, now he's double gutted as well. Yeah. Non zero chance that the turn goes check check. Obviously, Adi has a lot of hand. The problem is, is if he does bet and he gets check shoved on, yeah. that's a huge disaster. Oh, wow. Wow. This is an interesting bet size, too, because what does ID do with his hand now? It seems like Jason's committed. He'd have, like, a good queen or something he's not willing to fold. Yeah, it looks that way. We know he's not committed, but generally I would expect my opponent to have, a, like, something he's going with almost mm -hmm. every time. Oh, this could be a fun river if Jason pulls the trigger. I'm assuming that was the plan with that turn sizing. But yeah. Easier said than done, though. I'm looking at 45 players left in this field. Jason has basically wow, no sick. blockers. He's blocking 5-7, but that's not a hand we're thinking about too often, given the flop. This, this is so gutsy. Yeah. He's essentially just, just running it with a hand. The 5 is somewhat relevant. Not super relevant. And this is just classic tough spot. You have a bluff catcher. You have a decent bluff catcher. The 10 is important. The 9. I thought that was a call at first. I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is crazy. Isn't it? It's a bit problematic to have two clubs in your hand, huh? It's not great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Jason should always be running it with flush draws, but if he is, he should be running with the lower flush draws. Mm -hmm. So maybe something like 10-5 of clubs goes for it if it raises preflop. Uh, these spots are really tricky because blind versus blind just gets played so differently from player to player that y you're just kind of in the dark about exactly what types of hands they're going to have. Which combo. Some people raise all their aces because, you know, it's an ace and it's mm -hmm. fairs to be the best hand. Other people use a more polar strategy and they're coming coming in there with raises with like nine do suited and stuff like that and then, then some of their better hands. Some people just do a lot of limping and play pretty passively. Sorry? Why is it Why I play? Makes a fold. Wow, sick play from Jason. Just see how he probably got here, you know? Yeah. Being able to pull the trigger, triple barrel, your whole tournament life. He just picked up nearly three million on a five million stack without being all in. That's pretty wild. Sixty percent of his stack. Trying to figure out where yeah. I played with Jason before. It might have even been New York City Underground Games. I know him for a while, but I'm really? trying to Yeah, I just don't know. Can't place it. Might be a Borgata guy, though. I'm, I'm really rooting for the Underground New York <laughs> yeah. game relationship. That's cool. Maybe he wins the tournament, and this is his first hand in mob entry. <laughs> you know? That'd be fun. I don't think there's many people left that have no hundred mob, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's rare these days. There's always a tournament nearby. <laughs> At least that's how it feels. You know what you start the hand with? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I start with. Where is the blind? He 
Leaves him with a strong hand. King Jack suited. He's only sitting on 24 blinds. This could be an all-in situation. The flat's okay too, right? Or did he yeah. go for the small? He went for the small three small bet. Three this bet. is interesting. You would not flat a hand like this? No, I think I generally flat or shove. Mm -hmm. I don't I think it's a little too strong for me to be three bet folding. But the thing is, is as you get deeper in this tournament and ICM becomes more of a factor, you start to almost naturally play a little bit more of like a small ball sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And three bet he folds with one. hands like this become a lot more reasonable. Huh? You see what's that one? That's a good hand. You'll you see that sort of play at final hand. tables, yeah. for instance. Mm -hmm. Oh, you good have in fold. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. Right, you're right. Yes, I agree. It's a fair point. You're right. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> good hand don't fold. No, <laughs> he tried to take my two chips, you know. Yeah. Funny guy. <laughs> No, really? That's what did, because he was on the bottom. Yeah. Tried to take the two chips and he got lost four. Oops. No. no. But yeah, generally in those positions, I would play it as a shove as well. What was I that just think one? it's a little too much hand to be three bet folding. No, 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 no. no? Okay. He only put in 1.2 and it. picked up the same amount yeah, that really I would get. Yeah, really small so. three bet. Yeah. Probably looks a little scarier, but I think you know you get into trouble with that sometimes. It's just that Jason had Ace Nine offsuit, which is going to play poorly. It's going to be dominated a lot, so he just decided to let it go. It's true. You could make the argument that if he's not shoving certain hands like Ace Nine offsuit, Ace Ten offsuit, your three bet, your small three bet becomes a lot better. Yeah, definitely looks strong. Mustache Mark coming in with the Queen Jack suited. Queen Jack suited is, uh, if, I, if I ranked the hands, I'd probably put Queen Jack suited on the bottom. All they are scared about him. Why? Uh, I used to rank it a lot higher, and then I played a big all-in <laughs> in a tournament with it. Just You want to just talk about your personal trauma right now? <laughs> and I've been asked why I did that for 12 years. Oh, okay. 11 years, whatever Oh, yes, I know what you're referencing. <laughs> Invited you to the booth for some therapy if you need it. Thank you. Get it all out. I've been waiting so long <laughs> to express myself. On get defending Jack Nine offsuit dominated. Could be a little bit of trouble on this board too. Each player is catching a piece. Marks ahead. How does Mark want to play this? This is certainly a board where he could have some checkbacks, usually from later position. I think from early position, he may just approach this with a small seabed every time. But if you were to check back, this is the type of hand that likes checking back, for sure. It's got some board coverage. It's not strong enough to get three barrels, so you're going to put in a check somewhere. I do like this bet, though. I think from early position, he's just looking to attack this board with a very strong range. And then he'll throw in some checks later on, on a, on a future street. Five of diamonds, total brick. And I'd imagine this goes check, check. Mark could bet again, maybe check the river. Yeah, control the price of the pot. Charge those hearts, maybe? Exactly, yeah. Both of those things being very important. But he could also check back and then, you know, pick off some bluffs from heart combos. So it goes either way, for sure. I think generally you see more checking back on the turn, but I, I certainly feel like it's extremely close. It goes pretty small. Small is also cool because you do keep hands like 9, 10, jack 9 in. Yeah, I was just thinking Ankit's in a weird spot with his hand. Yeah. Even like queen 6 suited, for instance, mm -hmm. isn't feeling great about folding to the small of a bet. The only issue with calling is you got to imagine that if Mark is bluffing, he's probably going to put another barrel in on the river. Yeah, and if he's bluffing, he may not pick this size as well. Mm -hmm. He may just go bigger with all of his bluffs. Because his bluffs are going to have a 10 or a jack in them. 
So they're, you know, they're kind of incentivized to go larger. It'll be something like Ace-10, 10-8 suited. 1.6. Whoa. I was, I was wondering if he was going to raise here. This is what I'm talking about, man. He looks, he doesn't look like the guy who's going to do this. No, and that's doesn't. my fault, you know. Like when I was playing with him <laughs> on day one, I I w like wonder how many people stereotype me as a woman at the table. Mm -hmm. But also like the super polite, well dressed guy gets treated the same way. I'm like, ah, oh, he's probably not gonna do anything crazy. Yeah, but you you feel that way because most super polite, well dressed mm -hmm. guys play pretty in line. He's just abusing a population tendency. Yeah. I wonder what Mark's thinking because. The fact that it wasn't check raised, it was actually check called pretty in rhythm on the flop, so he might be a little skeptical of this. Like, why didn't he even consider raising the flop if he has a hand that raises? Mm -hmm. Now, Anki could have turned two pair. Maybe he has something like queen five, nine five suited. Could even have that five, would so. be kind of a strange check raise because you're still losing to quite a bit. Yeah. And, oh, oh wow, he does Gets fold. it done. I was going to say, if your opponent is nine five, you have a lot of equity. Mm-hmm. Probably. Wow, very nicely done. Yeah, I'm on to you, sir, for next time we battle. I think it was two summers ago. I feel like Anki was but at my I table four tournaments yes. in a row or something <laughs> like that. And in those four tournaments, I watched some stuff go down. Yeah. <laughs> And after, like, maybe the third turn, I was like, all right, you, you guys don't you've earned yourself the call if it's ever close. Yep. Where are you from? That's a good point. Huh? And a lot of people from who just China. sit down at the table with him don't <laughs> have that, and it's it's pretty deadly. Oh, I'm Romanian. From the Romanian I part of China. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. You live in Vegas? Alex huh? Fox in Vegas? Uh, King 10 suited mostly. under the gun. No, just under uh, 20 big blinds to start and oh, raise okay. it up. Bogdan looking down at Queen 10 suited. Just not quite enough hand. Maybe like from late position versus late mm -hmm. position he could put it in, but. Roberto does have the type of hand that likes shoving here. You can get some better aces to fold. Um, if you are called ace four, ace five suited, have a little more equity than the other suited aces. He decides to play it careful and let it go. That seems very reasonable. A bit scary to be shoving into a bunch of hands. Yeah. It's especially at this point in the tournament, where pay jumps are pretty real. The nice thing is they're in a position, positional situation where Foxen's going to fold stuff like Ace-10, mm -hmm. um, Ace-9 suited. And with action, what goes under the gun raise, and then you jam over that. It's like you're going to get some really good hands to fold after yeah. you as well. So I do like it. Yeah, I had ten and a half big blinds. Gotta assume this is hitting the muck. This is just one of those classic situations yeah. where if you had like 14, you might rip it in, but whenever you have 10 blinds, it feels like you have very little fold equity over an open. And so then it becomes, <laughs> am I beating the range that he opens with enough to put it in? He's nice right on that line where you're not sure. Just sprinkling his time chips into the pot, no problem. <laughs> I like how he's using these time chips to just Somebody tell a story. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's. I think it's. Uh, it's the new. It doesn't sound like a good strategy to me. <laughs> That's the new. The new game. I think. Hmm. Modern. One busted. <laughs> oh, he's timing down before he shouts. I see what's happening. He's just trying to get that pay jump before he's all Interesting. in. Interesting. So it's. I mean, I if he's doing this. I've been paying enough attention to the pay jumps, um, but maybe we should open that up because it's gonna uh, it's gonna affect strategy How quite a bit. I would imagine that they. I think Alex said it wasn't a good strategy because I, I would imagine that the last pay jump was at 45 players, so this is just, <laughs> this is not happening if it, if the next it's page jump is at 36. very wishful thinking. Yeah. 
But I'd I imagine know, it's, he's uh, mm, Yeah, long he's he's left. waiting quite a, a bit. Huh? It's, it's at a long day 40. Left. 40? Eh? Yeah. For you, I maybe. mean, four players getting eliminated <laughs> would happen quite quickly two days ago. But now <laughs> we're... <laughs> I was waiting to see. I'm like, what do you mean? But yeah. yeah. He's like, if there's 5,000 people Learn in the field, sure. Draw. One by one. All in. So yeah, he would he would not have burned all those time chips if he wasn't going all in. And Alex, I could definitely see Alex folding here. <laughs> Me too. You're not dominating <laughs> anything, right? Like he's coach. not doing I this don't with think like his strategy. Is no, nine. <laughs> and you're dominated <laughs> by something. The soul, yeah. man. So far it is. And the he values his <laughs> tournament <laughs> life. Yeah, he yeah. Yeah. got him. I, I I tell you, and I can show you. Yeah. Choose either one. Is it watching? Got to mix them up first. I think a, they're the same. It's a kid. This? Yeah. No, not the other one I want to see. The other one, not oh, the other one. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. My son. My son. Got him. Uh, Where's the money? Give me, give me for Where's the money? Where's the money? <laughs> Come on, man. That's all? <laughs> Be 4.2 right here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I knew it. Delayed this one. They didn't get that audio, so we gotta do that whole thing all over again. <laughs> and he did, he he become my coach kinda. Every morning, <laughs> no really, every morning in the VIP, he's very famous guy, a world champion. Very famous guy. Now he said, I'm with you. I'm with you. Nobody did what you did to me one day. Very famous guy, world champion. <laughs> don't, don't remember his name. <laughs> Maybe he's just not a name dropper. He's going to leave the name out. But he's going to let you know. Ankit, how how wild does Ankit want to get here? With the six deuce on the bottom. He, he, he it thought go. about it. Three, three, two, five. You know, generally, when you watch somebody think for a second and full, you, you think he's got king eight, king seven, <laughs> something on the precipice. Actually seeing his cards and how little he wants to relinquish them. Yeah. Really gives wow, you some precipice insights. and relinquish back to back. <laughs> Wow, we have a gentleman and a scholar with I, us today in Jesse Sylvia. You I guys. busted out my thesaurus on the way down here. <laughs> I'm in the booth with Jamie. You know, I got to step my game up. <laughs> Doyle Brunson would be proud of mustache mark. I'd like to think so. I kind of, I'm envisioning like a Scooby-Doo moment where Mustache Mark shaves yeah. the mustache and it's really Fedor. <laughs> oh my god. It was fresh face Fedor all along. <laughs> we should have known. He was busted. He thought after the interview he's very good. But he was bad. Hmm. Give all the chips away for no reason. Sure, he had a reason. Uh, no, he just tried to show the TV is good. Hmm. You should, you should take that patch from him. Just, you deserve it more. This, which one? The the chip. No, no. Yeah. No, he's, <laughs> just take he, it. This is the, the most powerful. <laughs> I have <couple>, extras. <laughs> the most powerful couple in poker, him and his wife. Oh. Roberto raising up the king jack. Right now, what the they gun. what they did now? On about eighteen they, big ones. It's it's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Little, little more would it go? Ways to go. Hey, it's unbelievable what it. How many chips she have? Uh, ten million last I heard. She started today with ten million. Yeah. Why they give don't give you some, like? I don't know. Two, three, four. She, 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 she,
Yo, who needs a hype man when you have Mikai at the table? Seriously. Yeah, right there. No. And? Last night. It was only for like 30 or 40 minutes. One minute is too much. We, so, we, <laughs> we only played a few hands. But you, Nothing you, really interesting. If happened. she ate, you fold, right? Like, depends on what I have. <laughs> I have to look at it depends on my hand. Depends if he wants matter. to sleep on the couch or not. <laughs> You've got a comfortable couch, so I don't mind. <laughs> They're referencing yesterday, uh, the Foxons were sat next to each other for about 40 minutes at the end of the night. And I gotta believe that they're playing hands against each other. I think he even might have three-bit bluff her off the spot. And mm -hmm. can't really do much here this deep in the tournament. You have to just play poker. It's funny. I had Ashley sit at my table one time in a tournament. And I always get this little lingering feeling like people are watching you to make sure you're mm -hmm. not soft playing each other. <clears throat> Even, uh, I end up busting her on the bubble. Friend, <laughs> even from a friend, and the entire table the berates day, me. They're yeah. just like, yeah. what were you thinking? Take my chips, You're going to be sleeping on the couch, all this stuff. And I'm just like, I, I don't I know why I was worried about this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very, very friend? standard hand. She had just doubled someone and she had like two blinds or something. No, I learned. I actually busted her one off the money and then I bubbled it. So it was the worst possible. Yeah. She was more mad about that. She's like, you really took my chips. And, and did nothing with yeah. them. Wow. That's what bugged her. So anybody who might have a little crush on Ashley Sleeth, it sounds like this relationship is kind of vulnerable. Might want to swoop in there. I really wish you wouldn't Yesterday, throw these things out in the universe. You know? Five or three chips all day. I'm never fully okay. secure. And, uh, I find a customer who give me some good. chips. Good. You need to buy her flowers Same and stuff. So don't like, bust her on the bubble. You know. When I don't have, <laughs> another thing. Fail. Another flower. Another and I make it here, like, raise the fly. Yeah, one guy at the table is like, you should have just folded, man. I was, and I called, like, one more big blind off, you know, so I'm like, I'm like, that seems a little bit like collusion, you know? He's like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> strong marriage. <laughs> In strong marriages, you got to do things. Like, oh, Okay. I feel like Alex Foxen and Chrissy are rich enough now that they just have to play poker, you know? Oh, yeah. They've made it. But yeah, she's still in the field with about 10 million last time that we checked. You made it for long. Oh, people in chat still asking about years. Brad. Sorry, friends. But he made a good run. This is two for years seven. in a row with a deep run in this event. $53,000 payout for 88th place. It? He's crushing So far, it. so good. <coughs> <laughs> By the way, a couple days ago, we were sweating hitting 10K in chat. Mm. You know, that was like where we were peeking at. I opened the chat this morning, and there's already 10K people just... Listen, they asked for Mustache Mark. We gave a Mustache Mark, and they're rewarding us. That's true. Anybody in chat who loves Mustache Mark, throw us a like. And if you hate Jesse Sylvia, throw us a like. Whatever, you know. I'm going to pretend that all the likes are from Mark. Honkit <laughs> just hates letting it go. Bogdan, right on time, picks up a really nice hand. This is this is when you want to see a big hand, too, when you feel like your stack is low enough that you don't have much fold equity. The funny thing is we know Mark's going to Should fold. Should get through, yeah. Yeah. But still, to increase your stack 50%, no showdown is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. For sure. And it's funny, as you get deeper in the tournament, the threshold for, you know, if I go all in here, I don't think my opponents can ever really fold. It gets a little higher and hi uh, higher. So 
for instance, maybe 12, 13 big blinds is about where you'd think they'd fold for a jam over their open. Mm -hmm. But as you get deeper in the tournament, that goes down to like 11, 10. Because blinds are worth so much real money at yeah. this point. Start seeing some wild stuff like three bets not all in off 17 big blinds. Mm -hmm. There's just, it's almost like you're playing a, a deeper stacked game without actually being deeper stacked. It's pretty wild. Chad is speculating that Henry Kilbane is at the rodeo. Yeah, he actually came to town for the rodeo, and we figured while he's here, he can commentate a little bit. Now he's uh, he's taken a few levels off because he has been commentating almost every day for about ten days, and his voice was hurty. Oh no! Aww. That's what he told you, but I walked by a tall British man in a cowboy hat about fifteen <laughs> minutes ago that looked a lot like Henry. <laughs> Round two. I was going to say that was the, uh, oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you, no. but that was the boss's play so far at this feature. I just cannot believe he was able to pull the trigger with just the complete nothing pack, basically. He just decided at the start of that hand, you know, if the board runs out clean, I'm just going to. Yeah. Maybe he's got like a lunch date he was trying to go to or something, but. No, that was pretty wild. He had. The five is somewhat relevant, but not really relevant. The ace high is not normally the type of hand that you run the, the three barrel with. He just basically said, I'm going for it. I don't yeah. care about my hand. If it runs out blanks, I don't think you're calling down. And he was right. His opponent rivers second pair and didn't spend too much time before folding. And now Jason with the gut shot. Backdoor clubs. Ade with bottom pair. A nine would be a very disastrous mm. turn card. This is also, on a lot of runouts, this could potentially be a really nice hand to run it with. I thought that was a nine oh. at first. Eight of clubs, Jason improves to a flush draw. Let's go with his gut shot. Tricky card because the eight certainly hits a day's calling range a lot. He would do a little bit more raising with the jack and a little bit more calling with an eight. Mm -hmm. He could, of course, have plenty of sixes as well. So. Jason's slowing down. Wants to be able to make sure that he can afford a call. If he bets out and gets raised, that would just be sick. You have to fold out all that equity. Mm -hmm. But blank on the river. Another tricky card because Jason obviously has more aces when he limps than mm -hmm. Ade has when he checks back, but do they all bet the flop? That's the big question. Generally, you can expect some ace highs to be checking and trying to see showdown. <coughs> Jason goes quite small. Another good question to ask yourself if you're in the big blind right now is, if he did have an ace, would he go this small? Or does this look more like a jack? A jack would probably play the hand this way. Makes the call. Nice call. Very, very well done there. So they're one, one and one now, and they're blind battles. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or maybe not the same, same exact size <laughs> pots. I agree with what you were saying earlier for the, from that first blind versus blind hand. I find it to be the most interesting to watch because really people's strategies differ so much more than in any other spot. And like, it's crazy. Yeah. And blind versus blind is incredibly difficult. There's just You're just playing so many hands. Um, quite often you're playing a lot of hands at a position. Or if you're in position, you're playing with a range if you've checked back that's very weak and mm -hmm. you don't have the, the very best hands in there, but you have a lot of the worst hands in there. So... 
it's a lot like heads up poker in the sense that you have to be very comfortable with playing a wide, wide range of hands and working through that. And it's just definitely the hardest part of the game tree in my mind. Yeah, that was like the scariest commentary I ever did was the Doug um, versus Dean Eggs battle because I, I mean, you have to learn a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like sizings and stuff. It was. Oh my God! There's really so much hard. going on. Especially when you have Doug, who's done a lot of studying, just throwing in these big overbets Four. as like a C bet on the flop, mm -hmm. um, doing a lot of seemingly fancy things, but things that are correct. Um, fancy is certainly the wrong word because it's just a, a deeper understanding. Sure. Mihai now waking up a really nice hand in the big blind with his 13 big blinds, ace queen of diamonds. Jason raises the button with pocket fours. I think fours can call her. It's a little too much, right? This might, uh, I mean, if they if this was day one of the tournament, uh, if we were playing, you know, without any ICM mm -hmm. factors, this would certainly be a call. Yeah, this mm -hmm. seems like a really uh, like threshold kind of. If he uses sixes, he just calls. He goes, okay, like smaller pairs are shoving, right? But like yeah. this feels really on the line. Yeah, this Looks gets like tricky. This I think I would still flick it in. You know, you're just yeah, he's gonna. Oh wait, maybe he's I not think he going. counted out what his raise was to, 400. Oh, okay. Um, you're calling 2.4 to win a pot of... Yeah, he makes the call. Six. And you're just flipping a lot, so... And it, you're hoping that Mihai has hands like ace-two suited, ace-three suited that you dominate, which he may. I think it's certainly possible. Um, although I will say... As far as the hands that are correct to shove that people miss the most, that's probably one of them. Mm -hmm. So that might factor in your decision. Yeah, he as may well. just defend those, especially with page jumps looming. King nine five one diamond, not much help for me high so far. I don't know who I'm rooting for here because I feel like Big Jason can, should get rewarded for that <laughs> sweet mm, bluff nice. earlier. But I really Fine. like Mikai at the table. Yeah. Eighth. King on the turn. Now we have a lot of counterfeit outs available. I know Fox is rooting for the Ace Queen. He's got to support his hype man. One time. Oof. Six of diamonds. And that's going to be I'm it for Mihai. Yeah. Colorful Good character. We're all rooting for him a little Good bit. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Good game. Good. Wish luck, everyone. Sure. <coughs> nice to meet you. No, He's going to cash for no, okay. $113,000. Um, I'm sorry, $111,000. That was nice. Yeah. We're in the six-figure zone. Mm -hmm. Next pay jumps, 132500 and that's going to be at 40 players. So we're getting there. I think he 42 oh, left after him. They're doing it every eight, aren't they? I think so. It's like 40, 32. That makes yeah. sense. They're eight-handed tables, probably. Yeah. I really love mustache. Mark, taking advantage of his big chip stack, people being afraid of ICM implications, not wanting to bust, and he's just going to open the king five suited under the gun. Ghost of M in the chat letting people know that if you're taking Jamie's advice to shoot your shot at Ashley, it's actually not the right time for it. <clears throat> Why? Because she's not in the booth. I am. <laughs> I guess people in the chat are just going for it. Hey yeah, man. you guys are going to wander oh. over to the prime final table <laughs> <laughs> and ask her out in the chat. Uh, it's actually good because Jesse's occupied in here, so, you know. There you go. This is the best possible time. Can I still come to your wedding even though I'm trying to ruin your marriage? <laughs> I, uh, I was particularly proud of telling Jeff Platt yesterday that he's not allowed to interview yeah. me at my wedding. <laughs> Ankit defends the big blind of pocket sevens. Queen ten deuce rainbow. It's going to favor marks under the gun range. I'll, I'll tell you what, Jamie. Your dog certainly invited if if your dog decides to make you his plus one. Aw, he would. Good then, you're, then you're invited as well. 
Good boy, Newt, if you're listening. Newt. Rockfire is 275,000. Yeah, this is a tricky board to continue on if you're on kit. You're just kind of flying in the dark on future streets. And you're up against someone who can afford to just barrel off, so mm -hmm. it's just a nice, nice lay down. Here's our scoreboard. Mark is 90 big blinds deep. Jason Min working hard for those 48 big blinds. On kit 46, Ade 33, Roberto. 19, Alex Foxen and Vogdan, both 15 big blinds deep. Despite getting bluffed on that turn, Mark has been chipping up otherwise, and he is maintaining his big stack at the table. Mm -hmm. The mustache man way in the lead. I'm glad they don't have a booth camera. <laughs> We're just doing, <laughs> just like, it's a very dancey music. WPT is really up their game in terms of the intros and the mm -hmm. music. That's Sharehand, man. We we're working with the best in the biz. They're yeah. great. Fox in another gun. He's going to take an extra second before throwing the hand in the muck. They are starting to get very close to that. 40 player pay jump. <laughs> Chat really is still just asking out Ashley a lot. <laughs> Let's play heads out up. If I win, I'll take you out. <laughs> oh, man. You She's better treat here, her right. You better you treat her right, Jesse. Guess so. Chat's no. going to steal your girl. rough out here in these streets, <laughs> Jamie. Still haven't used one of these. I'm not surprised Jason Min hasn't used one time bank. They, even the blind versus Never. blind hands took a grand total of like 45 seconds. About the whole tournament. Yeah. Super fast yeah. play. Yeah, he, he's the one guy who should have used time bank. You're allowed to share that. Ooh, Ooh, mark. <laughs> opening up the Jack-10 offsuit, under the gun one, for a little more than a min-raise, and mustache mark with pocket tens, the big blind is just going to three-bet jam. Yeah, Bogdan's sitting on less than 15 blinds, so very easy all-in here. If you've got it, you've got it. And Thank you. I don't know if he has much experience with Bogdan, but the fact that he is capable of opening Jack-10 offsuit there mm -hmm. means that there are plenty of folds, so... And I'm not saying he shouldn't open Jack-10 offsuit. Just, if you see a hand like that, you know that your shove is going to make enough money. Yeah. Uh, with any pair, obviously 10s is sure. far and away enough of a hand. Maybe that open was just, he he hasn't really played a hand at this feature yet. He thought maybe he can get one through a little bit light. Yeah. Just ran into it. Don't mess with the stash, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Yash Johar. Sorry if I butchered your name. Who said, Who's commentating? I'll take you out. If Ashley is not there, don't worry, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, how can I turn that down? But maybe they're talking to you. I thought I he was talking to me. Possible. Can you take us both out? We're unclear on instructions. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Roberto Romanello, plus one with pocket seven. It's going to min raise. Four off suit for Alex and big blind. Sitting on only 13 big blinds. This feels like one where you wouldn't defend, right? You'd be dominated yeah. a lot. I think this is going in the muck. Yeah, if it but was suited, though. Definitely yeah. getting in there. And as you get shorter stacked, let's say Alex had six blinds, you mm. start to peel because it's easier to realize your equity, but 
Especially with the pay jump looming, he's not trying to put himself in these sure. post-flop situations where he has third pair and has to figure out what to do. Maybe has to overfold on flops because it's worth a little more money on the mm -hmm. pay jump bubble to fold. Starting to hear a little buzzing in the background. I think the one drop day two is restarting around now. A lot of cameras and a lot of like paparazzi situations out there. I don't know if you saw the setup. They have it kind of like fenced in the one drop area, but there's like massive cameras all over everywhere. Really? Right? No, yeah, I haven't it's pretty seen cool. That. Where is it going on? It's outside. It's right where these guys are playing down there. But they put like a corner with like a fenced in spot. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, when we go on break, I'm definitely going to go, go check, check it that out. out. On getting the cutoff with sixes. I want to take all the credit for this, by the way, but the man I said might be the best. Oh my god, mustache mark has aces. <laughs> I know, I was like, I don't want to interrupt you, but also aces. No, no, please interrupt. And on kit went for two and a half X from and the cutoff. This is button versus cutoff? You know, if Mark Seven. puts in the three bet One point and on kit finds a jam. It's not an unreasonable jam. Ooh. You, uh, Tricky for Fox. And yeah, wow. This is tough because if Fox has any experience with Ankit, he knows he knows he opens wide. He probably has seen Mark up to some things in the past days. Oh, nice fold. It really becomes a question of, am I beating Mark's range? Obviously, he's never mm -hmm. folding. There's some dead money in the pot. There's also some other factors he has to consider. Foxen also just really, really good at poker and doesn't want to take one of those guessing spots where you go, sure. well, I don't have fold equity, so like I, j I really hope I'm ahead here. I don't I see him taking those spots. Like, <laughs> okay, though, you think this could be a four-bet jam? Because I feel like 50 big blinds deep to start. Yeah, he's, what is he, four, 45? It's like, he's just late position versus late position. He has a decent pair. I think it's it's the type of hand that's close, and I, I wouldn't hate it. Obviously, we see that it'll be a disaster if he goes all in, but. Yeah, I would just lean against with, like, you're on the, a direct pay jump. Um, when you jam, you do get called. You're absolutely roasted, like, almost every time, right? Mm -hmm. You're praying you're against ace-king. Yeah, ace king, ace queen. Seems like your stacks just work so suited, much. Stuff like that might. Um, nice, nice job. Really nice fold. I'm not saying that I would shove there, but if he did, like okay, I, I see a lot of reasons why like this it's could be. Yeah. Boxing, by the way, just. The level of confidence in his own game that he exudes when he makes these kind of close folds seemingly pretty quickly and easily. Mm -hmm. I just think he always feels as if he has a pretty big edge even when he's short stacked and he's not willing to take the super marginal situations, super marginal spots. Mm -hmm. a little bit of stalling. Don't blame him. I think they have a 20k pay jump coming up. Yeah, when you have 12 and a half blinds, a 20k pay jump, so I mean, it always sounds pretty nice, mm -hmm. but when you're that short as well, 20k sounds very nice. Or just, if you want to put in terms of buy-ins, two buy-ins sounds very yeah. nice. 
Doesn't matter what tournament you're playing, what size. <clears throat> Jason. This is a table of people who have come to play today. It's better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. We're giving away a $12,400 package to the WPT Voyage, including a buy-in to a major tournament with a $1 million guarantee. Sign up at WPT Global using the link in the description below. Use the promo code PLAY and deposit $1 and you're in for a chance to set sail on the poker cruise of a lifetime. Day with ace eight suited under the gun, certainly worthy of an open. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's think about it more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the last time I played with Foxen, we were on the bubble of some tournament. And he was short. I was short. Somebody else at the table was short. And we were just having such a good time pretending like we had a decision every <laughs> <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's like everyone knows what you're doing, too. So you're not... Yeah, it's only annoying if the person really is, like, trying to sell it each time. Yeah, yeah. It's like, come on, man. I would I would uh, just sort of wait 20 seconds to be like, oh, is it on me? <laughs> and <laughs> start laughing. I jokingly uh, um, said the one time it was the WSOP, like, very close to the bubble. And I said, like, someone should just spill a drink on the table so that we can just all make the money. And oh this guy next god. to me is like, oh my god, that's a good idea. I'm yeah, like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. It really is. It really needs to be fixed by tournament directors around the world because it really is stupid. Um, it's just one of those pr prisoner's dilemma situations where you have to do it because everyone else is doing it, but nobody wants to do it. Yeah. It makes it less enjoyable for sure. Yeah. I think if we each had a chess clock, that's the easiest way. Chess clock is the best solution I could ever think of for sure. I've been talking about this. It's just hard to implement. The solution that they have here has been great. And as you can see, nobody's taking an egregious amount of time. A few seconds is just not a big deal. But. Would we'll tell you what you had on King Queen nine five? I had Queen Jack of Diamonds. Huh? I had Queen Jack of Diamonds. Okay, so Alex on only twelve big blinds is gonna min raise the hijack with Queen Jack offsuit. One way that poker's really evolved is how people play their short stacks. It used to just be all in or fold, and I feel like people are finding raise sizes from twelve big blinds, ten big blinds sometimes. Yeah. You love to see that. Just Not just cr more creative approaches, but backed up by some data mm -hmm. study. Oh, day with a nice hand. Ace-10 offsuit in the big blind. And this is actually the type of hand that... Well, Ace-10 plays pretty well post-flop, so he could peel, but mm -hmm. just generally having an ace in your hand when your opponent is this short... He does find the jam. This is nice. Identifying that Alex is going to be quite polar when he min raises mm -hmm. on 12 bigs. And the types of hands that he's raised calling are big pairs. So blocking aces and always having equity against like, the kings, queens, sure. jacks. Uh, blocking the ace-king suited, ace-queen suited. The, all that stuff is very important. You really want an ace very badly in a situation like this. If you're going to say all in. Yeah, I'll take a water. Okay, thank you. So many of the chat suggested uh, make it a maximum of two time time chips three. per hand. That's an interesting way to go about it. 
the bigger problem isn't how many time chips they use, it's how much time you get before the time chips come into effect when it comes to stalling. Because quite often in these tournaments, even with time chips, you have 30 seconds. And yeah. that's just a it's lot a of time. a long time pre -flop. To, Yeah. So what the wind did on the bubble was they gave you 15 seconds. Maybe they could even shorten it to 10, but you also run the risk of just making players who are less experienced uncomfortable at that point. I think 15 is a really nice meeting in the middle. Mark with the ace jack suited. The dealer is so seamless at the, the clock. I didn't even realize she was doing it every single time. Yeah, she's she's great. I can't say enough good stuff about the dealers here mm -hmm. either. I haven't had a dealer at any of my tables that was less than fantastic. Yeah, and it's really, it's just more comfortable as a player. Like some of the most exhausting days were in the summer when you're at a table where you get several deal dealers in a row that are kind of new. Yeah. You don't get to relax. Because I don't know about you, I'm like control freak kind of person. Like if no one else is paying attention, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pay attention. Make yeah. sure the change is right and all this stuff. But so it really makes it tiring. So that's your secret guilty thing, huh? Is that you're a control freak at the poker table about the dealing? I feel like every every other aspect of life, you're pretty laid back. And then yeah, I think I would be the person who's like, hey, the change isn't right. Or whatever. Like, you know, when you're, I don't know. I just know I just can't relax if I think like mistakes are happening. Yeah. I'm never mean to dealers, but like... Here it's nice because you just can chill. You don't even have to look. You know that they're doing a, a good job. That's not what I heard. I heard you're <laughs> a terror. To uh, do. Yeah, yeah, I do a little bit. You, like groups or? No, I don't know. Just uh, make like content between courses and uh, our like hand review model kind of thing. Gotcha. The CLAI. Thank you. An ace on the button. Certainly going to open. He's not not opening into the easiest two players in the blinds, that's for sure. Is that four blocks? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, with seven it's seven forty five. Like you put, you put your video Mustache Mark your is looking down at a hand that it's like a close yeah, nice spicy little, little three bet. bet. Yeah, yeah, this is the type one of one hand one. you want. And he like does. A, Let's go. Oh my god, look at this man. He's an animal. He is unstoppable. Closer to the event. 1.4, kind of small sizing. The perfect timing. This opponent has a hand that's incredibly difficult to continue with. That we get. Just because I think that a lot of the people who are consuming that are relatively new to the game. Like, just content in general. Like, the majority of people are. Let's go, mustache mark. Who's, who's the team? Yourself? Um, it's really just me and Chance. Okay. Yeah. 
for the most part. <clears throat> as far as like players that are, yeah. Yeah, obviously there are other people involved. Yeah, yeah, and then like coaching. Yeah. yeah. Seen Bin Wang wearing a chip leader coaching patch as well. I don't know how he's involved, but it's another good person to have on your roster. Yeah. He just took down the 25K yesterday for like 900,000. I was joking in our WPT chat that this man just can't catch a break. He's trying to get those tax write offs, <laughs> can't get them. It's insane the year that he's had. Out of seemingly nowhere, too. It's awesome. About a year ago, it was last January, um, Borgata had their return which is a 5K buy-in. Um, that was the first I'd ever heard of Bin Wang. He wins that. He comes in the booth, becomes my favorite player because I ask him what he's going to do. I was like, you're going to go to the club. You're going to go to a nice dinner. He goes, I'm going to go home to my dog. Oh, I was like, there we go. A man after your own heart. <laughs> and then for the whole year, he just won like 10 more tournaments, including a WPT. Yeah, he's had Seven, five. the year that dreams are made yeah, of, that's for sure. He was the chip leader at right. two WPT final tables mm -hmm. at the same time. You got to commentate on him two days back to back. Oh my god. Bogdan finally finding a hand, jamming under the gun with sevens, about ten big blinds. Seems like he wins every fourth high roller that runs. Yep. These two are not the rest of it is I don't know what was happening here before, but Bogdan's gonna take it down. Just a ludicrous year for Ben. So the players restarted at 11, is that correct? Uh, noon, I believe. It was noon? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we caught up with them in the uh, first level of the day. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, it's really getting down to the wire now. We don't want to miss even one level. A couple of your favorite players bust. Chat would be angry with us. Very. I mean, can you imagine I if we come back after a level and mustache mark is somehow gone? <laughs> just they would be like pitchforks. Just chip lead to out. Mm -hmm. and yeah. I don't want to give him too big of a head, you know. But we did. Uh, we did start production three hours early, just to. Just for you that. guys. Oh, awesome! Fourteen thousand in the chat now. Let's go. Super happy to have you guys. Also want to shout <coughs> out uh, our moderators. We hired mods for this whole month. They've been amazing. Been clipping hands for us for social media. They've just been keeping you guys in line. Mark with another potential three bet hand. This is certainly one that can go either way. He's going to fire in the three bet. I like he generally takes the more aggressive approach and... Just being the chip leader, being on that kind of role that sometimes psychologically causes people to get out of the way a little more often than they would sure. against someone else. I really like this a lot. He's actually tangling with another one of the biggest stacks in the tournament. Maxime's going to lay it down. I like this. Send the message mm -hmm. right away. This is my table. Oh. <laughs> Look, buddy. A little rake. Too many, too many. Rake, just like so the dealers have. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for two stashes. <laughs> the window chips should be like, you just need to get them on your own. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't do anything. I gotta get up and go around. <laughs> And chat are asking it's Jesse Sylvia and I'm Jamie Kerstetter. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. If you're enjoying this, please throw us a like. And also, there's gonna be a lot more coverage. Later on is the prime final table. You guys can multi-table your viewing if you want. It's about 1.4 uh, million for first in that one. We also have the one drop, one million dollar buy-in at start of day, which was just about 45 minutes ago. There were 14 of 17 remaining. And they're going to play down to a final table, which we'll be covering tomorrow. 
It's going to be myself and Nick Schulman in the booth. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Nick Schulman, Jesse, ring a bell. You and Nick Schulman in the booth? Yeah. Oh, that's... It's going to be fun. I, I already talked about this earlier in the week, but you two being in the <laughs> booth for that final Negranu. If anyone <laughs> out there hasn't watched this, go watch the final session of Negranu and Doug playing Heads Up. It's Jamie and <laughs> Schulman in the booth for about six hours. At some point, I think they lose their minds. And then they he brings their that on though. They, yeah, he's like, it's really, it's hard to get me to like, really get out of line, mm -hmm. even uh, you know a little bit. For some reason, like he's just so cool that like, okay, I'll just follow your lead, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I'm like, and we're fired. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, it really is a treat. Don't don't go there now though. You you guys should watch the rest. Oh of this yeah, somehow. watch this. Good idea, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, check it out. It's it's one of my favorite pieces of poker content. And two high-level poker players playing heads up, so you get to learn a lot as well. I'm excited to see who makes this one-drop final also. There's a lot of colorful um, characters left in the field. It's a great, I mean, I'm rooting for the best Dan, of the best. Dan, you know? Cowboy Dan versus Santosh is my what I'm rooting for. I just feel like it'd be fun. Oh, what I was going to say earlier is, you know, I don't want to take all the credit for Dan's run, but I do remember saying a couple <laughs> days ago that he might quietly actually be the best in the world. And wow. Yeah. That's, I think, those are strong words. I mean, it's funny when, when obviously he gets put in the conversation a good bit, but if you ever have a conversation, you don't include him in top three, top five or whatever, after all the success he's had and just how well he executes every time he sits mm -hmm. down at the table. I don't know. I think he doesn't get as much credit as he deserves because he's not that flashy. Like, he's yeah. quiet and calm and not very braggy. Yeah. yeah. And he hasn't had that, that one-drop win or that mm. super high roller bowl win where it's, uh, you know, everyone starts talking about them after that and starts looking at their hand and mob and realizing yeah. all the other scores they had. Yeah. But, yeah, Dan just – I've never seen Dan at any feature table play less than an A- minus game. He just always brings mm -hmm. it. And you could say the same about a few guys. Uh, Makita Alden. seems to always play quite well. Oh, Jason's always shove. performing at a very high. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Maxime raises under the gun one with King Queen suited on a massive stack. And Roberto Romanello finds the jam. It's just 16 big blinds in the small blind pocket fours. So he's got a really nice stack size to be shoving because uh, you still have a lot of fold equity, but the size of the pot is pretty massive compared to your stack. So it's a really nice pickup whenever you get the fold. On top of that, he may think that Maxime just got here. He's already opened twice. Mm -hmm. He's got a ton of chips. So he might be Can opening like? a little wider. Yeah. So he, he, I, I'm guessing Roberto put a lot of that information together and decided that this was a risk worth taking. And it's going to be five. close, but I could certainly see Maxime folding here this deep in the tournament. Certainly if he was cut off hijack, he'd be flicking in the call. But from early position, you normally see opponents respect that open a lot more. Yeah. Great Can job by Roberto. Nice Thank you. Amy, do you know what you call an Italian with a rubber toe? Rubber toe? A Roberto. <laughs> <You're dark. laughs> what did uh what did Mario say uh when he was breaking up with his girlfriend? I don't think I've heard this one. It's it's not you, it's a me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, you love Mario jokes I do. too. I remember the denim one. Yeah, that's a good one. I feel like everyone knows that one by now, though. Ah, uh, well, I certainly know it because you've told me it like seven times. Yeah, what are Mario's overalls made out of? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> I think, uh, I think every time you've told me that joke, I pretended like I haven't heard it. Yeah, before. you just, just want to hear it again. Yeah, and I like your delivery because <laughs> you can't tell it without laughing. It's such a good joke. Mark, under the gun, plus two with king nine suited. Gonna raise it up for 400k. <clears throat> it's 
of me. Wow. That's just so <laughs> good. Meanwhile, the princess is just <laughs> devastated that he's breaking up with her. <laughs> Daniel RC82, you should be banned just for those two jokes. <laughs> I have worse ones than those. Yeah, strap in. It's going to be a long day <laughs> if you didn't like those. Ah, uh, Dave defends the big blind with 8-7 offsuit. Got a lot more where that one came from. Ace-8-5. Pair of eights for Adeg. Backdoor clubs for Mark. And also range advantage with the ace side board. Mark has a few things going for his hand. Some back doors. Obviously two overs to the eight if his opponent does have an eight, which he does this time. <coughs> Dave is not going anywhere, obviously, with his eight seven. And it's an interesting hand matchup because the type of cards that Mark is looking to barrel on actually improve a day's hand. Like this wow. one. Two pair now for a day, and Mark's probably going to get in a little bit of trouble. This could get expensive. Shot. This is the type of hand that Mark wants to run the triple with. Because he doesn't open very many sixes that don't have a pair by the turn, Nines become great hands to bluff with. Nines and fives. But mostly nines, because he's going to have queen nine, king nine, jack nine. He won't actually have king or queen six. So Decided not to barrel. Yeah, wow. That was um, another just nice piece of timing by Mark. I, he could certainly have barreled there. And he has no idea how that little decision point saved him a ton of money. Oh, Dave's going to bet his two pair, 1.1 million. Mark's going to let it go. Mark just escaping, losing probably the minimum in that hand. Really impressive work from our mustachioed friend. It's funny watching, I don't know if you were like a Game Show Network kind of kid. But if you watch game shows and people win like ten thousand dollars, they jump up and scream and get all excited, and they just like make twenty k pay jumps. So like sigh, next <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, it's almost like r because generally if you're sweating that pay jump, you're not one of the biggest stacks in the room, right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, when you're one of the biggest stacks in the room, it's almost a given in your mind that yeah. you're getting the pay but jump. Yeah, but being a short stack, like a fist pump or something, would be in line yeah, at least. You know, it's true. Just internally, you're doing it, I guess. It's almost like relief mm -hmm. at that point. Like, oh, good. I don't have to think about that for the next. All in. Good luck, Alex. Thanks. Oh, chat's very annoyed at the the dong bell, as they call it. That is the shot clock sound. Each player is on a shot clock pre-flop, so they can't stall that much. So that's what the dinging is in the background. It's getting reset. CC in chat says, Mustache Mark is greater than Ned Flanders. Oh, my goodness. That is quite a statement. Fox in all in under the gun plus two with a six suited. Just eight big blinds. And Maxime in the big line of pocket threes. It's yeah, only, it's eight, only big eight big blinds. He has plenty of room. Probably going to flick it in. Also, just yep. the opportunity to eliminate one of the best, if not the best players in the field. Sure. It's a race. Now, obviously, you don't want to double up that type of player either, but if you have a hand that's Best case scenario. generally a call, you certainly don't want to <coughs> reach it. <coughs> <Could be king. coughs> I'll take this, though. No spades. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Foxen's going to be dangerous if you can get this double up. Six will do. Six. 
Oscillated pulls way ahead wow, now, 89%. Ooh, so five of spades, probably the most fun card. Yeah. In the <laughs> Takes away one of Maxine's outs, but gives him a whole lot more. He can hit a seven or a deuce now. And it's a deuce. Oh my goodness. Wow, Man. sickening. <coughs> and that's going to take out Alex Fox and Maxine making the six high straight. Max drama for the street wow. table. Alex, <laughs> okay. <laughs> drama. And the whole field can breathe a small sigh of relief. Except maybe for one. Yeah. Poor Chrissy B. Yeah. Brutal. His wife's still in the field. Last oh, we, we checked, she had about 10 million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boxen is a monster at the poker table. Do you prefer to play on stream or? Just okay. one of the most things. consistent in terms of accomplishments over the last five or so years. Non stop scores. Gun plus one with a seven all suit and ten big blinds. Gonna let it go. looking down at a much above average holding he's four suited how does he want to play this this stack depth raising makes sense limping is of course quite reasonable goes at three and a half times I think if I haven't played with onkit before and I was just looking at him I'd just be hammering Blind versus blind, putting in lots of raises. Yeah, but Max seems about to find out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, that strategy is not going to go well for you. Now, obviously, he has a good hand, so this, this is a different this situation. This hand is getting folded, but yeah. you, he will learn at some point. Ankit is the yeah, He had the right type of hand to raise. Ankit had the right type of hand to fold. But that'll only strengthen your read as well. Mm -hmm. and then <laughs> all of a sudden... Pardon me? You enjoy being between the two chip leaders? Yes. <laughs> it's all going to come here in the end. <laughs> it's a fun challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. You spend enough tournaments not doing well that you start to think, like, how is it even possible to accumulate every chip? It's, it seems... Like, it can't even happen. Like, how do people do it? And then you run good and you win one of these. Like, oh, okay, that's how. <laughs> I feel like when I run good and get deep in something, though, that's in the back of my mind, too. Where I'm like, man, I remember how many flips I had to win or how many aces I, were mm -hmm. dealt, I was dealt. And it feels daunting in that way, too. Be starting a new tournament yeah. at, like, 50, 100 blinds. You're like, oh, my God, there's so much to go. I used to always find it rough when you bust, like... 13th in a tournament where you had, you know, 80 million in chips, <laughs> and then you go register a turn, you have 30,000, you're like, you're like, oh man, <laughs> this is going to take a while. Yeah. Bogdan under the gun, 10 big blind shove with king queen offsuit. So far, so good. Mark in the big line of Jack-10 offsuit, just a little too light. Bogdan's going to get through.
Wang Chung says, this is boring. None of these players have a personality. And I'm so sorry. This is the only thing on the internet today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Brodo, King Jack offs you under the gun. 20 big blinds. Look, I'm not saying that poker couldn't use a little more table talk, but you try having a personality with 39 <laughs> yeah. left and 5.6 million for five up milli. top. It's tricky, man. Yeah. You're exhausted. You've been thinking critically for six days. Probably haven't been sleeping perfectly because you're all pumped up on adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I agree, though, that they should be telling more jokes. We got that. We got that covered, <laughs> Jamie. They don't. We don't need them for that. True. All right. We, we're bringing the heat. Bogged in in the big blind. He's got a hand that at this stage in the tournament might normally fold, but again, he's pretty short. The shorter you get, the easier it is to realize your equity. You don't have a lot of spots where you flop a pair and have to fold on later streets when you have nine blinds behind. He will let it go, though, and I, I don't mind that. I think the deeper you get in the tournament, the more value there is in letting the marginal ones go and fighting on. I think they also have another flight of, is it the 3K today, or there's a 1600, I think? I believe it's day two of the 3K today. Oh, okay. By the way, the numbers on that were insane. Ridiculous. Day yeah. 1A got over 800 runners. There's going to be a million up top in a 3K. That's crazy. That every, every one of these tournaments was massive, like twice as big as they thought. Yeah. And then this one missed by, like, not that many players. Yep. I'll tell you one thing, Jamie. I'd be getting FOMO if there wasn't such thing as buying pieces. <laughs> Instead, I'm just getting whacked, but, you know. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't even care. Yeah, you sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I mentioned that uh, Colby Covington lost me a lot of money the other night. And I feel like a few people in chat were worried about me. I'll let you guys know. I tend to exaggerate these things a little <laughs> bit for dramatic effect, but you don't play many tournaments. Hmm? You don't play many tournaments. Yeah, I play a lot. You play a lot. Online. Roberto finding the pocket jacks. Unfortunately for All him, uh, he may not get a fold out of Maxine. I would assume. Maxine's going to call only because this looks like it's a nice squeeze spot yeah right? uh, I was about to say that and then I was like well it wasn't under the gun raise though so it's like a little less exciting true true but he may make some hero calls out of the big blind rather than jamming with a few different types of hands but just generally I think Maxine can expect him to have some ace jacks in there for instance um, some other hands that you dominate occasionally, maybe like King Queen suited puts it in sometimes. The speed, the timing at which Roberto jammed feels a little bit strong. Like he just kind of looked at his hand and was like, "Yep, this is a this is one that goes in." Yeah, I was thinking it's still gonna be called Ace Queen, just so strong. Yeah. And Maxim can afford it, and that does kind of factor in when you're thinking about it, whether sure. it should or not. There's like dead money. You're flipping a lot of the time. Sometimes you're ahead. It's a, uh, when you get to this stage in the tournament, it, it is a much different call when you have 8 million or if you have 20 million. Sure. That kind of stuff matters for sure. So Roberto, pocket jacks all in and at risk. 57% favorite though. Not Oof. anymore, wow. Queen 4-3, Maxime pulls ahead 91%. Roberto's gonna need to pick up one of the remaining jacks. He wants to stay in this tournament. Five's not going to help. 
He has done nothing wrong so far today. He picked his spots really well, and unless he hits a jack, it will all be oh. paint, but not a jack. Not and that's going to be the end for Roberto, who goes out in 38th place. He's going to take home $132,500 for his efforts. And Maxime sits down and eliminates a player in his first couple orbits. Actually eliminated two players in his first couple orbits. Alex Foxen and now Roberto Romanello. And taking a look at our leaderboard, Maxime now is the chip leader at the table. Wow. 99 big blinds, mustache, mustache Mark Mounty, 80 big blinds, Jason Min, 35. Adea Lono, 31, Ankit Ahuja, 30, and Bogdan Troni with eight. Just eight big blinds. He's going to have to make a move sometime soon at these 125K, 250K blinds. You know what they say, Jamie, eight big blinds in a dream. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm Jamie Kersetter with Jesse Sylvia. Please join us after break. Obviously, he has a lot of hand. The problem is, is if he does bet and he gets check shoved on, yeah. that's a huge six. disaster. Oh, wow. Wow. This is an interesting bet size, too, because what does ID do with his hand now? It seems like Jason's committed. He'd have like a good queen or something he's not willing to fold. Yeah, it looks that way. We know he's not committed, but generally I would expect my opponent to have a, like something he's going with almost mm -hmm. every time. Oh, this could be a fun river if Jason pulls the trigger. I'm assuming that was the plan with that turn sizing. But yeah. Easier said than done, though. I'm looking at 45 players left in this field. Jason has basically wow, no sick. blockers. He's blocking 5-7, but that's not a hand we're thinking about too often, given the flop. This, this is so gutsy. Yeah. He's essentially just, just running it with a hand. The 5 is somewhat relevant. Not super relevant. And this is just classic tough spot. You have a bluff catcher. You have a decent bluff catcher. The 10 is important. The 9. I thought that was a call at first. I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is crazy. Isn't it? It's a bit problematic to have two clubs in your hand, huh? It's not great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Jason should always be running it with flush draws, but if he is, he should be running it with the lower flush draws. Mm -hmm. So maybe something like 10-5 of clubs goes for it if it raises preflop. Uh, these spots are really tricky because blind versus blind just gets played so differently from player to player that you're just kind of in the dark about exactly what types of hands they're going to have. Which combos. Some people raise all their aces because, you know, it's an ace and it's mm -hmm. fair to be the best hand. Other people use a more polar strategy and they're coming coming in there with raises with like 90 suited and stuff like that and then, then some of their better hands. Some people just do a lot of limping and play pretty passively. Sorry? Why is it Why I play? Makes the fold. Wow, sick play from Jason. Just see how he probably got here, you know? Yeah. Being able to pull the trigger, triple barrel, your he, whole tournament life. He just picked up nearly three million on a five million since I would play it as a shove as well. Was I just think it's a little too much hand to be three bet folding. No, 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 no. He only put in 1.2 and picked it. up the same amount yeah, that I would really get. Yeah, it's a really small so. three bet. Yeah. 
Probably looks a little scarier. But I think, you know, you get into trouble with that sometimes. It's just that Jason had Ace-9 offsuit, which is going to play poorly. It's going to be dominated a lot, so he just decided to let it go. It's true. You could make the argument that if he's not shoving certain hands like Ace-9 offsuit, Ace-10 offsuit, your three bet, your small three bet becomes a lot better. Yeah. Definitely looks strong. Mustache Mark coming in with the Queen Jack suited. Queen Jack suited is, uh, if, I, if I ranked the hands, I'd probably put Queen Jack suited on the bottom. All they are scared about him. Why? I'll, I used to rank it a lot higher, and then I played a big all in <laughs> in a tournament with it. Just, you want to just talk about your personal trauma right now? <laughs> And I've been asked why I did that for 12 years. Oh, okay. 11 years, whatever Oh, it is. yes, I know what you're referencing. <laughs> <laughs> invited you to the booth for some therapy if you need it. Thank you. Get it all out. I've been waiting so long <laughs> to express myself. On get defending Jack-9 offsuit, dominated. Could be a little bit of trouble on this board, too. Each player is catching a piece. Marks ahead. How does Mark want to play this? This is certainly a board where he could have some checkbacks, usually from later position. I think from early position, he may just approach this with a small seabed every time. But if he were to check back, this is the type of hand that likes checking back, for sure. It's got some board coverage. It's not strong enough to get three barrels, so you're going to put in a check somewhere. I do like this bet, though. I think from early position, he's just looking to attack this board with a very strong range. And then he'll throw in some checks later on, on a, on a future street. Five of diamonds, total brick. And I'd imagine this goes check-check. Mark could bet again. Maybe check the river. Yeah, control the price of the pot. Charge those hearts, maybe. Exactly, yeah. Both of those things being very important. But he could also check back and then, you know, pick off some bluffs from heart combos. So it goes either way, for sure. I think generally you see more checking back on the turn, but I, I certainly feel like it's extremely close. That's pretty small. Small is also cool because you do keep hands like 9, 10, jack 9 in. Yeah, I was just thinking Ankit's in a weird spot with his hand. Yeah. Even like queen... Six suited, for instance, mm -hmm. isn't feeling great about folding to the small of a bet. The only issue with calling is you got to imagine that if Mark is bluffing, he's probably going to put another barrel in on the river. Yeah, and if he's bluffing, he may not pick this size as well. He mm -hmm. may just go bigger with all of his bluffs because his bluffs are going to have a ten or a jack in them. So they're, you know, they're kind of incentivized to go larger. It'll be something like ace ten, ten eight suited. 1.6. Whoa. I was, I was wondering if he was going to raise here. This is what I'm talking about, man. He looks, he doesn't look like the guy who's going to do this. No, And that's doesn't. my fault. You know, like when I was playing with him <laughs> on day one, I, I w like wonder how many people stereotype me as a woman at the table, mm -hmm. but also like the super polite, well-dressed guy gets treated the same way. I'm like, ah, oh, he's probably not going to do anything crazy. Yeah, but you you feel that way because most super polite, well dressed mm -hmm. guys play pretty in line. He's just abusing a population tendency. Yeah. I wonder what Mark's thinking because the fact that it wasn't check raised, it was actually check called pretty in rhythm on the flop, so he might be a little skeptical of this. Like why didn't he even consider raising the flop if he has a hand that raises? Mm -hmm. Now Anki could have turned two pair, maybe as something like Queen Five, Nine Five suited. Could Even have that would well. be kind of a strange check raise because you're still losing to quite a bit. Yeah. And, oh, oh wow, he does Gets fold. it done. I was going to say, if your opponent is 9-5, you have a lot of equity. Hand there. Mm -hmm. Probably. 
Wow. Yeah. Start seeing some wild stuff like three bets not all in off 17 big blinds. Mm -hmm. There's just, it's almost like you're playing a, a deeper stacked game without actually being deeper stacked. It's pretty wild. Chat is speculating that Henry Kilbane is at the rodeo. Yeah, he actually came to town for the rodeo, and we figured while he's here, he can commentate a little bit. Now he's uh, he's taken a few levels off because he has been commentating almost every day for about ten days, and his voice was hurty. Oh no! Aww. That's what he told you. But I walked by a tall British man in a cowboy hat about fifteen <laughs> minutes ago that looked a lot like Henry. <laughs> Round two. I was going to say that was the, uh, oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you, no. but that was the boss's play so far at this feature. I just cannot believe he was able to pull the trigger with just the complete nothing pack, basically. He just decided the start of that hand, you know, if the board runs out clean, I'm just going to. Yeah. Maybe he's got like a lunch date he was trying to go to or something, but. No, that was pretty wild. He had. The five is somewhat relevant, but not really relevant. The ace high is not normally the type of hand that you run the, the three barrel with. He just basically said, I'm going for it. I don't yeah. care about my hand. If it runs out blanks, I don't think you're calling down. And he was right. His opponent rivered second pair and didn't spend too much time before folding. And now Jason with the gut shot, backdoor clubs, Ade with bottom pair. A nine would be a very disastrous mm. turn card. This is also, on a lot of runouts, this could potentially be a really nice hand to run it with. I thought that was a nine oh. at first. Eight of clubs, Jason improves to a flush draw. Let's go with his gut shot. Tricky card because the eight certainly hits at his calling range a lot. He would do a little bit more raising with a jack and a little bit more calling with an eight. Mm -hmm. You could, of course, have it. Hey guys, welcome back to the WPT World Championship. Here is our leaderboard. 99 big blinds for Maxime, who joined the table pretty late. Mustack Marsh, Mark Mouncey with 80. All the way down to Bogdan Twenty, who has eight big blinds left. He's gonna need to find a spot. I'm Jamie Kerstetter, I'm here with Jesse Sylvia, covering our day five of this $10,400 buy-in event. Yes, so you start, you started there. with like five million? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, well, okay, thank you. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. 
3,835 players started this event five days ago. We're down to just 37. 1.2. Raised to 1.2. It's funny because we're still very far from the final table, but 33 feels like such a tiny field. Just watching the clock over the last few days, it's the numbers have gone down slowly. It's a very good structure. Yeah, oh, when you see mustache mark. 37 left, I'm like, I could win a tournament with 37 players. Time. That seems reasonable. It, you know, $5 million. That's how I think I about it. As the numbers go down over. in any tournament I'm in, I'm not thinking, you know, oh, this page, I'm this page. I mean, I'm thinking about that too, but I'm like, I can w this is a winnable tournament mm -hmm. now. Just gets more and more winnable. We've all won a, s a nine man sit and go. <laughs> That's why final tables feel so good. Mark waking up with ace king offsuit after Ankit threw it's at 1.2 million. He's going to go for a small four bat to 2.6. Very small. Ankit has the type of hand that normally would probably fold to this sort of pressure. He is getting a great price. That said, Mark's representing a very strong range of hands, a lot of which are over pairs to either the 10 or both cards. Um, so you do have this sort of situation with where you have reverse implied odds if you do peel. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like throwing this away. Obviously, he's doing well or well enough against the ace-king to continue, but a lot of the other hands that Mark would have there, he actually doesn't even want to make a pair. And mm -hmm. He's just going to be in the dark playing the hand going forward. Out of position as well. <laughs> Triple M, unstoppable. Very sad. Hmm? But I'm very sad. <laughs> very sad. That is a little unfortunate for Ankit. He's been very in line about picking his three bet spots. He hasn't. I don't even know if we've seen a three bet out of him. And when he finally <coughs> picks a pretty good spot, a player behind him just swoops in with ace king. And oh, he's got the kings, though. I like that three bet spot, though, because with the active player behind him, it's like if he ends up just calling, he kind of sets up a squeeze spot. Yeah. With like active people. So I don't know. For Could sure. Could control the hand. He just ran into a bigger hand. Get min raising the kings from the hijack. Neil new to the table. It's gonna get through. Ooh. That's frustrating when mm -hmm. you get cold four bet <laughs> and then the next hand kings just raise and take it. Classic feels bad spot. <laughs> Who eliminated Alex? Oh. Who eliminated Alex? Was he at the table? The guy with all the chips. I want to uh, I want to confess to the the chat that we locked ourselves out of the green room on break. We went to get coffee and tea, came back, the room was locked. So you almost had a very peaceful rest of your day. Could have just been watching commentary free poker. Free of any yeah jokes as bad as they may be. Yep. Unfortunately for you guys, we made it back in here. Broke down the door. I just kicked it down like Chuck Norris style, and we're in. Nice. I was hiding in the bathroom while Jamie did that. I was <laughs> I was terrified about what was about to happen. Neil raising the button with 10-9 offsuit, and Ade is in the big blind with 10-7. Let it go.
Thank you so much. Holds Ade in the small blind, 90 offsuit. Seems like a very nice handle limp. Mm -hmm. Plays well post flop. Maxime in the big blind, king three suited. Not really the type of hand, eight nine. Not really the type of hand you want to be playing a bloated pot, pot with out of mm -hmm. position. You like to keep the pot as small as possible. And Maxime has that effective Whoa. stack. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Yeah, that's quads, you guys. Ade flopping quad eights. And not only does he have quads, but he ha Maxime has the type of hand that will pay off a street or two. Not expecting his... Oh, Ooh. wow. Look at this turn. Maxime turning a three with eights full of threes. This is going to get very tricky. Ade could, of course, have slow played some strong hands here, and he could have an eight. But once it's gone check, check, he also has the green light to go after this pot. Precisely because he could have slow played some strong hands here that Maxime can't have. Maxime puts in a very small raise. Interesting raise. So is he just denying equity to some of those overcards? Yeah, it's a, it's a certainly a value raise. He knows his hand's good a, a pretty high percentage of the time. And then also when he does have the best hand, his opponent's nearly always going to have two overcards. So yeah, a little, little protection, a little value. Generally when you have a strong hand, like let's say you flop top pair, but it's on an eight high board, requires a little more protection than mm -hmm. you flop top pair on a king high board. That's a great card for Maxime. If he thought he had the best hand... Sorry, it's a great card in his perspective. Yeah, I was like, hmm. <laughs> if he thought he had the best hand, he still thinks he has the best hand. His opponent isn't doing a lot of bet calling on the turn with a four unless it's ace four. Sure. The only really good card for Maxime would be another eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, foul deck. Yeah, that's, that's about what his outs were looking like. Maybe you can convince the dealer to put out a sixth card and see if there's <laughs> an eight out there. Goes for a half pot of value, and he's going to hear from Ade. How big does Ade want to go here? All right, dealers in play. Hey, if you start the shuffle, complete the hand. Next hand, raise the blinds. 300 small blinds, 500 big blinds, 500 big blind ante. 3, 5, and 5, and 1,600 play. You know, you, you often think you want to get greedy here. Hope your opponent has something like a four or a three and just go for all of it because they can't fold the boat or they feel like they can't fold the boat. But realistically, most people don't find very many bluffs in these situations. Mm -hmm. For that reason, it might be better for him to go a smaller size and at least give your opponent a good price to call. If I'm Maxime, I'm very skeptical <coughs> my opponent's ever bluffing. They've checked, or sorry, they've bet called the turn. Mm -hmm. And now they've raised river. It's like, what do they have that they're bluffing? What do they for turn into? For that reason, as a day, do you ever just lead larger rather than go for the check raise? If you think the check raise doesn't get paid off quite enough, do you think leading large is ever okay? 
Well, it's like Maxime took the betting lead, and he could still have some bluffs, so I want to give him a chance to bluff. And mm -hmm. if he has a three, I kind of just expect him to bet anyways. But you just think he should have check raised smaller, like 2.7 or something? Yeah, I think if I if I feel as if my opponent won't give me credit for bluffing very much, I'd give him the best possible price. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually try to find <laughs> bluffs here. It's just difficult. Like, what is the worst hand that a day ri arrives at the river with? Is it like some sort of ace high hand so now we're turning i don't know something like ace five into a bluff ace two yeah, he's gonna make the fold nice job And that fold is really based on his perception of how often his opponent is capable of bluffing in that exact spot. Because if you think your opponent's capable drinks. of bluffing, you have a very good hand to call with. You you know he probably doesn't have a four. four. And so you have kind of close to the nut full house in that situation. Obviously, they could have some pocket pairs. But. Calling for drinks. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's this. go. So we had the king five suited raise under the gun earlier. I was wondering if he was going to continue with larger stacks now at the table because he's not really in like the captain seat as much anymore. Mm -hmm. But he says, yeah, I still am in the captain seat. <laughs> I'm mustache mark and I will raise under the gun king six suited. I'm always the captain. <laughs> Jason, the cutoff with pocket five is going to let it go. It's a tight fold, but as he gets shorter stacked, these pocket pairs go down a lot in value, mm -hmm. these small pocket pairs. It's an understandable fold for sure. Mark just getting it through. Easiest big blow number for me. <laughs> <laughs> Asking about Kristen Fox, and as far as we know, she's still in the field. We're only seeing the feature table ourselves, but we do get some updates here and there. Check things out on WPT.com. Tons of updates on there. If it's not going on this table, the information we're getting is coming from there as well. So, Did get to take a look at the um, $1 million one drop tournament real quick when we were on break while we were locking ourselves out of this room. And Cowboy Dan, Ike, and Fedor are all at the same table. <laughs> yeah. I guess in that tournament, you kind of just expect to be s seated with a bunch of crushers. But it's still, when you go out there and look, I'm like, man, that's got to be a hard day at work. <laughs> yeah, when you sign up for a million-dollar tournament in this day and age, there's no easy days at work, I'd imagine. The other table is looking pretty sick. I saw Petrangelo over there. Mm -hmm. Stevie. Jason Kuhn. Kuhn. Those are three other guys you could put in the argument. Whoa, that was uh, Bogdan. Bogdan jammed for eight big Look. blinds. Oh, Mark called. Oh, Mark I'm sorry. Called. Okay, I thought yeah. he folded that face up. I was very confused. Um, he makes the call, so we are going to race for Bogdan's tournament life. Ace queen offsuit versus mustache marks pocket nines. Jack five four two clubs. Marks nines are still in the lead. Not the flop you want to see with Ace Queen, that's for sure. No backdoor flush draws, except for your one for your opponent. And a nine. Oh wow! He's gonna do it for Bogdan. Takes 36th place. About 130 thousand dollars. Mark scooping another pot. What a time to run pot. Tough time for Bogdan. He didn't have a lot of cards. Tried to flip with the 
worst possible person to flip with. Yep. <laughs> the guy on the heater. <clears throat> Mark sitting 100 big blinds deep on day five of this championship event. thousand viewers right now in the chat if you guys want to subscribe and hit the like button we have a lot more action coming up on this channel we're gonna have the one million dollar one drop final table tomorrow there's also the prime final table happening today it's gonna be a great one a couple of very special people in the booth mm -hmm. over there we got mr jeff platt and miss ashley sleeth Tune in, but also on a second window. Yeah, so don't abandon us. So you can keep us up. You guys might also want to look in the archives. You got the yeah, video up from the 300, 600, 600, uh, no limit um, Garrett Edelstein game. Robo played, Santosh played. That one was amazing. No more cash games, though. We're just down to tournaments now for five million bucks. <laughs> just that? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, and also tournaments for seven million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> when does that start getting streamed? That's the FT only. FT only tomorrow. Yep. Well, I guess to be fair, they're gonna be at the FT pretty soon. Yeah. So. Thank you. Seventeen to start that tournament. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're down to fourteen at the start of the day. I believe they're playing down to six-handed for the uh, final table that we televised and stream for you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be in the booth with Nick Schulman, my favorite commentator. Sorry, Jesse. My second favorite commentator, besides Je Jesse Sylvia. Jeez, Jamie. <laughs> you could at least lie to me. I did. I corrected myself <laughs> and lied to you. No, what? <laughs> it's not a lie if you tell me it's a lie. <laughs> it's not a very effective one. True. On kit, waking up with ace, queen off, suit, and the cutoff. A little over 25 big blinds to start the hand. Oh my goodness. Wow. Neil, a latecomer to this feature table with aces. This is a cold deck for Ankit. Wow. Started with 6.3. What size is Neil going to pick? Ankit is only. He goes for really small okay. size. Just six big blinds from the small. Ankit is only like 25 deep. When your opponent three bats quite small out of position and doesn't go all in. Alarm bells. Yeah, it's. I mean, he could have some bluffs, but he'd have some, some insta folds or insta calls now. That said, if you think your opponent's capable of bluffing here, ace Got queen a is a great hand to stick in. Sure. Yeah, it's like. You have exceptional blockers. You have a hand that plays fine po uh, post flop as well, but. You don't really want their. Ace X suited to pick up a flush draw and shove and get you off your hand. You don't want. King X suited oh, to realize no. equity. Oh no. Not like this. All in. Good luck, Holly. Pay jump is what? Still three away from the pay jump, so we're not going to be right. stalling this one. This feels bad. Yeah. Ten, so you can wait. Is that five <laughs> minutes worth? <laughs> yup, it sure is. I think you burn a couple, and if no one gets eliminated, maybe you just flick it in. Three people is a lot right it's now. It's a lot. I think it's almost never happening while you're waiting. We're down to four tables. They just need to lose one at every table while you're waiting. That's just not going to happen. That's a tall order. Especially if people are doing the same thing over there.
Don't fault him for trying, though. It's about a $27,000 pay jump if he can make it to 32. <clears throat> Three people. <laughs> Brutal. You got any good Luigi jokes? <laughs> I told you all my jokes. I feel like we've exhausted the Mario ones, but. <laughs> I did forget to tweet the stream, so that's what I'm doing now. We have a five minute intermission. There we go. The we get the retweets going. I'm hoping guys. it's a flip. Oh. He's, he You're is going in for to be some bad news. Yeah, really disappointed. And if it's a flip, maybe I should save some. Yeah. Probably wise and. A good practice in optimism to leave yourself some time bake chips for later hands. Good fold. That's one elimination. Ah, so brutal. <laughs> yeah. Just blockers aren't real, huh? Hmm. You know, most of the time blockers aren't real. Should have used all of them. Eighty percent of the time, it works. None of the time. <laughs> you do see, we lost a player while he's in the tank, but tall order to try to lose two more. Ten six deuce all hearts, uh, all but closing the door on Ankit. One percent is his name. Blackjack. Talk about it. Having it's a a flop. Yeah. Ooh, okay. some life. Ooh. Now we got Blackjack. three jacks now that could hit. <laughs> Blackjack has been called. Ooh. Oh. King of Hearts, and that's going to be it for Ankit, fan favorite. Going out in 34th place for about $130,000. He has me covered, right? Want to yeah. make sure? Uh, yeah, you can double check. But if you said 6.3, well, then yeah. Where's the 6? No, I've actually shit. I have um, 5. 7.5. 5.5. 5.8. Uh, do you have the water as well? Yeah, you have me covered. Good game to Ankit. Team back. Yeah. I don't get to get the time banks off of him. <laughs> not that kind of tournament. No, not, not a time bounty. That would have been nice. <laughs> it's not a time bounty. <laughs> You know what? Honestly, I was okay with the fold. And for Double. Neil, it feels great. Even you pick up aces. Thinking that he has 10% chance or 7% chance. Your opponent good. piles it in, and all of a sudden, you're well above average stack mm. on day five, the main event. That turn card is kind of spicy, though. Certainly. Go for. An, you just can feel him kind of like, uh, like okay stiffen up. I mean, you're not a, you're not allowed to just get aces versus ace queen <laughs> and have no sweat at all. Yeah, late position versus late position. You at least have to deal with the sweat, small as it may be. Mark, are we up to uh, nefarious activities? He thinks better of it. New player took Alex Fox in seat. Neil's going to ride this rush, open the king seven off suit. You did well with your stack. Yeah. Ooh, and Jason has the type of hand that yeah. doesn't mind three betting here. You going to tell me at the end? It does look like he's going to. Will you tell me at the end? If yeah, we haven't set? seen Jason really no. miss too many pre flop spots. You have a set at the end when of they that? presented themselves. I like the size too. I really liked everything Jason's done so far. Is 
at aces, man. Come on. <laughs> Hoping you don't have them again. <laughs> Could have had them back to back. <laughs> Good. Nice pickup for and Jason. That was a significant amount of chips compared to his stack. Nice. Right there. Okay. You didn't use any? No. Not Me neither. <laughs> Can I buy it off of you <laughs> without chips, with dollars? Is that allowed? Look at Mark, just dialed in. Sizing <laughs> up his opponents. Mark appears to be a guy whose like, blood pressure is just 65 the whole entire day. <laughs> yeah. There's one tiny spike when he takes his first sip of coffee in He's the morning. He's like, ooh. And yeah, and then after that, it's just, just ice in his veins. Okay, picking up a big hand here. And for Jason, this is generally appeal. He finds the appeal. All of the three bet sizings have been small lately. Yeah. Like about 6x, right? Yeah, they have, especially for out of position. Mm -hmm. um, I will say this. Jason had the type of hand that could consider Poor going all in yet. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be unblocking all of your opponent's bluffs. Um, just those oh, random oh. broadways, yeah, things like that. The deuce doesn't really interact with your opponent's bluffs very often, so that's good. I have to imagine Jason's going to continue on this card. It's a very small size. He's got a backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. It's a really good price to just put some money in the pot, and if your opponent checks, you can try to win it on later streets. We know that Day has a hand that's probably not folding at any point. Maybe if it runs out spade, spade, or something like that, but... How does the day want to play this? This is a tricky, tricky turn card. You could certainly put more money in the pot, try to deny equity from the one spade hand. Get money in now versus a king. Out of checks. Yeah, but also checking on this card makes a lot of sense. It's a card that favors your opponent a little more than yourself. 2.6. Wow. And this check is going to make him so much money. Jason just once again totally fearless. <laughs> and a snap fold. I appreciate Jason Min just with the. Yeah. All right, <laughs> next hand. I'm not going to waste any time here. Mm -hmm. I like that as well. His size is a little bit larger than it had to be, right? Went 2 yeah, I could see for sure going like quarter pot or something. You can easily still Fold set up out an all the in. ace queens and ace jacks, yeah. but like you're not really folding out good kings in that spot. Absolutely. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. If you guys are in a qualifying area not in the US, WPT Global has that Winter Fest coming up. You can win at WPT online. There's a 3,500 and a bunch of smaller events. 
I have FOMO because I'm in Vegas, but, you know, for a lot of our audience, though, in the YouTube chat, you guys might have a chance to actually play. So what does one have to do if one lives about eight minutes down the street to get in there? <laughs> we could take a trip to Canada. Can we? Establish residence there. I have a few cities in Canada that I really like a lot. I was going to say I love Vancouver, but then I was like, actually, I had a great time in Montreal as well. Yeah, if you go there a lot and you have, um, you have a bank account there, while you're there, you can play. Okay. So I know a lot of people, we had we sent almost 300 or 400 qualifiers this year from WPT Global to this event. Yeah. One of our qualifiers busted today, got super deep. So, you know, get in there. And one day when the U.S. gets less ridiculous, hopefully I can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> How about Mexico? Can we go to Mexico? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a little warmer this time of year in Mexico. <laughs> yes, true. I'm going to save uh, Montreal and Vancouver for the yeah, spring. Like spring sounds good. Small blind versus big blind battle. Maxime and Mustache. Mark two, the bigger stack of the table. Each flopping top pair. Maxime's hand is good right now. Some chop outs though. Seven yeah, and for Mark, this is a pretty no fold situation. You think your opponent's at all capable? Not that they should just always be bluffing on the ace because. Nice does get checked a good bit on the flop, but. Certainly a card that your opponent is going to barrel on at a decent frequency. Six of hearts on the river, and Maxime's hand is good. Really bad river for Mark. Likely that this hand goes check, check. But if Maxine finds some thin value, he may get paid. Would you go small and just try to charge some of those sevens, fives, hands like that? Yeah, I, I don't mind a block for sure. Um, I'm not sure what the theory approach would say about a block, but I think in practice it plays quite well. Your opponents find a lot of reasons to put, and he does. It's not quite a block, a little but over it's half pot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's on the bigger side for sure. It's a really nice size for exactly the hand that he's up against. It certainly is. Probably right around. If it does get paid, it's probably right around the maximum that they'll pay. Mm -hmm. I think Mark makes some really good folds, though. He doesn't look super happy with the situation. Mark's probably thinking that most players won't value bet this thin. So he's a little more polarized to some sort of ace or two pair hand. And if he thinks his opponent checks an ace on the flop a lot, then it's really more two pair plus hands, and those are hard to make. Mm -hmm. and he's getting a decent price to see what his opponent has, so... As you get deeper in the tournament, you have to expect your, the class of opponent that you're up against get get tougher and tougher. That's a really nice fold. Yeah, that was great. I would not have faulted him for looking up his opponent there. Nice pop for Maxine. He is cruising right along. This tournament has such a good structure that we don't really have any bananas left, which is sad. You know, it, you know, some of the faster tournaments, you get to a final table or you get to like the end, and there's just yeah. someone who's like, I don't know how I got here. They're just <laughs> slinging chips all over the place, yeah. and like everyone's just playing really well, like really yeah. solid poker, taking which, it very seriously. Yeah. Too. There, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of money up top, but um, even in these big field 10ks, you occasionally get the person who's deep in there. Throwing back cocktails and talking. They're just some trash. rich and they don't yeah. care. Or like I don't know, uh, Rigby. Rigby was one of my favorites because I don't think he is super rich. I yeah. think he just didn't care anyway. He's having yeah. the time of his life playing three deuce offsuit. Um, none of that in this tournament really. Um, who knows? There might be some splashing out in the field. 
when he three bet three deuce. First the king. Yeah, and the king <laughs> slow played, and then the flop was ace high, and then the turn was a gut shot, and you just he just immediately realized he's gonna shove this gut yeah. shot on the turn. Oh, it was so good. I felt for that man. Yeah. I think I was commentating that, <laughs> and I just felt for that man because I'm like, you know, what are you supposed to do? You got the ace high flop. You don't feel good about your kings anymore, <laughs> but so you gotta just realize you're up against a lunatic. Yep. <laughs> and click the call button. And he did. And then the wor like, the turn was a gut shot. And what are you <laughs> <Yep>. gonna do? <laughs> Rigby's jamming the gut shot good for him. You gotta throw the hand in the muck, I suppose. Blind versus blind mark versus Simone. Got a monotone board, queen six three, all spades. Misses both players, but Mark does have a gut shot. He's out for one big blind. I'd imagine that gets it done on this board. Certainly Simone could float here. But you're getting deeper in the tournament. These floats become less and less exciting. Mm -hmm. Staying out of harm's way becomes better and better. I know I've harped on this a million times, but it's just such a huge factor. And we are on the cusp of another pay jump of about 27,000. One player to bust. 27,000 mm. pay jumps. Sick. You love a tournament where if you bust out in 13th and you're devastated, you still make <laughs> half a million or whatever. Insane that number it is. Fun. I really like the ends of tournaments like this because people react differently to getting so deep. When you mm -hmm. get down to like, you know, final table, some people are like thrilled to have locked up half a million or more already and they just start slinging because they're just like let's go i'm gonna yeah. try to win now some people are like oh my god the pay jumps are 150k i'm just gonna sit here and you have to pry these chips out of my cold dead hands yeah and it like it's fun watching which players become which type yeah. got position on you now be careful the inner personality really comes out yeah it sounds like simone and <coughs> Neil have been tangling at another table because Neil just said oh, to him, point. I'm in position on you now, you gotta oh, watch okay. out. So Maybe I guess they I'm had the reverse roles before. Late additions to this feature table. Also, Neil has a lot of chips. I assume more chips than they had he had before. Eight points, sure. right? Yeah, you got that double up with aces versus Onkit's ace queen to bust Onkit. But just the call with ace queen of diamonds, Simone raising the queen three offsuit. Oh. But nice. he outflops the ace queen on nine eight three. One diamond for Neil though. And people will say that Neil's being overly tight calling here. Um, and it's certainly on the very tight side, but if you three bet in this situation and your opponent piles in, what is it, fifty big blinds? Um You would wanna puke. Yeah, you're doing okay probably versus a decent range there, but you're not super thrilled to get all the money in, meanwhile you're True. You're keeping in some dominated hands when you call. You have a suited hand. The very unfortunate downside of this is sometimes your opponent has queen three and you let them see a flop with a three on it. Simone's just going to continue to check. He'll probably try to extract a little value on the river. This is generally a nice way to go about these, these hands because... Your opponents feel much safer calling a value bet on the river. We'll see what happens on the six. That's yeah, an interesting Yeah, now there's a four-liner. Yeah. I'm assuming it will go check-check. Could go block, though. Yeah, if it, if it was like a five river, I'd imagine he just blocks, but he gets all the ace highs to call. Are we still going to do it? This is, this is nice. 325. Yeah, 325. Nice little block bet. Neil with the decision, does he want to call with his ace queen high? Oh. He does. Nice bet, Simone. Yeah, well done. <laughs> now Neil's going <laughs> to kick himself for not re-raising, but you know, you're always taking that risk when you just call. It's a part of the game.
Mark just loving getting a front row seat for that hand. Little smile as the queen three offsuit gets <laughs> turned over. I told you to be careful and that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> that's what I get. I think he did it before you told him, before you walked. No, no, he looked me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Look me in the face and raise the queen three off seat. No, he was very clear about it. <laughs> he said, I would have just mucked, but because of your speech. Here's 875 at you. You have two blocks or three blocks? 3.1. Thank you. Well above average hand out of the cutoff for Mark. <laughs> Neil with the needly queen three offsuit himself. Jason with a nice hand to defend in the big blind nine eight suited. Yeah. A little bit short, but still I would never fold this. Could be an interesting hand to consider shoving against a loose opener. Just because when you do get called you often your hand lines up well with their calls. Sure. The only consideration, though, is they're one away from a $27,000 pay jump. So I think if I were feeling spicy, it wouldn't be in this moment. Yeah, that's fair. And also just the more standard play is certainly to call, and especially this this deep in the tournament. Interesting flop here. Yeah, top two for Mark and open ender for Jason. But the bottom end of it, hit your queen, you're not feeling so good about it. I think Mark wants to use a smaller size. He does exactly that, too. I like this. Um, just generally, when you block so much of the board, like a hand, <coughs> like top two does, oh, just folding. Yeah, I think because you really are only drawing to a seven in that spot. Yeah, I mean, a queen could be good. It could be, but it's... Mm. Yeah. It's a tricky card, yeah. and you've got some tainted outs with the hearts. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, you're getting <coughs> nearly five to one, I think. Uh, if that was somehow queen high and I missed just the board, board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so, so <laughs> Getting a very good price to see another card. And sometimes your opponent just see bets something like pocket sixes and gives up and you get to win the pot on the sure. river. had a pang of, man, I miss being in this tournament. <laughs> Such a good tournament. What day did you get eliminated? Uh, day two. Day two? Yeah, I lost a foot for a bunch, <coughs> and that was it. For the day oneers, it's you been were long enough one that we don't remember. Oh, you forget was. you were even in the tournament? Yeah, because yeah. I, I, uh, I had obligations on day one <laughs> D. So you sure did. It's been a long time I since told I've been you in this tournament. <laughs> that I would find a replacement if you wanted to play. It's true, you did. But you were a good boy, and you said you would get in the booth. Here's our scoreboard from WPT win. Mark Monsi, 99 big blinds. Uh, chip leader at the table again. Maxime right behind with 92. Ade with 60. Simone, 57. Neil, 53. And Jason Min is our short stack, just 11 big blinds. But he came to play. He's been involved quite a bit. And I'm assuming we'll fill a couple of these seats soon. It is brutal to be Jason, though, with the blinds coming around so fast and yeah. you're six-handed. Yeah, it's, it really sucks to be the shorthanded table of the room. I guess most tables are six for the, for the time being, but it would have been nice to be in that lucky seven-handed table mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're Jason. He's got some work to do. Sure. We're on day five. We are going to give you coverage day six tomorrow and then the final table. I believe Jesse Sylvia is in the booth the next two days, correct? I don't know if I nailed you down for those, but you should be. <laughs> you know, I know someone who would have a better idea of whether or not I'm going to be in here. And, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think she should be answering that sort of question. And we'll have Henry Kilbane back also. This is going to be a fun couple days. Sure. Bunch of people becoming millionaires. That's nice. 
Neil on the cutoff. Ace 10 of hearts. It's going to min raise. Maxime in the big blind. 98 off suit is going to defend. Can't wait for the cardboard cutouts of the people's faces. A mustache mark. <laughs> 10, 8, 4, a piece of it for both. Maxine like makes 22? second pair. Neil, top pair, top kicker. Certainly a flop where Maxine could find himself in a bunch of trouble. Mm -hmm. Especially if the turn is something like a 6, 7, a jack. But that, you know, jack or queen, Neil might find some check backs on the turn, so... Maxine check calls, 400k. There's the queen. Queen of hearts on the turn. Maxine's got a gut shot now to go with his third pair. And if you're Neil, betting again does have a lot of positives. I understand checking and playing pot control as well. but Oof. Jack on the river, and Maxime gets there. The straight. How does he want to go about this? Ace King got there. Neil's in the cutoff, so Ace King isn't a huge portion of his range, but certainly something to consider. He also might not 16. be worried about Ace King because maybe Ace King just always bets the turn. He has 1.6 million. Meanwhile, there are a number of hands that Neil could have that improved, like Jack-10. Neil with just third pair. No spades in his hand, though. Could he give Maxime credit for having spades he needs to bluff? Yeah, and he calls. Possibly. Makes the call and gets the bad news. Yeah, there's also some 6-7s, 5-6s sure. that could have peeled the flop. Didn't he say 16? Said 16, so wouldn't that be something else? 16 on that door. Yeah, Mark brings up a good point. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't matter, I don't think, because he put out the 1.6. Yeah. But it's also yeah, after the fact, after yeah. it's been called yeah, already. Yeah, like yeah, it was clear to both yeah. players what it was, yeah. so yeah. fair enough. But they also put it out. So the way it works is like verbal. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't want to cut you off. I thought the floor was going to make a ruling, yeah. but I think he's going to go check with somebody. Yeah, on the card side. This is, I, I can't imagine this won't end up just being a 1.6 bet. It would be ridiculous if they held him to 16 million. That would be crazy. Oh, yeah, they're not going to hold him to 16. In the, the context imagine. of it, though, I think that's what Mark was saying, though. It's like Both he said 16, agreeing, but. Though, like. Yeah. I mean, what's going to happen is even if they made him bet 16. His opponent doesn't have to call that much. He, he, he can surrender the 1.6 he put in the middle. He knows what his opponent has, so he's just going to surrender it anyway. I've seen some, not at the win, but I've seen some <laughs> crazy rulings before, and I oh. just hope this isn't one of them. There have been some bad rulings around yeah. town, for sure. But the win usually handles these quite well. Interesting here that the players involved had an understanding it was 1.6 and a call of 1.6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they'll just warn Maxime and say, hey, you know, yeah, make sure you get your numbers right next time. Yeah, and Maxime's up to 102 big blinds. Um, I actually had my day one B, that was the day that I played. Uh, there was a French um, man at the table who spoke zero English, like not even numbers. Mm -hmm. And so we just gave him smaller denomination chips so that, like, he didn't have to say whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, we just kind of, yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> because it's just easy to make a mistake. If not, like, you put out a big chip, and what if he says 16, and, like, 16 million? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Not what anybody wants. Yeah, while we wait for a floor ruling, here is our scoreboard for you guys to check out. This is a very weird sweat for the two players involved. I know. Though, like, this could just <laughs> Unnecessary. Go, it's 
almost definitely just going to be a six, 1.6 million bet and call. But it's an absolute nightmare for the caller if they say, oh, 16 million and you said call. Yeah. <laughs> do you verbally announce call or do you put it in? I can't remember at this point. Because if you put in 1.6 if you million. you put in the chips though and he goes, well, he said 16. Like this is where it, if yeah. we're at a different venue and competing series, <laughs> you just really never know. But I'm just saying like if you put in 1.6 million, you have the opportunity to surrender the chips if you put in the wrong amount. I don't amount, think right? in this situation because if it was 16 million, you put million, chips in, it's just a call of that. You have to say it before. You can't trust but, but I think they just, a, yeah. looks like they just let it be 1.6 million. Yeah, I mean, I, this is absolutely the right ruling. No, it's fair. I mean, it's fair. It's all good. Yeah. No one's mad. <laughs> if you're Maxime, you just had the good sweat. You're like, oh, cool. I might just get an extra 14.4 billion right here. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> Neil didn't even have $16 million, no. by the way. <laughs> that would be a really terrible way to bust a tournament. That'd be insane. Like, yeah, you got to put in the rest of your stack. Also, you owe us another $4 million. Yeah. So next tournament, we're just going to take the truck. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kanish has a truck that you can drive, so you've paid <laughs> it off. This folds to Max Team in the small blind. He's going to limp the queen six. Mark with 40 soft suit. He just checks. I was wondering if he was going to turn this into a raise. King, queen, jack. Maxime flopping second pair. And just absolutely nothing for Mark, so he'll just let it go. Certainly a spot where Maxime could have checked. Uh, that said, there's a number of potential turn of river cards that are quite problematic. Betting does clean up equity and just like make his life a lot easier. I just saw a message flash that Ashley's looking for the ballroom. You'll never find it. The win, have you you commented over there now? It's a labyrinth. Like I didn't even know that was back there. Beautiful, high ceiling, it's huge amazing ballroom. Out there, but yeah. it is quite the hike. Yeah. It, it's like a maze very back large. there for sure. It's an amazing amaze. <laughs> Neil under the gun with pocket aces. Maxime, King Queen offsuit on the button. Neil, second time getting the aces since he sat down. First time went very well for him. Maxime just calls here. I like this. Look at this flop. That could be very problematic for Maxine. King, Jack, three, two diamonds. Neil way ahead with his aces and ace of diamonds. 900. This is the type of flop where Maxine says, you know, I'll figure it out on the river. Sure. <laughs> I'm certainly here. putting in two, yeah. Neil comes with a big bet right away. That's got to be... At least somewhat scary for Maxine. <laughs> Somebody's breathing directly into their mic. You kind of forget you're wearing it. That was a massive feature. sigh, by the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's Ooh. a good card for Maxime in terms of trying to get away from it. Nine it's a very diamonds. scary. Yeah. He does end up. Maxime does pick up the gut shot though too. How does Neil play this? Because yeah, he's got. I mean, it's also a scary card for him. Obviously, he has the Ace of Diamonds, but it's a nice card to slow down on. Yeah, because you get infinite chips in on this turn. You're probably not doing so great. Exactly. And you have the type of hand that can allow some rivers to come off. You're not worried about diamonds. You know, it sucks when a queen or a ten shows up. Sure. Check, check, and the Eight of Diamonds on the river. Neil makes the nut flush. Maxime, though, not going to be super excited about his hand anymore. 
And unless Max Neil checks and Maxime decides to turn this into a bluff, Maxime's going to get away for very cheap sure. considering what we expected seeing the flop. Diamond check. Yeah, and I think Maxime probably just bluffs when he has a jack or something mm -hmm. worse than this hand. Yeah, he probably feels no need to bluff. Yeah. He's going to get away pretty cheap. Well done by Maxime. That was crisis averted right there. I only play aces, y'all. <laughs> Yes, I only play aces. It's true so far. <laughs> yeah, but he and I have history, so that's different. With him, I'll play any two cards. The rest of you aces only. I appreciate it. still in this group chat and they're sending actually maps of the Aww. the win with the <laughs> there's like all these little arrows oh and, and things pointed out it is hard to find she's not she's not crazy no it's very hard in fact we got lost on our way out last night after doing commentary <laughs> and we arrived at a completely different hotel that we started in when yeah we showed up i believe you yeah. i have done 10k plus steps every day basically just around this place it's huge yeah it's two massive. buildings holiday's gonna raise and take it with ace king he's had a great level so far yeah if you guys didn't know we have two streams today this one we are in the encore ballroom on the stage and then in latour ballroom at win um, there is the televised uh, prime final table, and that will be streamed as well. You guys can watch dual streams. But amazing job by Sharehand and by WPT Production to be able to do two at once. Great job to our mods who are uh, multi-tabling their moderating duties, too. Are they? Mm -hmm. Wow. Don't get any ideas, chat. Chat's like, oh, we can do what we want then. Nope, they're going to get you. We'll slide under the radar. <laughs> Team min raise with ace six of spades in the hijack. Mark in the cutoff with king jack off suit. Shout out to, I think it was Alex Cohen I saw in the chat at the beginning of the day. One of the first comments said, Yay, I got my chat back. <laughs> he said, All right, not blocked today. <laughs> <laughs> just like, What did you do yesterday, sir? Just the just the absolute mannerisms of a man who's <laughs> not going to keep his chat or isn't planning to keep He's his chat. He's probably blocked again long. already. <laughs> yeah. Simone just flats the jacks on the button. And Jason just dying to get a hand with nine big blinds in the big line, but queen four offsuit. Just not gonna not gonna do it. Could see him like wanting to just see three, but queen yeah. four is just too dusty. It's just Let's such it a go. bad hand, especially when you're out of position to both players. Maybe if Simone appealed from the small blind, you're a little more excited. You have some positional reason. Oh, and queen <laughs> high flop. What do you know? Needle. Queen six deuce, two diamonds. Jack's still good, but Maxime picks up second pair. And it being just a single raise pot, he's going to see bet 600. Expecting to have the best hand some of the time. Yeah, and when he does have the best hand, it's the kind of hand that wouldn't mind a little protection. Just sure. clear out equity from stuff like ace 10 with no diamond. Simone makes the call. Maybe get some value in now against hands like pocket fives before you can't. Ten of hearts on the turn. What 
would imagine Maxine's going to check here, yeah. He's just got the type of hand that wants to get to showdown after putting in a little bit of a little bit of money. Simone could play this either way. He could put out a small bet and find showdown uh, as cheap as possible. He could also check back, and the, the merits to checking back, or one of the main merits to checking back, is that you get more information across two streets, right? So if your opponent checks again now... You can you, comfortably value bet your jacks. Yeah, and you can bet it larger than mm -hmm. you might have bet on the turn. Makes sense. Like, now that your opponent's checked twice pretty quickly, pretty confident in in checking, um, you're pretty happy to bet a size like 60% here, 65%, whereas you may have only gone a quarter pot on the turn. You just go kind of small, though. Hmm. It's always enticing to flick it in when you're getting a really good price like this. That said, this board is run out in such a way that it's very difficult to think of what bluffs Simone could have. Maybe something like Ace-Jack. It's realized that it's about bottom of range at this point and wants a bluff. But even if he had a bluff, oh, makes the call. would he really bet this size with a bluff? Seem keeps them honest though. Markman raising jack-10 offsuit from the hijack. Jason in the small blind wakes up finally with a hand he can jam. A little over eight big blinds, the king-queen suited. Especially facing um, Mark's raise, because Mark, you know, is on the looser side compared to the rest of the table. Mm -hmm. However, we're on the direct bubble for $27,000. 32 people will make that, and... <laughs> Jason is <laughs> counting out. Oh my, oh my gosh, God. that's a lot of time chips. I hope you got jokes, Kerstetter, because this I might be I don't know, a. man. I don't know if the chat even liked my other jokes. Um, one thing I think Jason wants to do is, even if he's planning to use a lot of those time banks, mm -hmm. you want to put in like 90% of your stack, because there's a chance your opponent he just, just folds. folds. Yeah, and you yeah wanna... this is very weird to use them before I think he expects to have very little fold equity because he's sitting on, what, nine, yeah. less than nine big blinds. But there are folds. Mark could just be opening, like, jack seven suited and not want to put 100%. in the mark. 100%. Yeah, this is definitely, I wouldn't I wouldn't be using these before, you know, putting in 95% of your stack. In fact, I wonder if, I mean, he may flick it in, but this hand might go in the muck. If I'm you Mark. You think so? I don't know. We'll see. He's He's cruising along. It's not a particularly good price. He's dominated by oh, a, a oh, bunch oh, of shoves. Oh, so sorry. I thought you were saying Jason's oh, no, going no, no, luck, yeah, and I was marks. like, in what world? Okay. Yeah, yeah. If he's tanking like this, he's putting it in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, put in most of the chips and then do the tanking for sure, because you don't want to... Yeah. You don't want to waste those. You may need them later. I mean, he'll figure it out. If he does take 19 time banks, <laughs> shoves, and gets it through. He learned his lesson for the next yeah. time. Yeah, like, oh, man. You know? Yeah. Could have used those for more, you know, more pay jumps. Yep. 
Jack 10 offsuit, though, that's like right on the cusp, right? Because Jason's not going to be that light, but obviously he can have like eights or nines, and I guess you're getting a decent price. Yeah, I'll have some ace X suited that you're pretty close Doing to flipping okay against. against. Yeah. Um, but you are dominated by some of his shoves. Sure. And I don't know. It's 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 a good price, but it's not it's not that good of a price. Uh, you have, I mean, obviously you're not at risk or anywhere near at risk, but you do have a little bit of kind of ICM consideration starting to happen. The, the chips that you lose are worth uh, more than the chips you would gain. And there's something to be said for, I mean, n not that Jack-10 can't raise the hijack. It's a perfectly acceptable raise in the hijack. In fact, it's very much uh, game theory optimal, but there's something to be said for not turning over these sorts of hands. <laughs> Keeping your opponents guessing. Because you never know when there's a player at the table who thinks that you're not opening Jack. 10 offsuit from the yeah. hijack, you know? Those things matter a little bit. <laughs> Shout out Thesaurus. Who uh, threw us the Mario It's a Me gif? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do people really not not know that joke? I feel like I have told everyone that I know that joke. I love it. It's a great joke. <laughs> have you heard the one about the skunk and the jump rope? No. It stinks. Let's skip it. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I'm thankful for these time chips, though, because there was one time where I actually had to fill 17 minutes of time. Where we know that can't happen here. Like, it'll be, like, six or seven minutes at the most. Yeah. But 17 minutes was, like, it felt like an eternity. We've said everything we needed to say about the poker hand, and then it was just, like, <laughs> so. Uh, like, so what have you been up to? Yeah. How's life? Start asking chat, like, what did you guys eat for lunch? Yeah. That's what we want to know, chat, while he uses his time banks. What did you guys eat for lunch today? I've recently started going back to Gambler anon Anonymous meetings. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'd like to talk about that a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm no quitter. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I'm going to win eventually, Jamie. Uh, by the way, when Jason just rolled out that massive stack of time chips, <laughs> what was that? Like... How did he? How did he manage to get forty six time chips? I don't. He's just never used time this whole entire tournament. He's just been bagging time chips. And they just keep giving them. They're like, you, you've done such a good job with the time chips. Just take a couple extra. We know you won't use them. Chats, let me know what they ate for lunch. Thanks, guys. Oh, I'm actually really hungry. Throw me, me some. Too. Throw me some lunch ideas, chat. Homemade chicken soup. That sounds good. I've been sick the last two days. Sorry if my voice sounds like this, but doing my best. Yeah, and I'm sorry that my face looks like this. Finally, you apologize. <laughs> while we're while we're uh, throwing apologies out there. <laughs> it, it is gonna be funny when he uses every single time bank chip and then puts in 95% of his stack and gets a fold. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> it's unlikely to happen versus Jack 10, but it would be really funny. That's got to be one of those classic oops moments. Yeah, you're like, you're like, oh, man, oh. I didn't think this one through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot that was a possibility. <laughs> this guy's just sitting there with, like, seven, six or something. <laughs> like, like, if Mark's folding, by the way, he's just watched him burn all these time banks. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> my hand's <laughs> in the muck already. The funny thing is, is this is pretty close so after all of this then mark gets a count so <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. like 19 <laughs> minutes and then can i get a count
I'd imagine at this point, though, Mark has counted every one of his chips seven times and has figured out what he's doing. Yeah, and Ade is just sitting there with aces. <laughs> oh, yeah. He <laughs> he's has, still in there. He has a Who hand. knows what he has? Oh, my God. I wonder if he looked yet. So while we're waiting for a few more minutes to be burned, um, I was with your lovely counterpart uh, commentating for Run It Up back in the day. And they had an, a Wi-Fi issue from wherever they were remotely broadcasting from. I think it was Australia. And we had to kill 40 minutes. Um, and oh, they were trying to get us. Yeah. yeah. They're like, uh, you guys have 40 minutes. So like, we can shut the stream down and then restart it. But then I was like, you lose all your viewership. So they're like, well, we'll just try to like hang out with chat the whole time. So we started doing relationship advice. Because it's like, we, when do you have two women in the booth oh, ever? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, and chat was like telling us all their stories and we were trying to give them advice. And like, we didn't really lose any viewership, which is ridiculous. That's just became sick. like I love, love lines at yeah. night. There's like a whole um, Twitch subsect or whatever you call it, section of Twitch that's dedicated <laughs> to that just, just chatting. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen that. This was like just chatting <laughs> with a purpose. <laughs> it was fun. So you taught chat how to pick up on women or what? <laughs> yeah, probably. I know a lot about that. So when a guy when a guy rolls up to me and just starts telling terrible jokes. <laughs> that really does it. This poor dealer has to pay attention the whole time too. <laughs> Look at all those time shifts. <laughs> He's like a dragon. He's just been sitting on all this gold for so long. Somehow um, we've gone from 18K to 19K viewers during this time, time extension fest. They love it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys, we're hitting 20,000. By the way, I haven't said this today, but... But I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't hit the like button, what are we doing here? <laughs> smash that like button. We, we ask for the, the smashing of the like button during the most boring part of our coverage. Yeah. If you like this tank, please yeah. move your cursor over. <laughs> Click on that like button. Yeah, Let any, us know. Anybody who's just joining, the reason this tanking's going on is there's a $27,000 pay jump that Jason would very much like to make. Before he jams. What if he forgets that he's out of time chips and he just runs out of time? <laughs> That's something I would do. That's something I would totally do, too. <laughs> oh. Thought we get one. 20 time bombs? Right? What? And he doesn't save the one chip back to <laughs> stall again? What Come are you on, doing, man? man? Jason. That's crazy. I'm so confused. I'm rooting for you, Jason, but you're, you know. You could have waited another 30 seconds, though, bro. Just put out 2.2 .2 million. Adi's like, I'll help you out, homie. Oh, this is actually really nice. It is really nice. Yeah. Give you a few extra seconds. Oh Mark my just god! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh hilarious. my god! <laughs> Stream's almost caught up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. No I'm way! <laughs> um, ten minutes by just telling him. He could have just. Oh just god! Yeah, I know. I mean. This has become one of my favorite hands ever. Yeah, that was something special. So good for you, actually. You just you know in minutes. 45 minutes, yeah. Jason's going to get put in a really tough spot. And have no time. And in case you didn't think about it, the table's just letting him know, know right now, too. Hey, man. You can't believe that happened. In, in Jason's defense, if he has that many time chips... He clearly time. doesn't need them no, very often. He doesn't. <laughs> there, but look, you're going to have another page jump coming one. up at some point. Maybe That's you were going to want to choose it for that. Well, 
I guess you used it to get towards that pay jump, right? Either yeah. Way. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just trying to find the silver lining here because that was a that was a lot of gold coins. <laughs> Mark raising up Ace Nine offsuit under the gun and Neil in the cutoff with pocket jacks. Feels like it's been so long since Mark has raised preflop. <laughs> Neil just calling. He's How do you feel about that? Because I, I think sometimes I play tens and jacks like this. It's like when you three bet, if you get four bet, it feels really icky. Yeah, he's on that awkward stack size, too, mm -hmm. where it does. 10.5 start? You do uh, see a good number of all ins, and you're you're just hating it. Yeah. And you have like 30. I have three deuce, two hearts. Also, there's a there's a number of reasons why having a disguised strong hand like jacks yeah, in like your if, range is good. If Mark has like eights, nines, tens here, he's going to put in a lot of money and you're mm -hmm. going to do really well. Definitely. Mark picking up the gut shot to go with his over cards on his board. Checks. Can't imagine. Wow. Check, check. Hmm. I was about to say, I can't imagine Neil doesn't bet here, but he actually does find the check. Do you think he just found it kind of odd that Mark didn't see bet after raising under the gun? Possibly. I think, in theory, you're supposed to play a lot of checks out of position, and most people just see bet mm -hmm. when they're out of position far too often. So some sometimes when you do finally see a check, it kind of throws up. Yeah. Alarms. Checks to Neil again. Now he's going to find a bet. It looks really small, though. That's 500. Yeah, that is quite small. It's actually exactly the size he wants to go versus Mark's type of hand because it will potentially allow him to call. Whereas a bigger bet would be problematic for an ace with such a bad kicker considering the board. There's only a couple aces that are worse than this one without being a pair or a straight. Six of diamonds on the river putting a four liner out there. Mark still at the ace high checks over to Neil. And I do think Neil wants to value bet here. I know that this looks like a scary board, but just given the action and the way it's played out so far, I think it's more likely for Mark to have a pair than I'd be so a straight. scared. I'm just scared. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. Bit I don't hate it only against Mark's opening range because we saw the king five suited, the king six suited. Like, why not some four suited fours in his range? Yeah, it's true. But but if he had ace four, he would have already had a straight. So we yeah. would have heard, we would have heard from it by now. You know what I mean? So it's like you're more worried about maybe some two pairs. Mm -hmm. It's certainly possible to have a four there. So we're looking at our outer tables right now of the World Championship, day five. Next feature table, I see Ben Heath, uh, Eric Blair. Eric Blair, let's okay, go. Is Sepiole, who we saw in earlier coverage. Is it ben Heath? Yeah. Wow. He's got a stack over there. Whoa. I feel like he went deep last year, but I might be wrong. Chad, help me out with that. Also, help me out with hitting this 20,000. How are we doing here? Nineteen thousand. Let's go. Oh, I'm 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 seeing in the chat that we have some some James Chen sightings in the in the room as well, still in the field. That's sick. Chen is a very accomplished player. And for my interactions with him, really nice dude who just loves poker. Works very hard on this game. Neil.
Steel getting a little out of line with the 9-10 offsuit open. Into mustache marks, big blind, no less. What's going to happen here? Neil's going to check back. I don't mind this. This is a board that favors Mark in the sense that Mark has a lot more of the nuts than Neil can have. For instance, Mark has a bunch of six sevens that Neil doesn't have. But I assume he's going to delay C bet though. Now that this card comes off, a little bit better for the hijack opening. I would imagine so as well. Unfortunately for him, it's yeah. Max Mark. Sometimes when you take a line like this, you realize that. You did the exact opposite of what you wanted to do, <laughs> just giving your opponent's hand in the run out. I've been in this spot too many times where I made what I think was a decent check back on the flop and I let them get there and then I put <laughs> money in. It happens. Neil now drawing dead. Interesting river card. Seven, there's no four to a straight. Yeah, and Mark's check calling range definitely contains stuff like six four, six three suited. Got a number of sixes. Neil presumably would have bet a lot of the sixes on the flop. Maybe not always. Mark's gonna lead. This mm -hmm. is cool. He's going pretty small. Six seventy five. See Neil has absolutely none of it. He'll just going to let it go. He's not going to bluff this one. And another pickup for our man Mustache Mark. What's it's better than playing one. poker? Playing poker on a boat. We're giving away a $12,400 package to the WPT Voyage, including a buy-in to a major tournament with a $1 million guarantee. Sign up at WPT Global using the link in the description below. Use the promo code PLAY and deposit $1 and you're in for a chance to set sail on the poker cruise of a lifetime. Gotta make fun of my co-commentator Jesse because our awesome team at ShareHand says commercial in 10 and Jesse forgets after the 10 seconds. <laughs> I just get so excited. You are very excited to talk about the hands. <laughs> yeah, you love poker a lot. It's evident. It's a good game. Yeah. Holds to mark in the small blind. He's waking up with ace nine suited. Fairly deep stack blind versus blind confrontation. We do here just limps in. The deeper we get in the tournament, the more you're gonna play out of the limp strategy. Simone with six deuce offsuit. It's the type of hand you're gonna make at like four X sometimes. It's so yeah. dusty. It's just so bad. Yep. You might as well bluff with it. And he does, he goes four X. It's and not going to work out well this time, though. No, it's, well, certainly not going to work pre-flop. But that's the beauty of 6 twos. You could flop a straight. You can. You could flop quads. You can't flop a flush. Mark's just going to call. Ace, queen, seven, two diamonds. Great flop for Mark. For two reasons. One, obviously, he flopped top pair. Top pair, good kicker. He has one of the best hands he'll have on this board. Uh, second, this is a board that Simone is going to go after at least a little bit. Wow, just finds a check. I don't hate that. You can always bluff on later streets. Mark checking again. Okay, 
I think someone an ample opportunity to attack this pot. And wow, just nice spidey senses to not... You know, like, sometimes you end up taking control of it pre-flop, and then you feel like you have to find a way to win. Yeah. But he's just not going to compound this problem of having six high and trying really hard to win. Absolutely. And for Mark, this could be an interesting spot to check again, because if your opponent has a queen, he's going to do the betting sure. for you. If he has a seven, he's going to do the betting for it. You basically Even have the nuts. When your opponent checks back, he never has ace, ten, or better. Um, maybe should occasionally, but very rarely. And obviously we know Simone wasn't planning to just check down the six high, so he would have bluffed at it. That's the other thing. You give your opponent the chance to bluff. Sure. You hear the floor in the background. They are going to move this table down back to the field and put up a new feature table. <laughs> All right, well, I'm out. <laughs> You're just here for Mustache Mark, I know. I'm going to go support him I'm privately sure lot on the floor. You're going to pan to anything. the field, it's just you just with a sign. The sign. <laughs> you got a fake mustache on. It's just an uh, uh, artist outline of a mustache, mm -hmm. and that's it on the sign. Yeah, our new table is going to be Heath, Eric Blair, Sepiel. Couldn't really see everyone's faces. Oh, that's a great table. James Chen, I guess, was at that table oh, as nice. well. The chat pointed out. Uh, awesome. Yeah, that's a lot of very good players. Seen with the jacks. Looks like he's just going to get it through, which is always. A bad feeling when you have a hand as strong as Jack's in the cutoff. But we're starting to get to the point in the tournament where picking up any chips feels very good. I did some quick math, and if I didn't screw it up, I think the average stack the final table will be, will be around 40 million. Mm. So it starts becoming fun seeing how players play as they get closer to that number. Although this is only day five. So if, if you've approached that number on day five, just two days before the final table. You're probably <laughs> you're, the type you're there of player. Ahead of time. Who's, yeah, you're probably <laughs> the type of player who hasn't been locking it up. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You weren't. Yeah, you're not the type of player who's eyeing the 40 million average final table stack and going, "I want exactly 40." <laughs> yeah. If you've arrived that far ahead of schedule, it's for a reason. He'll just Beyond ripping it in. For yeah, them. nine high. Jason, though, queen seven suited. We're still on that 27K pay jump. He's going to let yeah. this one go. That would probably push that hand into the fold zone. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to move this feature table before we head into a break. Mark Mouncey is a chip leader at our table with 83 big blinds. Maxime not far behind. And Jason Min just couldn't find a spot to double this whole time, despite using 17 time extensions. <laughs> <laughs> He's down to nine bigs, and the blinds are going up to 150K, 300K after the break. Stick with us. Done a lot of studying, just throwing in these big overbets as like a c bet on the flop. Mm -hmm. 
um, doing a lot of seemingly fancy things, but things that are correct. Um, fancy is certainly the wrong word because it's just a, a deeper understanding. Sure. Yeah, I know. Waking up a really nice hand in the big blind with his 13 big blinds, ace, queen of diamonds. Jason raises the button with pocket fours. I think fours can call hearts a little too much, right? Let's make, uh, I mean, yeah. if they if this was day one of the tournament, uh, if we were playing, you know, without any ICM mm -hmm. factors, this would certainly be a call. Yeah, this seems like a really, uh, like, threshold kind of... If he use sixes, he just calls. He goes, okay, like smaller pairs are shoving, right? But like yeah. this feels really on the line. Yeah, this gets like tricky. I think I would still flick it in. You know, you're just, yeah, he's going to. Oh, wait, maybe he's I not I think he going. counted out what his raise was to, 400. Oh, okay. Um, you're calling 2.4 to win a pot of. Yeah, he makes the call. Six. And you're just flipping a lot, so... And you're hoping that Mihai has hands like ace-two suited, ace-three suited that you dominate, which he may. I think it's certainly possible. Um, although I will say, as far as the hands that are correct to shove that people miss the most, that's probably one of them. Mm -hmm. So that might factor in your decision Yeah, he may well. just defend those, especially with pay jumps looming. King, nine, five, one diamond. Not much help for Mihai so far. I don't know who I'm rooting for here because I feel like Jason can, should get rewarded for that <laughs> sweet Nine. bluff earlier, but I really Five. like Mihai at the table. Yeah. Eight. King on the turn. Now we have a lot of counterfeit outs available. I know Foxen's rooting for the oh, yeah. ace queen. He's got to support his hype, man. One time. Oof. Six of diamonds. And that's going to be I'm it for Mihai. Yeah. Colorful Good character. We're all rooting for him a little Good bit. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Good game. Good. Wish luck, everyone. Uh, sure. <coughs> oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. He's going to cash for no, okay. $113,000. I'm, I'm sorry, $111,000. Quietly actually be the best in the world. And wow. Yeah. That's... I think those are strong words. I mean, it's funny. when when Obviously, he gets put in the conversation a good bit, but... If you ever have a conversation, you don't include him in top three, top five, or whatever after all the success he's had and just how well he executes every time he mm -hmm. sits down at the table. I don't know. I think he doesn't get as much credit as he deserves because he's not that flashy. Like, he's yeah. quiet and calm and not very braggy. Yeah. Mm. And he hasn't had that, that one-drop win or that mm. super high roller bowl win where it's, uh, you know, everyone starts talking about them after that and starts looking at their hand and mob and realizing yeah. all the other scores they had. Yeah. But, yeah, Dan just... I've never seen Dan at any feature table play less than an A-minus game. He just always brings mm -hmm. it. And you could say the same about a few guys. Uh, Mikita Alden. seems to always play quite well. Oh, Jason's always shove. performing at a very high. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Maxime raises under the gun one with king-queen suited on a massive stack. And Roberto Romanello finds the jam... Just 16 big blinds in the small blind pocket fours. So he's got a really nice stack size to be shoving because uh, you still have a lot of fold equity, but the size of the pot is pretty massive compared to your stack. So it's a really nice pickup whenever you get the fold. On top of that, he may think that Maxime just got here. He's already opened twice. Mm -hmm. He's got a ton of chips. So he might be Any opening light? a little wider. Yeah. So he, he, I, I'm guessing Roberto put a lot of that information together and decided that this was a risk worth taking. And it's going to be five. close, but I could certainly see Maxime folding here this deep in the tournament. One, eight, eight, mark, one, shot, ready to go. Certainly if he was cut off, hijack, he'd be flicking in the call. But from early position, you normally see opponents respect that open a lot more. Yeah. Great Can job there, by Roberto. Nice Because generally, if you're sweating that pay jump, you're not one of the biggest stacks in the room, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's When you're one of the biggest stacks in the room, it's almost a given in your mind that yeah. you're getting the pay but jump. Yeah, but being a short stack, like a fist pump or something would be in yeah. line at least, you know? it's true. Just internally you're doing it, I guess. It's almost like relief mm -hmm. at that point. Like, oh, good. Now I don't have to think about that for the next... 
Alex. Oh, chat's very annoyed at the the dong bell as they call it. That is the shot clock sound. Each player is on a shot clock pre-flop, so they can't stall that much. So that's what the dinging is in the background. It's getting reset. CC in chat says, Mustache Mark is greater than Ned Flanders. Oh my goodness. That is quite a statement. <laughs> Fox in all in under the gun plus two with a six suited. Just eight big blinds. And Maxime in the big line of pocket threes. Yeah, only, it's eight only big eight big blinds. big blinds. He has plenty of room. Probably going to flick it in. Also, just yep. the opportunity to eliminate one of the best, if not the best players in the field. Sure. It's a race. Now, obviously, you don't want to double up that type of player either, but if you have a hand that's best case scenario. generally a call, you certainly don't want to <coughs> reach it. <coughs> <Could be king. coughs> I'll take this, though. No spades. Yeah. <laughs> and Foxen's going to be dangerous if he can get this double up. Six will do. Six Oscar pulls way did. ahead wow. now, 89%. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, so five of spades, probably the most fun card. Yeah. In the <laughs> Takes away one of Maxime's house, but gives him a whole lot more. He can hit a seven or a deuce now. And it's a deuce. Oh my goodness. Wow, Man. sickening. <coughs> And that's going to take out Alex Fox and Maxine making the six high straight. Max drama for the straight wow. table. Wow, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> there's a 1600, I think. I believe it's day two of the 3K today. Oh, okay. By the way, the numbers on that were insane. Ridiculous. Day yeah. 1A got over 800 runners. There's going to be a million up top in a 3K. That's crazy. That every Every one of these tournaments was massive, like twice as big as they thought. Yeah. And then this one missed by like... Not that many players. Yep. I'll tell you one thing, Jamie. I'd be getting FOMO if there wasn't such thing as buying pieces. <laughs> Instead, I'm just getting whacked. But you know, oh no, no, I'm just kidding. I, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't even care. Yeah, you sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I mentioned that uh, Colby Covington lost me a lot of money the other night, and I feel like a few people in chat were worried about me. I'll let you guys know. I tend to exaggerate these things a little <laughs> bit for dramatic effect, but you don't play many tournaments. Hmm? You don't play many tournaments. Yeah, I play a lot. You play a lot. Online. Roberto finding the pocket jacks. Unfortunately for All him, in. he may not get a fold out of Maxime. I would assume. Maxine's going to call only because this looks like it's a nice squeeze spot. Yeah, right? uh, I was about to say that. And then I was like, well, it wasn't under the gun raise, though. So it's like a little less exciting. True, true. But he may make some hero calls out of the big blind rather than jamming with a few different types of hands. But just generally, I think Maxine can expect him to have some ace jacks in there, for instance. Um, some other hands that you dominate occasionally, maybe like king-queen suited puts it in sometimes. The speed, the timing at which Roberto jammed feels a little bit strong. Like he just kind of looked at his hand and was like, yep, this is a this is one that goes in. Yeah, I was thinking it's still going to be called. Ace-queen just so strong. Yeah. And Maxime can afford it, and that does kind of factor in when you're thinking about it, whether sure. it should or not. There's like dead money. You're flipping a lot of the time. Sometimes you're ahead. It's a, uh, when you get to this stage in the tournament, it, it is a much different call when you have 8 million or if you have 20 million. Sure. That kind of stuff matters for sure. So Roberto, pocket jacks all in and at risk. 57% favorite though. Not Oof. anymore. Wow. Queen 4-3. Maxime pulls ahead 91%. Roberto's going to need to pick up one of the remaining jacks if he wants to stay in this tournament. Five's not going to help. He has done nothing wrong so far today. He picked his spots really well and 
Unless he hits a jack, it will all be oh. paint, but not a jack. Not and that's going to be the end for Roberto, who goes out in 38th place. He's going to take home $132,500 for his efforts. Com. Tons of updates on there. If it's not going on this table, the information we're getting is coming from there as well. So. Did get to take a look at the um, $1 million one drop tournament real quick when we were on break while we were locking ourselves out of this room. And Cowboy, Dan, Ike, and Fado are all at the same table. <laughs> yeah. I guess in that tournament, you kind of just expect to be s seated with a bunch of crushers, but it's still, when you go out there and look, I'm like, man, that's got to be a hard day at work. <laughs> yeah, when you sign up for a million dollar tournament in this day and age, there's no easy days at work, I'd imagine. The other table is looking pretty sick. I saw Petrangelo over there. Mm -hmm. Stevie. Jason Kuhn. Kuhn. Those are three other guys you could put in the argument. Whoa, that was uh, Bogdan. Bogdan jammed for eight big Look. blinds. Oh, Mark called. Oh, Mark I'm sorry. Called. Okay, I thought yeah. he folded that face up. I was very confused. Um, he makes the call. So we are going to race for Bogdan's tournament life. Ace, queen offsuit versus mustache marks pocket nines. Jack five four two clubs. Mark's nines are still in the lead. Not the flop you want to see with ace queen. That's for yeah. sure. No backdoor flush draws, except for your one for your opponent. And a nine. Oh wow! He's yeah. gonna do it for Bogdan. Takes thirty sixth place. <coughs> About one hundred thirty thousand dollars. Mark scooping another pot. What a time to run pot. Tough time for Bogdan. He didn't have a lot of cards. He tried to flip with the worst possible person to flip with. Yep, <laughs> the guy on the heater. <coughs> Mark's hitting 100 big blinds. I did. I corrected myself <laughs> and lied to you. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> it's not a lie if you tell me it's a lie. <laughs> it's not a very effective one. True. On kit, waking up with ace, queen off suit, and the cutoff. A little over 25 big blinds to start the hand. Oh my goodness. Wow. Neil, a latecomer to this feature table with aces. This is a cold deck for Anke. Wow. Started with 6.3. What size is Neil going to pick? Anke is only... He goes for really small okay. size. Just six big blinds from the small. Anke is only like 25 deep. When your opponent three bats quite small out of position and doesn't go all in. Alarm bells. Yeah, it's I mean he could have some bluffs, but he'd have some some insta folds or insta calls now. That said, if you think your opponent's capable of bluffing here, ace Got queen is a great hand to stick in. Sure. Yeah, it's like you have exceptional blockers. You have a hand that plays fine po uh post slop as well, but you don't really want their ace-x suiteds to pick up a flush draw and shove and get you off your hand. You don't want king-x oh, suiteds to realize no. equity. Oh, no. Not like this. All in. Good luck, all in. Page Still three away from the pay jump, so we're not going to be right. stalling this one. This feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. So you can wait. Is that five minutes worth? <laughs> yup. It sure is. I think you burn a couple, and if no one gets eliminated, maybe you just flick it in. Three people is a lot right it's now. It's a lot. I think it's almost never happening while you're waiting. If we're down to four tables. <coughs> they just need to lose one at every table while you're waiting. That's just not going to happen. It's a tall order. Especially if people are doing the same thing over there. Don't fault him for trying, though. It's about a $27,000 pay jump. He can make it to 32. 
<clears throat> oh, three people. <laughs> Brutal. You got any good Luigi jokes? <laughs> I told you all my jokes. I feel like we've exhausted the Mario ones, but. did forget to tweet the stream, so that's what I'm doing now. We have a five-minute intermission. There we go. Get the, we get the retweets going. I'm guys. hoping it's a flip. Oh. Is, he You're is going for to be some bad news. Yeah, really disappointed. Hundred and thirty two thousand five hundred dollars. It's what these final thirty three players are guaranteed as we head into the halfway point of the WPT World Championship Day Five coverage. New feature table with some fresh faces, although some of them familiar names from prior days. Daniel Sepio. Gorgias Soteropoulos has uh, have both been at the feature table at some point. Ben Heath, chip leader with 55 bigs, the pro from the UK. One of the most feared players from the UK as we've worked our way down to the top. 1% of the field. My name's Henry Kilbane, Be in the booth for the rest of the day. Massive shout out to Jesse Sylvia for stepping in the first two levels of play. A warm welcome back <coughs> to all of our viewers as well. See a lot of people saying, Henry, you missed Mustache Mark, don't you worry. I was watching with a massive grin on my face knowing that's how much you guys would be enjoying the show. Forced little phone detox. I know, right? I don't know if it's good or bad. Okay, sound the big. It. My wife like, just arrived today. Yeah. 33 bigs does come with the ISO against the James Chen limp. Right. Like whether they let her in. So it's just like sweating. <laughs> like, this one's yeah. going to be interesting yeah. because what I do, think what James. Uh, Ten of diamonds inside straight draw. Travel a lot. And then it's the going to be folding especially. 15% C bet. Where is Spain? In, in Madrid. Got to play some bad. Options on the table for Chen. Top best cities in the world. I'm surprised me. Madrid was like. John Locke is saying, "How was the rodeo? Fantastic. I'm staying in America. Madrid's incredible. Oh, James Chen. Hitting him with the check raise to 1.3 million. How do you like them apples? Kick things off here. Um, James Chen, number one ranked player on Taiwan's all time money list. Best live cash of 3.1 million. It's over 9 million in live earnings. Yeah, mine is in the back. That's me, yeah. People asking where yeah, you can see the names the of the players in the field. Head over to the worldpokertour.com website. Click on the tab that says World Championship. You have a full list of payouts, chip counts, live updates, and tournament info. 33 players left here. All guaranteed 132,500. As mentioned. It may sound a little bit. We are on a $27,000 pay jump. They want jokes on TV. 
<laughs> yeah, but he was a little bit. My, too my much buddy has a good TV. saying. He's got two phones, and then, and then huh? you ask him. My buddy has a good good saying. You ask him, and they say, "Why do you have two phones?" He goes, "One phone is for the wife, and one phone is for the girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason why I have it, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure, your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a guy. Fortunately for him, doesn't connect in the form of a five, a six straight, and should be over and done with. Although Ben maybe going to mix in some checks at a low frequency, 1.6 in the middle. Current table captain. Let's just fire out continuation, Ben. I'll tell you what, chat. Yeah. Just <laughs> scanning through the field. Left here. Oh, would, uh, over on the World yeah. Poker Tour. Oh, yeah, dot com right. blog. Okay. Um, you know, I can do it. Na I think next Not to state the obvious, but we have so some uh, real talent left oh in the field. Do we ben Heath, do we third on the UK's all time money list. Just shy of 20 million in career earnings. Just Just scanning through I don't know. the tournaments he's matter. taken yeah, down throughout his yeah. career. High rollers, bracelets, yes. EPTs, I mean, yes. achieved everything I'm assuming we're gonna play three, one can three. achieve in poker. But doesn't have a WPT title. The only thing left on the bingo card for him to complete. And what a WPT it would be to take down the World Championship. Excuse me. Was this water moved from that seat? Or? Yeah, I thought it might be here, so I just brought it up here. Ralph asking, when's the final table going to be? It's going to be on Thursday, the 21st of December. So we've got five levels of play today. Tomorrow... We're playing down to the final table. Final table of six. And then on Thursday, we'll be crowning a champion. Said champion's going to be going home with 5.6 million and change. And it's going to become part of poker history. Ask Watson said, I'm glad you all stream these on YouTube without a paywall. Appreciate the streams. You're more than welcome. Glad you're all enjoying the show. 16,000 of you. I know Jesse basically had enough prior to break saying, you know, if you haven't clicked the like button, we've got this free poker content on not just the World Championship, the high stakes cash games. We had the PLO cash game with Phil Galfond in the booth. We had the ladies events. The return of Garrett. 300, yeah, 600. How, am I the, how old are you? Uh, let me refresh. Do I have to do this on stream? Let me refresh. <laughs> <it. The one laughs> 39, am I the oldest here? Probably not. I'm also 39. Just, you know, oh, okay. I'm guessing click the like I'll be 40 button. in June. If you? you haven't, what are you doing? Christmas. Really? 33. 33? <laughs> well, we talked about it yesterday, so. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Remember the guy who thought, he thought we were speaking Italian? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between your Bra Brazilian accent and my Boston accent, Eric I thought it was Blair. Italian. Oh, yeah. Jennifer, 23 bigs from under the gun. It's kind of similar. Running into <laughs> it immediately, just two seats over. James Chen, 31 bigs and a couple of jacks. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see the flat at this stage of the tournament. Just from an ICM point of view, I think we're going to be seeing this for the next day and a half until we get down to the FT. Not to state the obvious again, but 
the stakes are really damn high right now. Zeppelin gets out of the way, so heads up a fair. These two hands could collide on certain board textures. One point nine out there. That's all James Chen. Not a heart in sight for Eric. And interestingly, opts to just wave the white flag with this one. Somewhat surprised. Didn't take a small stab, but maybe just has a real gauge on the range of hands that James is going to be flatting from the hijack at these stack depths. Going to contain a ton of pocket pairs, you know, sixes through jacks. Maybe not sixes, actually. Probably borderline. A bunch of ace highs. Suited ace x with spades, diamonds. As James takes it down, and I welcome Jamie back into the booth. Hello. Tummy I'm full of food, one hopes. Feel, feel way better. There we go. <laughs> Come on. This lady, ladies and gentlemen, non-stop, around the clock, and won't go and take 15 minutes to grab <laughs> some food, I mean. I'm excited for this event. It's really fun. I don't know. Honestly, it's been such a treat. Just for, you know, poker fans, whether you're a professional, you know, recreational, just a hobbyist, whatever it is, I, I think we can all universally agree that this has been an epic few days of poker. It's so crazy, too, just how much is still going on. Yeah. They had that $3,000 event just now have a zillion people, and I think it's going to be a million-dollar first prize for that wow. one, too. Um, there's a 1600 I think, a few flights of it still going on. $1 million one drops out in the field right now, 10 of 17 remaining. Final table of that is tomorrow. There's just so much. Like Each one of these events would have me excited to be here and just having them all go on at once. Prime final table Six, also yeah. going on right now, $1.4 million for first in that one. Crazy. That's an $1,100 buy-in. Not that we're looking to kick you guys away from this day five coverage, but... Just watch both. Yeah. Duck and dive. Jump in between both streams. Sorry you can mute them it. and keep you know, <laughs> our stream um, unless, unmuted. Unless Understandable. Uh, no, he's yeah, 37. Oh, yeah, like you said, sorry. Yeah. Just shy of 1.4 million up top in that one for an $1,100 buy-in. 31. Now the plan for the one drop, and apologies if I'm putting you on the spot here, playing down to six today? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm commentating that one tomorrow with Nick Schulman. I'm super excited about that. The That'd sick part of that final table is we're bringing back yeah, six and only four are paid. Wow. Okay. Right. $1.2 million <laughs> dollar min on. cash. Okay. Really sick. I would actually yeah. have guessed that that's, uh, you were younger that's than pretty grim. People here. I, get, I get that a lot. And news yeah. out there. Dan the Smith, I believe, coming in as chip yeah, leader today. Yeah, Cowboy today. Dan, chip leader. Santosh also on Master Pretty Nice Stack. I wanted a heads up Cowboy Dan versus Santosh. I think that would be okay. very fun to watch. They have definitely tangled on numerous occasions across the pond. Mm -hmm. So we were without graphics this hand, but Eric Blair getting um, through with a three bet jam. That $1 million one drop field is small but mighty. <laughs> There's a lot. We had Ike, Dan Smith, Jason Kuhn, Fedor, Santosh. <laughs> Who else is in there? Rick Solomon. Just Rick Solomon, Nikki P, Makita, yeah. Mario Mosbach, oh Ibinger, <laughs> Fedor. Slide it. Slide awesome it field. It happened to me. Well. Like the cars I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I like, well, they have to, I think I it's like, like graphics. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason yeah, at least this just like six they're they're huge. Yeah, 20 yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. yeah, this is actually this fine with this with the slope. <sighs> Current chip leader is Ike Haxton. I mean, what a year. Seriously. 15.5 million in caches. <laughs> oh my God. Looking to eclipse the runs of Bonomo, Dan Coleman, Fedor. If he can close this out, I mean, would be up to like 23 million in one year. 
just a, a short Ike story. Just He's a very humble person. The first time I met him was in 2009, and I was at a barbecue that players were having. Okay. And uh, I met him, and he just was really nice and talked to me for like 20 minutes about music and a bunch of other stuff. And then I was like, all right, nice to meet you. I wander away. And someone's like, oh, yeah, he cashed for a million dollars today. Was not part of his story. Was not part of anything he was talking about. Like, yeah. I just felt like that has to be like 0.1% of poker players wouldn't have mentioned it to everyone they talked to that day. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I got a lot of time for Ike. I had the pleasure yeah, of doing commentary with him a few times. That's awesome. He just puts his head down and just wins all the time. Seems to be the case, at least this year. So still graphicless, so we get to sweat this one. Looks like a button, the big blind affair. Sepul tangling with the trip leader at the table, Ben Heath. 10-9-4, king on the turn, rainbow complete in board. As much as I like to pretend that I love these graphicless <laughs> hand histories, I'm like a deer in headlights, if I'm yeah. being perfectly honest with you, especially with two talented players such as this. The first time I ever commentated was at WPT in Venice, and uh, it was no, no hole cards. Not RFID, and I was like, this is the hardest thing in the entire <laughs> world. I didn't know I was on hard mode that day. I, the problem is there's other tournaments going on during the money, too, like the three case in the money, so you don't know if it's out yeah, there. Yeah, but I think that might have got outside of the room. What's this over here? I think it's oh, okay, then. So you're wrong. But the three K, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Three K's on the money, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, someone busted. Three K's all in that corner. It's like a mill on that thing. Close to it. Yeah, it was like 1-1. One, one. Kind of crazy for a three K. Huh? Yeah, Amazing poker series. Yeah, I I got the bad news about Chrissy because she was kind of walking by me in the hallway just now, and I was like, oh, it's not break right now. But honestly, I think mm. it's good advertising. It happened. She ended up busting. I think she said in thirty third. Like five years ago. Yeah. They missed it. The time was the biggest. Does uh, seem that way. Overlay. It's right now. Uh, oh man, and that's on a pay right. jump too. Yeah, like twenty seven thousand dollar pay jump. So down to the final four tables of eight. Rebalancing of sorts. Got our graphics back. Ardit in the hijack with Ace King suited. Yeah, she was eliminated by Owen. Arthur Martha Ocean. Top pair v top pair collision. Quite a big jam, 18 big blinds. Is the hand so good? Perhaps you didn't know the pay, the pay jump has been reached already, do you think? Perhaps. Or oh, is that uh, that stack yeah, there? The it was the one in August, it was like a five Doesn't want to raise, allow the big blind to come in and then navigate uh, non ace high, king like high boards. Like over two million, two, one, two, two. Happy to just that, add the chips, the take it down, yeah, 20 big blinds. Yeah. So you, you open, yeah. fire out a C bet. Open the same effect Pot do. doesn't go your way. All of a sudden, you're in that danger zone. <laughs> sub 15 bigs. I could get behind. Oh, yeah, the open jam, but I'm also like you. Yeah, yeah it's like 18 feels like too much. Like so much good yeah, stuff can happen if you just open it. Obviously, some more aces will jam on you. Yeah. And peel. And, you know, just good things can happen. Yeah, keep spades that you dominate in. All sorts sure. of things really at the business end of this tournament now what's your prediction on total numbers of total number of players that will bag today it's a good question so we, um, three so we have three more there? levels yeah we came back today with about 45 players I think Correct. we lost 13 in two levels so maybe we lose 19 to 20 more, but actually it slows down as it goes. So maybe we lose, we could lose 18 more. That's pretty reasonable, right? Wow. Okay. It could be not so bad tomorrow then. Yeah. It so does get, it gets slower uh, and you know yeah. it. So maybe, yeah, could, maybe we lose 15 more. I was going to say that we get down to like 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, if it keeps up the pace it's at, it's been going. Tomorrow won't be that long of a day. I just, the structure has been great. It has been. Yeah, it's like yeah. not so arduous that these people want to die by the end of the, <laughs> the fifth day. For sure. It also depends if uh, people use 17 time extensions. Yeah. In a hand. <laughs> I still can't believe that hand. We were jokingly saying it will be funny after he uses his like 17 whatever time extensions if it just gets snap folded and then that's exactly what happened. <laughs> There was so much about that hand that just <laughs> made it hilarious. The mustache mark is just the born memer. Yeah. Cut off raised, pocket fives, big one defended. It's been checked through to the turn. Five's still good, but boards, lots of overguards. I think the beach will increase on how much better. Yeah, the water is there. One of those hands, you could argue, maybe just fold pre out of the big, feels cuspy. Does check all the way through. Six of spades, river. Oops. Swing Mateus basically waved the <laughs> white flag already on this one. <laughs> but no, he's reaching. Good size, too. It's reasonable that a six would play like this, being third pair on the flop. I'd love to see Eric put on the cape here, given the way the hands played out. Sure. 75% on the river, fives with a spade. Yeah. Reaching. Teased us. Oh. Uh, I think so. The big blind can have such a wide range of cards, but you are blocking the 6-5 suited. That's nice. <laughs> you are. 75% on the boxes. river feels pretty polar. Yeah. Like how, how deep into his value range do you think he's betting 70? Like, is he betting like Queen nine for this size. Just the way that the hand has played out too is just like quickly like neither seemed very interested in it at all. I don't know. It's just like a live read thing though, and obviously we're looking at the cards. He's got the calling chips in hand to put on the cape. And he wants to do it. There's always that. Live stream element. Wow. Nice call. Bravo. Flicks in the 1.2, gets the table, the two fives. Eric, up to 8.4 million now. He earned those. Color. I, I, I know. Join in in trap eight. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Norman. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Huh? I guess it shouldn't People be surprising that every seat is getting filled by so an elite pro at this point. It, you yeah. look so close to just being all of it. <laughs> just like straight under the table. Chris Mormon. Who loves it more? I don't think there are many. He's an OG. He's been around forever. Eric Blair too, though. Online guy forever. Since before Black Friday. You were like in fourth grade, I think. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, thanks. That's must be nice. <laughs> yeah, Chris Mormon, the only member of the WPT Champions Club still in the field. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, we've got. Wouldn't have expected that. Simone Andrian, who is a prime champion, but Mormon, the only Champions Club member left in. Six hundred. Eric Blair, right after it again. Min raising these ten offsuit from the hijack. James Chen with a nice hand on the button. Jack nine suited. He's gonna let it go. He's making the call with nine eight suited from the small blind. Yeah, maybe some signs of frustration. Don't want to read into it too much, but. Look at this stack depth peeling from the small. A little bit light. 1.9. 
Yeah, and especially with Mormon, I was going to say, Mormon is so aggressive that you just don't want to give him a reason to squeeze. And like that flat and the small just primes him up for a squeeze. He's going to take it down. Uh, yes, please. Chris I'll take a, um, a hot green. Also known for his accolades on the online felt, as Jamie was alluding to, but does have a very healthy track record in the live arena. 6.7 million, best live cash of 1 million and 68,000, as I mentioned. Yeah, thank you. It's a WPT champion. Took down the LA Poker Classic back in 2014. How much do you have? 5.8. I think I'm still in high school. That used to be one of the biggest WPTs around. Yeah, You've got lots of runners. Yeah, it was a Raising into the gun with ace 10 suited. Georgius in the big blind with ace 8 off suit. I was incredibly impressed. One of the Greek men yesterday had him at the feature table for a few levels. Managed to navigate some very difficult spots and made some big folds as well correctly. Preserve a healthy stack coming into day 5. 953 rainbow one club for it am i saying art it right or is it art eat i, mean, I feel like if we just really both say it wrong one of us will be right at least okay you know? i'll go rd i'll go rd okay i think it's rd just make sure that we're butchering it, it has to be a hard d right hard it hard it yeah probably i'm gonna take right, that one down you gonna play i've never played yeah I want to get you to try and say Georgios's surname <laughs> at some point. I got to see if it. We, if we're talking about it's butchering. Be <laughs> <laughs> you got to go Belly Bunny in top three, right? But I, only, I was young when I played Okay. It. I was looking I up pronunciations this morning of the uh, people that were starting, and I was like, my yeah. stupid American yep, mouth right, can't right, even right, form right, some right, of those. Very fortunate to have been more exposed in Europe to the Greeks and, and uh, yeah the, there's just uh, some Ukraine sounds that are hard to, to make oh, nice. uh, yeah I mean, yeah honestly this win course is, is in the best condition I've ever seen a golf course yeah and a little ad for the win all the viewers cool. now it's the best condition I've ever seen I mean it's unbelievable right? yeah. yeah I've never actually played it which is weird I played a bunch of them yeah you got I've seen it on TV it's I think it was like five right five hundred now is that what the rate is or went up again oh it's more now it used to be five Eight hundred guys. Oh really? For a round of golf. Eight hundred? Yeah. Wow, Should that's crazy. Yeah. It's a great course though. I've heard it. It's really awesome. Um, to me, shadow is still. It probably still doesn't right. seem that expensive yeah. based on how much I've heard yeah. they gamble on the course. That's true. They're like whatever. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> you make it back. Yeah. If you're good at golf. Shout out Rampage. Is he good? No, he's down. <laughs> he's down three hundred to me. Shout out Rampage because you beat him. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Got a little plug out there. <laughs> yeah, I teach you about not killing your action, though, homie. You, you should have just talked it. about like, he oh man, Rampage day. ran so he bad. He did. Yeah. He he played really well, but ran bad on the Yeah, grass. it's so rough. Happens. You should probably bet again though. Your luck has to change. Georgius. Hitting second pair is going to bet 300k. Blinders blind. Gets it done. People pointing out that Kristen busted out just before that pay jump. Brutal 27k. Since we're throwing plugs out there, I got to throw my, my courses. <laughs> Shout out to Boca Rio. <laughs> Down in Boca Raton, Florida. And the Preserve it Iron Wars. Hot it. Shelling different golf courses. Okay. <laughs> Hope he's got some like affiliate link or something. You know when you're South Florida, I'll take you to both. Of you. Oh, yeah, well, I'll get you. Rio, Rio, yeah, Rio special. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. It's not like a prototypical Florida golf course either. It's, it's cool. This is a good commercial. Tell yeah, me more. Very tight. 
And you got to hit everything in the bag, OT, you can hit driving iron, three wood. Uh, it was actually, it was designed. I'm Andres Campero, I'm from Mexico, and I got my ticket to the tournament uh, satelliting through WPT Global. Andres won a seat to the World Championship from a $55 satellite on WPT Global, and now he's here in Vegas running deep. It's your chance to win a seat and play in World Poker Tour live tournaments around the globe. Click the link in the description below and sign up with bonus code PLAY. A lot of the tournaments had overlays, so it was great to start playing them. And with the promos that you guys had, I think it's very, very plus if you do that. Hey, you're hearing from one of our qualifiers on WPT Global who made it all the way to this day. I think he busted today or maybe end of yesterday. He busted today. Yeah, he did? Right. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're pretty nice blessed. Six figure Florida. score. Like so many, yeah. Unfortunately for Americans, we can't play, but many other countries can. There were some overlays in the early um, guaranteed uh, satellites to this event. Yeah, there were a couple of qualifiers that I believe we interviewed that were saying precisely that. that the only reason they entered the, the satellite was due to the overlay. And then I'm thinking a ticket. And That's awesome. Found himself here in the money, deep into day three, day four. Nice. Um, towards the end of those mega satellites, they're giving away 14 seats, no overlay. Just says a lot about the health of the site. Note the fold from Ben, by the way. Yeah. Under the early position, ace nine oh. There are a couple short stacks hanging around. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. That's something to keep an eye on for sure. 600. Wow, Arden really feeding himself. He's not scared. Opening into similar oh, register stacks. Oh, it's not going to get through though. Just a little nice bit six, six one, I think. 22 big blinds to start. Seems like a nice spot for Eric to just jam. All on. Quite literally just invited Eric to come and play golf in Florida and now he's jamming <laughs> on. <laughs> nice orbit and a half for Eric. Sure. That was a really nice call down with pocket fives. It can't be easy at this stage of the tournament. Quite a few people here that have the experience skill edge in the sense that they've played for these stakes before, such as James Chen, best live cash of over $3 million. Wow. Mormon with a couple of seven figure scores, Ben Heath, multiple seven figure scores. And when you've been in this seat before and you've navigated these waters, it really does give you that advantage. And not to be <coughs> third and you know, put off by the bright lights, the big cameras, the entire poker world watching. It's your first time. It can be uh, pretty daunting. These two have played a bunch as well. Ben's going <coughs> to, excuse me, defend the Jack-10. About that for a fun flop. Queen 10 5 rainbow, both players connecting. James with top top, Ben with middle pair. Guess we see a river, Jamie. <laughs> How many holding ones you boys have? Zero. Zero? Zero. Really? How about you? I got one. I'm so tilted I don't have it. Really? I'm shocked. You know, one I don't even I mean like I got three index, I mean three handicap and you have none? That's crazy. I've only been close like yeah. two or three times. I've had like four close ones. I made one at, at Rio, number three at Rio, uh, twenty during COVID, twenty twenty. <laughs>
We always have hole in one bed when we go out. Yeah, we usually we do we, we, we do a we do a thousand each guy we play. Normally, but, but no, the rule is you have to play, you have to play together. That's the well, we each yeah. drop on yeah. the golf course. <laughs> James has flat out seen at 700k. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys just crushed it. Yeah. yeah, just gonna check. Cool, understandably okay. so. Yeah, I had a buddy man in, in the middle. Like 12, years ago. He's he inside spot brewing already. Oh. One round. It's one round. Terrible I played turn that card. Back in, in Boston, I mean, wow. Maybe longer. People that were hoping Ben to find yeah, an exit on the turn. Look at James staring Ben down, just trying to get a read. You, you always remember your first one. I was 148. Ben, stoic as ever. Yeah. Still on my uh, PayPal. Still on my way. My good buddy got one. This summer, I think, right then. Yeah. It doesn't hit it that far. 158.5 hybrid. 1.5 5 hybrid. Perfect. Too. Jesus. Perfect. It just bounced and just rolled right in? Perfect. I called it in the air. That's, that's awesome. And then it rolled in perfectly. Yeah, we, we did an Ireland trip. Despite uh, the $3 million dollar Ireland, cash and we a Royal under County his belt, James did seem a little shaky for a second there, and I don't know if it's... Yeah, I felt like it was more of a, a sizing thing. Yeah, like that he, he like felt like he had messed up the size. Yeah, nice like fold, didn't want to go back for more chips and yeah, nice fold, Ben. Always dicey with those kind of holdings. You end up playing a bit of a guessing game. You know, is my opponent just barreling with like an ace king, a king jack, an ace jack? No, maybe like an ace four of hearts. The next one. You sure? Okay. That's correctly pitching it. <laughs> yeah, it's Thank tough you. to. If they are, they're probably going to go for another barrel also. So you're like, am I really going to call two here? Second pair, facing the under the gun raise, which could be yeah. just nuts. Yeah, how comfortable am I playing like a, a 10 million chip pot with flop middle pair? One, two? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Those of you just joining us, Mark Mouncey, aka Mustache Mark, current chip leader with 31 players left. Artur Martirosian in second, Ben Jacobs in <coughs> third. Recent eliminations include Roberto Romanello, Alex Foxen, Kristen Foxen, all falling short. Halfway through day five. Well, update from the 10K Seniors High Roller. Okay. 500K so guarantee. It's up to a million in the prize pool already. How many times have you reached oh. for it? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> That's pretty wild, yeah. <laughs> This for a flop for James. Defending out the big top pair. Jack high clubs on the Jack five tray. Got to guess. Continuing with the ace king, two overs, king of clubs. Options on the table here. Those look like raising chips. Goes for the really small raise. Just leveraging the short stack of the Greekman. Doesn't need to go huge. Curious to see what Gilgis does here with the ace king. I mean, king of clubs in hand. Let's make the call. This could be a monster pot here, depending on how things run out. It's going to be trouble. Yeah, 3.6 out there. Chen turning the jack high clubs. Jurgis with the redraw. Although two of his outs actually are dead. The seven and deuce of clubs. Check. 
Ben getting really tricky here. Checking it on over. Just extending the rope. Doesn't take the bait. Oh, wow. Unreal. Eight of clubs from the fourth club on the river. James with the jack high flush and Georgius with the king high flush. What an insane run out. How's he found that card on the river? Flop went check bet. Raised to one million call. Cool. Turn went check check. Chen now in check call cool mode on this four flush river. 3.6 million out there. See what size Georgius comes with. It's it's awkward, right? Because it was the flop that went check raise. So targeting you know, like two pair hands. Not many to flop two pairs. Maybe some like jack X of clubs. You can see that's exactly what James has. Does it cross your mind at all that James could have check raised with the ace of clubs? Like ace club deuce, ace club four or something like that, or would that never do that? Yeah, I mean, if he's check raising with jack four, why not with yeah. ace four, right? Yeah. Gets paid off pretty quickly. That is a huge pickup, 9.2 million chip pot. Got to get us up to 11.4 million now. Jamie's dying in the booth. I'm dying, sorry guys. I'm glad that you're saying his name so nicely because I, I can't. <laughs> Which part can you not say? The whole part. <laughs> the whole part. <laughs> the whole part. You're, you just sound a lot nicer saying it, so I'll just... I just won't commentate on him. He's yours. <laughs> just ignore him. <laughs> Every time he's in a hand. I mean, I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing it, it right. It sounds cool, though, so we're going with that. Like, his own mom is watching, being like, I'm going to call him that from now on. Yeah, I think it's it's probably close. from Greece. One of my favorite places to visit, actually. Played quite a bit of PLO with him as well, if oh, I'm not nice. mistaken. Blair with pocket tens and the cutoff's going to min raise. Ben Heath on the button with ace five suited. A couple options on the table. You could flat or three about this hand. Size so just a call. Butcher the pronunciation on the names. <laughs> ben and Eric, other. I got these under control, okay? We're good. We're this good. one's mine. <laughs> 984 Rainbow, one heart for Ben, but tens are still good for Eric. Yeah, complete whiff hit for Heath. Big fan of the sizing as well from Eric here. The job done. Not the most talkative table. <laughs> Understandably so. Players just recognizing. Uh, hang on, guys. We're halfway through day five. Money jumps are getting steep. Want to keep as much energy in the tank as possible. Shout out to Rachel Kay in the background with the camera. She takes some beautiful photos. She and Haley Ocho, a couple other guys. Just seriously have been like elevating poker pictures. I don't know if you've realized yeah, it lately, yeah. but some, yeah, it's Haley's, amazing. Haley's goated. Yep. They just, they spend a lot of money on their stuff too. I had no idea the equipment was that much money. Just a new lens. They went the other day, Rachel, 2400 for that. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you get a winner's photo, tip your, tip your photographer. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I don't know from personal experience, but similarly to you, I know 
Philip's been looking at lenses that cost multiple thousands. Mm. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Probably just a rejam here for 15, although I would sure. love to 4. see 4. 4. 4. 4. a non-all in. Close to 4.4. I don't think we're getting close to a pay jump right now. We just hit one at 32. Yeah, a rough couple of orbits for our dip. A few raise folds. Pitch the king jack out. Yeah, no pay jump until 24, but what a pay jump it is. $34,000. Is that it? Yeah. $34K pay jump. Ben Heath still in pole position. 54 bigs, but quite a few short stacks at this table. Wouldn't surprise me if some of the eliminations the next couple of levels or so come from this feature. I mean, James Chen, Daniel Sepio, Mateus Carrion, all in that kind of re-jam territory uh, against the Ben Heath Open. They're going to take their spots as and when they're presented to them. Arvik Dashumi, sub-20 bigs now. Look at that, five different flags at this feature table. It really is the World Poker Tour. It really is. moment with the Union Jack. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's a fake Brit. He's still got the accent, but yeah, he lives here. He's faking it. Yeah. He's living here with his wife, Katie Lindsay, who's also an excellent poker player herself. I always forget to read the commentator thing. I'm Jamie Kersetter with Henry Kilbane. <laughs> <laughs> I forget until I look at chat. It's like, who's talking? <laughs> I mean, I would hope that people five days in just know by now. <laughs> The dulcet tones of the British guy. <laughs> you read chat? Every so often, yeah. They Sometimes just I just have really high confidence and I want to read chat to take me down a peg. Mm. It works. It's good. That's very true. Cut off been raised to Queen 10. There we go. This Very is small three bet. Yeah, this is the three bet I wanted with the ace king. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Right. He's got to have three bet folds off of 20 bigs. It's a thing. Four and a half bigs. It's a thing more in theory than in practice from what I've seen, though. I mean, it depends what fields you're playing in. Sure. Playing against elite players is definitely In the million dollar one drop, we're seeing a lot more of it. Yeah. That's for sure. I just haven't seen many of these be bluffs in my lifetime. That's true. That definitely feels like it's more so <laughs> weighted towards value. Oh, no. James, don't do I was it. just thinking about it. He's like, man, I have getting really good odds right now <laughs> to just peel. If it was suited, I think he just peels. Do you, he's not thinking of four betting, right? First one's never a bluff, James. They say in the golden rule book. <coughs> yeah, just gonna let it go. Was he considering a peel, you think? I think peel's the last option. I think this really? is also getting ridiculous. Like, James is a tough customer. Very tough customer. Doesn't like being pushed around. Maybe it's just him taking a bit of time making um, the test, kind of earn it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm saying that wasn't much. Almost got it in. Huh? Almost got it in. There you go. <laughs> J got James it in saying he almost Crazy. got it in. Got it in on our fold. No flatty? 
Five kings just being handed out for fun here. <laughs> no, no, we got here. <laughs> Six. No flooding range. <laughs> I have a flooding range. Huh? I have a flooding range, obviously. Yeah. That that was it. Maybe, maybe you can so simplify. 6.2. 6.5 trade back. Things have been going so well for him over the last couple of orbits. It's brutal. Under the gun, V plus one. Jacks against kings. They fold all the way around to the blinds. Good just gets out of there, as will Ardit. So what is this, a Daniel opening off of 22? Are we three bet folding jacks? That Feels pretty disgusting. I kind of would have preferred a flat for this reason, with like jacks or tens there, but I know that sounds really nitty. <coughs> Just facing under the gun, doesn't this feel gross right now? I, I think if you get four bet jammed on. Yeah, in theory, against a 22 big blind, we're meant to be doing a lot of flatting here yeah. with ICM. Let's get to that stage of the tournament now. Just the. Single big blind is three starting stacks, I mean. That's crazy. One. Yeah, the problem if you, yeah, I was gonna say if you three bet fold, then you're folding to a lot of ace kings, a lot of combos. But man, what a bad spot for Eric. Daniel Sepiel just five cards away from being up to 13.7 million. Has spades covered. <coughs> 1.37 million in live earnings. Still finds himself out in front on the 10 eight, four, the two diamonds <laughs> out the there. <laughs> It does feel a bit sweaty. The nine of them. Oh, nine. nine of them. Yeah, a lot of fun turn cards. Not that one. See Eric shaking the head. The lack of excitement on that turn. Jack and a jack only. Doesn't find it. Sepio up to 13.7. Perhaps a misstep from Eric there. It's 11 big blinds. Still some life, but... Obviously, really disappointing. Sepiel's biggest live, biggest live cash came earlier this summer. A 2700 deep stack event at the Seminole Hard Rock. Cash that for 204,000. Took it down actually. Looking the top is. Best live cash with a few more ladders here. Tess Ivinger has been eliminated, by the way, from the million dollar buy in in, a, in brutal fashion. Tell me more. Nut flush against second nut flush. Ugh. That's as grim as it gets. Back to back double ups for Rick Solomon. Unofficial final table. This is Ike Haxton chip leading. Jason <coughs> Kuhn was eliminated in 10th. There's Ace 10 coming up short against Nicky P's pocket sevens. Down to eight in that one. I believe the plan is to stop at six, come back tomorrow for the final table where we'll only four will make the money. So you got to sleep on your stack knowing that two are not going to make it. 
Yeah, it's pretty grim considering that the main cash is 1.2 million. Is it even possible to sleep? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Especially if you're one of the short stacks. Bad with the raise and take. Mm. Oh. I'll make them visible. So we wind down towards the end of this WPT festival. I have to ask you, Jamie. Hmm. Relieved? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though, that just like. Uh, the live stream cash games was it was stressful to put those together. Yeah. So when those were over, I was very happy. I'm like, I get to play the 10k now, and I get to kind of chill, and then I'm instantly sick. <laughs> Just the stress of stress and not sleeping very much. From stress for sure. Yeah, I have done it myself before. Where I love these five levels. You just prioritize yeah. work and five damn used to do like that too back in the day before. And everything else takes a back seat. Yeah. You know, hydration, <laughs> sleep, yeah. nutrition. It, it adds up. It takes its toll on the body for sure. Yeah. Just waking up like with like ah, I forgot to do something or like I need to message someone back like that was every day even when it was over I was waking up feeling like that and like it's okay yeah. it's done brain go to sleep but I mean so many people worked super hard on this event wind staff WPT staff um, it's incredible how much work it this takes to put together just so many people were super overworked and I hope they get to go home and have a good Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever that they're celebrating yeah, it takes a, a small army to pull off an event like this, that's for sure. Well, Eric, looking for redemption here. Finds himself in a really good spot with uh, only nine big blinds. Count, please. Just short of 10 counting his big blind. This is pretty close, I would think. Does represent almost half of Mateus's stack, though. I don't know if he wants to spin the wheel for so much. What is this? Slow jack open, big blind rejam. Yeah, it's close. I mean, I think for chips, it's probably a call. Cool. Uh, with ICM. And this is like stack preservation. I'll probably pitch. Yeah. Yeah, it's close. I think ace 10, like, we're in there, right? Mm -hmm. This really is cuspy. Oh. Yeah, he's made the Makes call. The call on Eric in a really good spot to get back in this thing. Thirty percent or so. As Jamie mentioned, Eric in great shape, looking to bounce back. Mm. Doesn't look too thrilled about it though. Always scared at this point in the tournament. Ten, eight, five. Two diamonds. Eric's got the ace of diamonds. Mateus, though, no, there's some sweaty turn cards with the nine in there. That's one of them. So queen of diamonds. Eric in really great shape now. Top pair, top kicker, and also the ace of diamonds. But Mateus can hit a jack. Safe river. Eric's going to get the double up. And now Mateus is pretty short. About 14 bigs. Yeah, there's a few of them at this table. I uh, was saying when, when the scoreboard came up, like, we're at that stage now mm -hmm. where these guys kind of have one option pre-flop, and that's, you know, take these rejam situations that and presented. Especially with, like, the layout of this table with so many elite players with big stacks, like, you're going to find a lot of good three-bet jam spots. For sure. Like, against Mormon, against Heath, against Chen. Like, I, I wouldn't mind three-bet jamming on those guys if you think that they're opening too wide. By the way, you guys got to see this. We should have a booth cam. Henry's doing a full skincare routine right now. Honestly, it's like, <laughs> it's horrible. I hate it when I come out here. It's super I, dry. I, I have like a bloody years. nose within Aww. 48 hours. Uh, My, yeah. 16. I'm just, it's just like falling off. 16 and a half. It's weird that you your skin gets used to it if you live here. Does it though? Yeah. Does it Because really? when I first moved out here, I was like, I can't, I can't live like this. You I'm do adapt. I feel like a lizard. <laughs> But I wanna Jesse's in here for eight hours, doesn't drink any water. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? You desert people. <laughs> also just being indoors. 
air conditioning. Yep. James raising up pocket jacks under the gun. It's your guy, your guy in the hijack with Queen Jack suited. <laughs> your guess. Thank you. Yeah, I like the flap. Me too. Does open wow. the door for a squeeze, but <laughs> Daniel's not squeezing. He's got the goods. Daniel's been in a couple good spots recently at this feature table. 2.1. It's just love and life. I mean, the kings against the jacks just a few hands ago. Now on the button as well. Looks really suspicious. Yeah, it just looks like such a good spot to squeeze. And you got pocket jacks under the gun. You weren't, you know, got 21 bigs to start this hand. Me neither. Find the fold. It's just out of this world. All in. Yeah, it seemed inevitable. And bad news for him. One of his jacks oh. is dead as well. Yeah, I felt like he had. Dama Malif, Roshi. Chen just kind of letting Sepio know that he kind of felt like he. He had it this time, wasn't up to no good, but <coughs> 20 big blinds and jacks, I mean, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah, this is one of those spots where I don't even consider it busting for the tournament. You got ejected from the tournament. Well, case jack needed, no running straight opportunities. Jack of hearts is dead as well, so it's just the jack of clubs is going to help James now. Drawing to one out once. I'm not a stand-up yeah, type The record-breaking <laughs> world championship. Uh, Where's Jay? Jay? Nice run for James Chan, who's going to exit in 30th place. Oh, that's rough. That one's going to sting for a while. I mean, all of these eliminations, final four tables, what could have been... Dealer of death, by the way, I mean. <laughs> jacks against aces, jacks against kings. That's why they sent her in. They're like, you wanted to get down to 18 by the end of the night? They send in the closer. <laughs> oh, is that is that the confirmed number, is it 18? I don't know. <laughs> I think we're just playing five levels tonight. There we go. Yeah. I think it's going to be around there, though. If I had a guess. I had like... Oh, it's fine, I can Bad orbit for Jax. I also can feel you baiting me into a bet, but all you've talked about since you've gotten here is all the prop bets I make in the booth, I always win. Yeah. So just That's step true. off, Henry. That's true. I'm only down to like oh, two people mm -hmm. lifetime. You both had a jack? Yeah, you're like, oh, how many are we going to no. finish with? Oh, really? Yeah. I could feel you like wanting it's a $20 really bet jacks. on this, but you're not getting it. Uh, I'm not gonna, gonna, oh. You're not going to know that you're getting, <laughs> you know. I'm not going to come uh, in that, that obviously. It's going to be like, I'm going to get you hyping something up. Yeah, and then you just go put money on it. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I got Tuckman real good once. We had a, a six-pack bet, and I lost it, but we didn't specify what, so I brought him wine coolers. <laughs> you had a six-pack bet? Yeah. Like, he Good was time. thinking beer, so I brought him wine coolers when I lost, and he said that I was a poor sport. But he drank them. <laughs> six. Ah, okay, right. I was thinking abs. No. Right. Nope, not me and Tuckman, no. So, you had <laughs> so the bet was we drinking bet, like, a six how pack. Many, how many players would be left or something like that, and we put a six pack on it. That was the prize. Okay. And he was gloating about it, so when I came into the booth the next time, I brought him a six pack of wine coolers. He was not very happy about it. I lawyered him, though. I was like, fine print, didn't say anything about mm, beer. I can see you lawyering. <laughs> That's for sure. Mateus, now at that stack depth. Right, he's gonna have to do a lot of defending. Yeah. Oh. He wants this is to one realize. Where you hit a pair, or you <laughs> give us a uh, couple of clubs on there, you're happy to go with it. Pocket Jacks, by the way, very quickly becoming the hand of death mm -hmm. in this tournament. He 
Brad Owen. Elimination hands. And Daniel, the beneficiary of kings against jacks and aces against jacks in less than two orbits. He's going to take this one down as well, unless Matthias decides on something crazy. Ace of Club's first card, by the way. I know, I thought something cheese. cool yeah, was going to happen. <laughs> Unbelievable. Kind of pulling away from the rest of the pack, by the way. Oh, yeah? That one drop chipping up nicely. He's created a bit of a buffer between himself and Ike Haxton, who finds himself in second. Hmm. Then raising the button with Queen 9 offsuit and Mateus in the small blind pocket deuces at just over 10 big blinds. Does decide this is good enough. Getting through Mormon. There's a green on me. There's a green on me. Then he's getting a count, but I'm assuming he's going to let this go. Yeah, Queen 9 0. I don't think he wants to go bounty hunting. Nice little pick up there, Mateus. Increasing his stack by almost 50%. Oh, million dollar bounty tournament. That's what I want to see. What mm. if they did a million dollar one drop with a 250k bounty on each player? That'd be pretty sick. Got what, 17 runners? Seventeen runners in the million dollar buy-in. <laughs> down to the final eight. The plan is to play down to six today and then Nick Shawman, Jamie Kirsten uh, will be in the booth for that one tomorrow. Twenty nine players remain. Less than 1% of the field in this $10,000 WPT World Championship. Mods are saying that it's hard being in several streams. Look, get me both streams up. I'll commentate on both. I can do it. Gotta guess that's defend and flops best on the King 6 4. Things just not been going well for Mateus. Did get the rejam through, but losing that ace 9 against ace queen. Now just playing a single raised pot with a C bet. He's going to find himself down to 10 bigs. People asking where Mustache Mark is. Don't worry, chat. He'll be back. He's currently chip leading. Can't have him at the table. Yeah, especially like since he's going to win. We'll see him at the final table. Oh, I'm so sorry. Spoilers. Spoilers. Bad hammer in the chat as Gilgis does check raise. <laughs> Teos down to 3.3 million now. Man from Greece. 
chipping up nicely here. The halfway point of day five. Small blind with queen nine offsuit. Going to limp. Thirteen big blinds. I think I'd probably just rip this. The first one's never a trap as well. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. He's gonna go for a smaller size than all in. Interesting. Or no. I thought he said 1.4. I thought he said 1.4 as well. Huh. Don't worry, you're, you're hearing some point. <laughs> yeah, first one's never a trap. I'm pretty confident in that. We can, we can keep an eye out on it. All right. And we kill being training site. One second, open. Ah, oh, it's not. <laughs> I don't, well, I'm, I'm gonna have to pay people to <laughs> to sign up. How not to play poker? You know what they say, Jamie? Those that can't teach and those that can't teach commentate. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Me too. Again, we're gonna see a walk. It's possible. We're not gonna see many of those this deep in the tournament. And the next pay jump in the chat. From one of our mods, Jam Blan saying at 24 we go down to. Oh, so we jump up rather to one hundred and ninety three thousand one hundred dollars, which is a thirty four thousand dollar pay jump. Equity management saying change the structure. Pace of play is too slow. Oh, I think it's been all right. Thank you for your feedback, but showers. Take a day off, mate. It's a seven day tournament. It's a slow burn. Building up storylines, you know, Mustache Mark, Ren Lin, Chris Mormon, coming out of retirement. Is Don't he know. really ever retired? No, you know what I mean. <laughs> he'll like disappear for a year and then yeah. he'll show up and win a world championship. <coughs> Wait, balls, you fire. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. One. I think First under the gun one, we just have to let these sevens go. Eight. Or you're first. You're first. Oh, he's not in the mood for folding, no Jamie. Thanks. He's going to be flipping for his tournament life. All of the aces and kings are still alive, by the way. Just as I say that, Harry <laughs> finds one out of the big. All in. All in. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Yeah, we're not going to be waiting for a pay jump here. Oh. Mateus finds himself in decent shape, flipping against Ace King. Good luck calculating 
explain how much this is worth in <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars of EV. Sevens against Ace King, a fair fight. Oh, Ace right on the flop. And backdoor straight outs, two sevens. Seven and a seven only. Mateus to stay alive. Be down to 27 players. Doesn't find it, Jamie. Good game. You got to win flips to win tournaments. Mateus opting to run it for 11 bigs. Again, Spens under the gun open. Couldn't hold with the sevens. And Ben Heath on the climb. Closing in on the 20 million chip mark. Probably a flip today. He's so mild mannered that you just don't know what a killer he really is. Oh, he's so nice. The results like, are so sick. Honestly, <coughs> like one of the nicest guys. How bad? That guy went pretty bad. His entire circle. Orpin, like Timothy Adams, people. Daniel Torres, like all of those fine. guys yep. are really nice 4, guys. Person tournament are probably not losing too many flips. It's funny you mentioned Devoris's Instagram is him just in the wilderness surviving yeah. and like, get, yeah. like catching <laughs> animals with his Literally. bare hands. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. He does these like tutorial videos of yeah. some of the <laughs> yeah. like Game survival training yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty killer. interesting. Just casually see like. Tim Adams on a beach and Voris is just like strolling out <laughs> from the ocean. I caught with, a shark. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> <laughs> he's training, you know, he's, he's <laughs> out there and training. Look, when AI like tries to kill us all and we have to go live in a forest, like I hope that he will help us, you know? I'm drawing dead. Uh, <laughs> I've already decided, like I was, th it's so funny that you say that. I was thinking about this today at the gym, like there was an apocalypse. Roman, uh, How drawing I'm not drafting you. Yeah, you're I, not on my team. I'm I sorry. I'm dead. Like, okay, I'm very good at long distance running. Like, mm -hmm. if you need me to run 25k. Yeah, but that's just the thing. Like, I mean, when something's trying to kill you, they're not like, let's run for 20 miles. Right. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I might draft you just because I need a meat shield. There we go. That was, that was the best. I'm a bit skinny, though, you know. Well, don't forget, like three, three <laughs> yeah, years ago, yeah, after COVID. They only had one day one, remember that? Okay. They never ran multiple day ones. So literally the line was like out the door just to register. It was, it was brutal. And they moved it here last year, but they still held it uh, in October. I don't know why they didn't hold it this year. Yeah. Well, GG's in the chat. Support from the viewers around the world for all of these players, knowing just how painful it is to come up short. This deep into a tournament. We're just 1,000 subscribers away from crossing the 600,000 sub mark, by the way, over on the World That's Poker awesome. Tour territory. Territory? Sure. Channel, rather. Yeah, give us a sub, guys. We have a lot of good content we put out all year, so if you want notifications, turn those on as well. Big cash games, big tournaments. I think it's the way to break the check it. I have no idea. I think you can. Like, uh, so yeah. so I mean, we should double check. I'm yeah, not breaking the rule, but yeah, yeah. So it kind of makes no sense for them to lock your phone up. Yeah, I think it's for like RFID safety purposes. Probably just so they know where it is. So and I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who would Aww, be chat, your chat go sticking go up for you, by the way? No, baby, 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 why are you so mean? <laughs> 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 that's great. I read it in that tone. I think oh, that's, that's probably that's the tone. Good. What were you asking? Sorry. I was gonna say uh, so your top three. Oh. Zombie apocalypse poker players. Who okay. who who would you draft? Divoris, Liv Bore, yes. Jason Kuhn. I I okay, like that, that's, that's strong. <laughs> that is very strong. Yeah. Like Liv's gonna be the person that just knows random. She's gonna know random things to help us. Exactly. Like, oh, we'll guide, go by the North Star. Guide us this way. Like yeah, uh, yeah. She knows a lot of random things. You get um, like a cut and it gets infected and yeah. she's like, okay, boom, this is what we got to do. You she's know? also so pretty. She could probably help us like have alliances with other teams and stuff. Okay. Like send her in there yeah. like, hey, can we have, you know, share your shelter? She's dangerous. <laughs> she's very dangerous. Why do I have them like snap ready? <laughs> I think a lot about the apocalypse. And Jason Coon's just your guy. Yeah. Just, like, He's going to be able to like catch a gazelle. I was more so thinking if you run into like rival teams that oh, like yeah, he's yeah. the guy you sent to the front line and 
nobody else comes back bar him. <laughs> Ryan the Paulo in the chat saying 27 left. It's my favorite stage as a viewer. So tense and so close. It really is. Yep. I mean, there's going to be some hearts broken today. That's for sure. Looking out into the field and seeing how small it's gotten from like that huge ballroom, because we're still in the same area as yeah. when it was, <laughs> you know, the first flights. Just it's a ghost town in there. We have a it few is. tables, a couple tables of one drop, a couple tables of a side event. And then you look and there's only like two or three tables of this event. Yeah, from 3,835 runners down to 27. 1.95. Ben Heath. Shifting up into sixth gear. Ill-timed aggression. He has run into the ace queen of Seppio, who's been on quite the spin. Is this the spot you expect Seppio to just flat? Or is this an auto four bet? It's not the worst hand to four bet fold. Yeah. Especially if you've been anticipating the Ben Heath three bet in position. So getting the four bet through really creates a gap between you and Ben. Sure. A nice little four eight million. Five. Nice. And you just don't have to go that large. Four bet sizing. Four point five should get it done. Not really much Ben can do, right? Yeah, you can just be sad that he doesn't have it. This is the little like funeral part, you know, when you're just like, oh, I have a suited ace, why can't it just be ace king suited? But it's only a flesh wound for Ben. Sepio, one of the tournament chip leaders now after being in the danger zone for a decent part of the day. Three or four orbits. Kings against jacks, aces against jacks. Gets the four bet through now. Up to 24 million. I have any significant hands anyways, it's really not a thing, but. Definitely good to clarify. Petition to get heart rate monitors. I would love that. The final four tables next year. Especially with that giant LED screen behind it, the person that the action is on, it's just giant up there. Nah. It'll be like 142. Come thump, on. Thump, 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 yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> we, do, we need to come up, you know, more game show styled. Yeah. We've actually talked about it with WT Global that we wanted to do some kind of game show with that heart okay. rate monitor. Oh, with the heart rate. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so we I can't claim royalties ideas. on that, right? No, sorry. I posted a an Instagram two. story. I was all in four level two seven. semi bluffing right, on the you. turn in this tournament, and my heart rate got to 150. So, like, if that guy just looked at me, I was toast, <laughs> basically. Wow. That's really high. Level two of day one. Yeah. What is wrong with you? I turn the perfect turn card <laughs> to you blast off. Wow. And so I blast it off. You're just like, okay, so yeah, this not is here for I a long time, here for a good time, exactly. let's go. Exactly. Chris going to continue. Now on the 7-6-5. Just a beautiful flop for our hit. Doesn't even need to go that big, just leveraging our short stack. Just trying to fold out like, you know, six outs. Sure. With the ace high. Overcard. Mug end of the straight draw. of just flatting or check raising the hand like this. Your hand's pretty good, top pair, open ender, 
Once but you also want to deny some equity to some overcards. Yeah. Save yourself playing a guessing game. Yeah, on like, like Jack, a Queen, King, Ace, right. all of them, you feel kind of icky. 100%. Especially at this stage of the tournament with ICM, I think. Yeah. Check raise is definitely the play. Well played, Ardit. Nice little pick up there. A crucial one at that. Back up towards around 20 bigs. Big pot. I mean, every pot is big, but it's a very significant pot. Significant, yeah. <laughs> Are acknowledging how much he knew that pot? Sorry, guys. Jamie's quietly dying once again. <laughs> just quietly dying, though. But then you sentences. point it out every time I'm quietly dying. You know? Yeah. I'm just going to start not using the cough button. <laughs> just start doing it <laughs> yeah. through the... Yeah, everyone wants People to hear People will be it. like, my ears. asking about the chip counts of all the 27. Um, if you guys want to see, it's on WPT.com. We'll have all the chip counts and live updates, etc. Yeah, <laughs> I, I highly recommend checking it out. The World Poker Tour blog team really doing a fantastic job over there. Go on, do tell. I have to read this. Go Anders ahead. Totten says, we're all quietly dying. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so emo. <laughs> so true. I mean, wait, all 15,000 of us are sat here. Now we got As something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Sigh. Slow burn. Jack of spades. Wow. How about what that? What a board. Insane. Dalen defended the big blind. Five deuce suited. He ends up flopping spade draw and an open ender up against Chris Mormon's top set of jacks. How is the dealer just... Right? I told you. She's the closer. Fanned this one off. Open ender and a flush draw for Sepiel. It's really hard to make these two hands connect. That's about it. Against Chris. Wouldn't fault him for fast playing this one. Sure. Taking it upstairs. Just has so much equity. Especially out of position. You're happy to get it in right now and kind of spin the wheel. Although they are somewhat deep. Yeah, heading towards the end of this level. Currently 33 bigs effective against Mormon, who is secretly, can't say it on his face, but secretly <laughs> doing backflips. In his mind, with the flop top set as the ace of diamonds. Wow, that is sickening. Finds his way to the turn, and now Mormon finds himself drawing to 10 outs once. And how often is Daniel going to have five deuce in his hand? And only the five deuce of spades is going to check raise on this oh, board. This is so sick. As well. It's so sick. Checks it over to Chris. Just great awareness from Sepiel, recognizing that the ace on the turn is meant to be a bad turn card for him, in theory. <coughs> One that should certainly favor the open from the cutoff. My word. Is this how you defeat Chris Mormon? Just the ultimate setup. For raising chips there. Wow. Absolutely sickening. And now Mormon with 100%. Jack's full of threes. 75% pot in his stack right now. Chris Mormon, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most decorated online players. The history of the game, WPT champion. Likely going to be playing more than 20 million in his stack. 
the conclusion of this hand. Five point three gets snapped called. And Sepiel gets shown the full house. Jamie, wow. I think that is one of the sickest hands <laughs> we've seen so far today. Right. That feels like quite the understatement. That's crazy. Just the that run out is absolutely unfair. <laughs> if you're Sepiel, are you feeling like you 5. saved 5. one point three there though? This this could have gotten in in every street. Yeah, I guess. Silver linings and all. Chris Mormon up in the 20 million chip club. You see his hand? What was it? Three. Yeah, Will. Will. And Will. Mormon just silently collecting the chips. I don't care what he has. <laughs> Couldn't be a full house, could he? <laughs> well, well, well. Heading into the final hand of this level. Chris Mormon crossing the 20 million chip mark. Once but again, there's just certain runouts where you just have to lose a bunch of chips. It's like, you know, remember when you first started playing, you'd think if you lost that you must have done something wrong. Yeah. And you want to, like, figure it out. Oh, man, like... You want control, but there's ones where it's just, you know, you're just, you're destined to lose a whole bunch of your stack there. Yeah, I like saying that sometimes you're just dealt out of the tournament. <laughs> That's unavoidable. So they are going to be going on a 15 minute break. Good timing for Sepiel. You know, on the back end of losing yeah. a big pot, it's always yeah, nice to be able walk. to get away for 10, 15 minutes, maybe. But you might get a little uh, last hand pick up here depending on what Eric Blair wakes up with. One million. Yeah, it just goes for the one million straight out of the small. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 27 left in day five of the WPT World Championship. Jamie and I are gonna step away for 15 minutes along with these players. We'll be keeping this table, I believe, until we work our way down to the final three tables. So when we return, Chris Mormon in pole position with 50 bigs. Don't go too far. See you very shortly. Good fold. That's one on it. Thank you. Ah, so brutal. It's not <laughs> yeah. Just blockers aren't real, huh? Hmm. You know, most of the time blockers aren't real. Should have used all of them. Eighty percent of the time it works none of the time. <laughs> you do see we lost a player while he's in the tank, but tall order to try to lose two more. 10, 6, deuce, all hearts, uh, all but closing the door on Ankit. 1% is his name. Blackjack. Talk about it. Having it's a small hearts. flop. Yeah. Ooh, okay. some life. Ooh. Now we got we're blackjack. three jacks now that could hit. <laughs> blackjack has been called. Ooh. Oh. King of hearts. And that's going to be it for Ankit. Fan favorite. Going out in 34th place for about $130,000. He has me covered, right? You want to make, yeah. make sure? Yeah, you can double check. But if you said 6.3, oh, then yeah. Where's the 6? No, I'm actually shit. I have
Markman raising Jack-10 offsuit from the hijack. Jason in the small blind wakes up finally with a hand he can jam. A little over eight big blinds that the king-queen suited. Especially facing um, Mark's raise, because Mark, you know, is on the looser side compared to the rest of the table. Mm -hmm. However, we're on the direct bubble for $27,000. 32 people will make that, and... <laughs> Jason is counting out. Oh my, oh my gosh, God. that's a lot of time chips. I hope you got jokes, Kerstetter, because this I might be I don't know, it. man. I don't know if the chat even liked my other jokes. Um, One thing I think Jason wants to do is, even if he's planning to use a lot of those time banks, mm -hmm. you want to put in like 90% of your stack, because there's a chance your opponent just, just folds. folds. Yeah, and you yeah this is very weird to use them before... I think he expects to have very little fold equity because he's sitting on, what, nine, yeah. less than nine big blinds. But there are folds. Mark could just be opening, like, jack seven suited and not want to put 100%. in the money. 100%. Yeah, this is definitely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using these before, you know, putting in 95% of your stack. In fact, I wonder if, I mean, he may flick it in, but this hand might go in the muck. If I'm you Mark. You think so? I don't know. We'll see. He's He's cruising along. It's not a particularly good price. He's dominated by oh, a, a oh, bunch of Oh, 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 so sorry. I thought you were saying Jason's oh, no, going no, no, luck, yeah, and I was marks. like, in what world? Okay. Yeah, yeah. If he's tanking like this, he's putting it in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, put in most of the chips and then do the tanking for sure, because you don't want to... Yeah. You don't want to waste those. You may need them later. I mean, he'll figure it out. If he does take 19 time banks, <laughs> shoves, and gets it through. He learned his lesson for the next yeah. time. Yeah, like, oh, man. You know? Yeah. Could have used those for more, you know, more pay jumps. Yep. Jack-10 offsuit, though, that's, like, right on the cusp, right? Because Jason's not going to be that light, but obviously he can have, like, eights or nines, and I guess you're getting a decent price. Yeah, I'll have some ace x suited that you're pretty close Doing to flipping okay against. against. Yeah. Um, but you are dominated by some of his shoves. Sure. And I don't know, it's 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 a good price, but it's not it's not that good of a price. Uh, you have I mean, obviously you're not at risk or anywhere near at risk, but you do have a little bit of kind of ICM consideration starting to happen. The, the chips that you lose are worth uh, more than the chips you would gain. And there's something to be said for, I mean, n not that Jack-10 can't raise the hijack. It's a perfectly acceptable raise in the hijack. In fact, it's very much uh, game theory optimal. But there's something to be said for not turning over these sorts of hands. <laughs> Keeping your opponents guessing. Because you never know when there's a player at the table who thinks that you're not opening Jack. 10 offsuit from the yeah. hijack, you know? Those things matter a little bit. <laughs> Shout out Thesaurus. Who uh, threw us the Mario It's a Me gif. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do people really not, not know that joke? I feel like I have told everyone that I know that joke. I love it. It's a great joke. <laughs> Have you heard the one about the skunk and the jump rope? No. It stinks. Let's skip it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm thankful for these time chips, though, because there was one time where I actually had to fill 17 minutes of time. <laughs> where we know that can't happen here. Like, it'll be, like, six or seven minutes at the most. Yeah. But 17 minutes was, like, it felt like an eternity. We've said everything we needed to say about the poker hand, and then it was just, like, <laughs> so. Uh, like, so what have you been up to? Yeah. How's life? Start asking chat, like, what'd you guys eat for lunch? Yeah. That's what we want to know, chat, while he uses his time banks. What did you guys eat for lunch today? I've recently started going back to Gambler anom Anonymous meetings. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'd like to talk about that a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm no quitter. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> 
I'm going to win eventually, Jamie. Uh, by the way, when Jason just rolled out that massive stack of time chips, <laughs> what was that? Like... How did he? How did he manage to get forty six time chips? I don't. He's just never used time this whole entire tournament. He's just been bagging time chips. And they just keep giving him. They're like, you, you've done such a good job with the time chips. Just take a couple extra. We know you won't use them. Chats, let me know what they ate for lunch. Thanks, guys. I'm actually really hungry. Throw me, me some. Too. Throw me some lunch ideas, chat. Homemade chicken soup. That sounds good. I've been sick the last two days. Sorry that my voice sounds like this, but doing my best. Yeah, and I'm sorry that my face looks like this. Finally, you apologize. <laughs> while we're while we're uh, throwing apologies out there. <laughs> it is going to be funny when he uses every single time bank chip and then puts in 95% of his stack and gets a fold. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> it's unlikely to happen versus Jack-10, but it would be really funny. That's got to be one of those classic oops moments. Yeah, you're like, you're like, oh, man, oh. I didn't think this one through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot that was a possibility. <laughs> this guy's just sitting there with, like, seven, six or something. <laughs> like, like, if Mark's folding, by the way, he's just watched him burn all these time banks. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> my hand's <laughs> in the muck already. The funny thing is, is this is pretty close so after all of this then mark gets a count so <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. like 19 <laughs> minutes and then can i get a count i'd imagine at this point though mark has counted every one of his chips seven times and has figured out what he's doing yeah and Ade is just sitting there with aces <laughs> oh yeah, he he's has, still in there. He has a Who hand. knows what he has? Oh my god! I wonder if he looked yet. So while we're waiting for a few more minutes to be burned, um, I was with your lovely counterpart uh, commentating for Run It Up back in the day, and they had an, a Wi-Fi issue from wherever they were remotely broadcasting from. I think it was Australia, and we had to kill forty minutes. Um, and oh, they were trying to get us, yeah, yeah, they're like, uh, you guys have 40 minutes. So like we can shut the stream down and then restart it. But then I was like, you lose all your viewership. So we're like, well, we'll just try to like hang out with chat the whole time. So we started doing relationship advice. Cause it's like, we, when do you have two women in the booth? Oh, ever? that's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. And chat was like telling us all their stories and we were trying to give them advice. And like, we didn't really lose any viewership, which is ridiculous. That became sick. like I love, love lines. At yeah. Night. There's like a whole, um, Twitch subsect or whatever you call it, section of Twitch that's dedicated <laughs> to that just just chatting. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen that. This was like just chatting <laughs> with a purpose. <laughs> it was fun. So you taught chat how to pick up on women or what? <laughs> yeah, probably. I know a lot about that. So when a guy when a guy rolls up to me and just starts telling terrible jokes, <laughs> that really does it. This poor dealer has to pay attention the whole time, too. <laughs> Look at all those time shifts. <laughs> He's like a dragon. He's just been sitting on all this gold for so long. Somehow um, we've gone from 18K to 19K viewers during this time time extension fest. They love it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys, we're hitting 20,000. By the way, I haven't said this today, but but I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't hit the like button, what are we doing here? <laughs> Smash that like button. We, we ask for the, the smashing of the like button during the most boring part of our coverage. Yeah. If you like this tank, please. Yeah. Move your cursor over. <laughs> Click on that like button. Yeah, Let us know. Anybody who's just joining, the reason this tanking's going on is there's a $27,000 pay jump that Jason would very much like to make oh, he's down to before he jams. What if he forgets that he's out of time chips and <laughs> just runs out of time? <laughs> That's something I would do. That's something I would totally do, too. <laughs> Oh. 
we can get one. 20 pine bucks? What? And he doesn't save the one chip back to stall again? What Come are you on, doing, man? man? <laughs> Jason. That's crazy. I'm so confused. I'm rooting for you, Jason, but you're, you know. You could have waited another 30 seconds, though, bro. Just put out 2.2 .2 million. Adi's like, I'll help you out, homie. Oh, this is actually really nice. It is really nice. Yeah. Give you a few extra seconds. Oh Mark my just god! <laughs> 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 no way! <laughs> <laughs> oh hilarious. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Stream's almost <laughs> caught up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. No I'm way! Um, <laughs> ten minutes by just telling him. <laughs> he could have just. Oh just god! god. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah, I know. I mean. This has become one of my favorite hands ever. Yeah, that was something special. So good for you. Actually. You just something know in 45 minutes, yeah. Jason's going to get put in a really tough spot. And have no time. No yeah. flatty. King's just being handed out for fun here. <laughs> no, no, we got here. No flatty range? <laughs> I have a flatting range. Huh? I have a flatting range, obviously. Yeah. We're back from the Wynn Resort in Las Vegas for the World Championship WPT Day 5. We're really getting down to it also, playing down to a, uh, for a $5 million prize. I'm Jamie Kerstetter, Henry Cobain will be back in just a little bit, giving them a little break. We have a stacked feature table, including Ben Heath, Chris Mormon, Daniel Sepiel, Georgios, I can't say the last name, Sadaropoulos, uh, Eric Blair, and Ardit Koshimi. 200, 400, 400K are the blinds now. Eric and Ardit getting pretty short. Just 27 remain from the start of 3,835 players just five days ago. Daniel Min raising Jack Nine offsuit. Start with fifteen. Yeah, okay. I'm covered, right? In the big blind, uh, early. defending Queen Eight suited. Okay. okay. I have fifteen here actually, so. Queen five four two hearts. Ben out flopping. Daniel Jack Nine. Being less than 1.1 since when? Uh, 20, 22 years? Daniel goes 1.1 million. That was 18, 19. Ben's not going anywhere. I don't play, I don't play as much now. I bought some of my rental property in real estate. I play a lot of golf, so. Yeah. Yeah. One hour north. Yeah, right. Called Del Delray Beach. It's beautiful, very, very pretty. Yeah, from Mr. Stolen Beach. Lives close by. He used to live close. What's the name of the city? He lives up at Tom, and we talked about it earlier. He lives oh. Delaware. He makes the call. He lives maybe three minutes from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom, Tom knows him. Good yeah. kid. Very good kid. I used to play, I used to play with Tom. Three of clubs on the turn. Proving Ben play to play a flush man. draw to go along with his top pair. Yeah. He went back to about $1,500. Yeah. Before that, he used to play cash at the win. And then he started playing tournaments. 
He lives three minutes my house. He still lives there. He lives there, yeah. Checks it over to Daniel, who just doesn't have anything on this board. <coughs> Sammy's so just going to wave the white flag. Does check back. That repairs the board at the five, completing Ben's flush. Four, five. Checking back this turn, yeah, it's time to start betting your own hand. We see that it, no more money is being put in this pot. Ben's going to take it down. All remaining players, all 27 of them, are in the money for $159,000. Next pay jump at 24 players, 193,000. So with 34 mm. grand, if they can just survive a couple Three. more players. But uh, that's not the... Uh, Which event? Which uh, event? Nine is one, uh, one mini, mini. Oh. Okay. And one is online in Europe. Those are not really blessed. Oh, that's in Europe? Uh, in Europe, yeah, back in 2015, Berlin. In Berlin? I got 13th in that event. Yes. That's the one that Kevin, Kevin won. The main event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I have family in, uh, in Berlin, Berlin and Heidelberg. Yeah. yeah. Mine I was, was in a 1K event or two. Yeah. Yeah, it was 2015. Nice. Joe, you're just a little loose under the gun racing the Ace 8 offsuit. Ace two soft suit on the button. I imagine it's gonna get mucked. Chris Mormon in the big blind with King Ten would probably like Much to blind? defend. Twelve. Okay. Uh, Eleven point six. Welcome back to the booth, Henry Kilbane, who brought in a pallet of water over his <laughs> shoulder, like a manly man provider. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I need to grab some, stay hydrated and all, given the conversation we were having just before <laughs> break. This Mormon just oh, wow. doesn't slow down, does he? He really doesn't. King Is there ten. like a live tells thing going on here? Because this seems really aggressive, facing an under the gun open. What are we five handed at this table? Six. Are we? Six, I think, yeah. Six hand, sorry, would make more sense. Yeah, I mean, just nice hand to do it with King 10 blocking top of range, obviously. Unblocking some raised folds. Nice little pick up there yeah. from Chris. Think backpack, I think. People yeah, with more experience. There aren't many at this stage of tournaments. I was looking at his Hendon mob earlier on. And most people use Hendon mob to view people's live results. They mm -hmm. actually have this online tab as well. And he has over 8,000 <laughs> online results on his Hendon mob. Seems like a lot. I don't even know if I've played 8,000 <laughs> tournaments. In fact, no, I'm I, I'm probably a strong favorite for under. You're more of a PLO cash guy, though, right? I mean, I have been for the last few years, like the last five years or so, I'd say. 800? Um, definitely <coughs> played a lot of tournaments unsuccessfully in the earlier parts of my career. But still, I mean, 8,000 results in tournaments alone, I don't know. Ben as well. I mean, Ben Heath plays a ton of like 200 zoom and 500 zoom to just get reps in. So we're talking about guys that have played millions of hands lifetime. That's Deep interesting in though, the zoom players. It's like they're going to see a lot of the um, button versus blind spots. and. Oh, yeah. 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 
That's a great point. Uh, I was eavesdropping on a conversation on a stream that Ben was on with the likes of Dvoris and, and Tim Adams, and they were saying how when they're not at these kind of festivals, that's how they're getting reps in. It's mm -hmm. just playing, you know, 100 big blinds, 6 max, battling, just sharpening their tools. Complete width for both, no club or spade in sight. It must be a lot easier to just stay calm than in these spots when you're just so practiced. It's like you're just going to make the right decision, so what's there to be nervous about? Yeah. You could hope to be lucky, but like that's about it. Yeah, Heath did this one interview about how much work he's put into letting go of the outcomes, mm -hmm. especially at the higher stakes, and it allows him to perform at such a high level once he's made his move, you know, whether it's all in pre or he's decided to make a hero call or his opponent has correctly called him off in a bluff, whatever it is, like, that's out of his control. The variance is out of his control. So as long as he can execute the things that are in his control to the best of his capabilities, he sleeps a lot better at night knowing that the rest of it, you know, the variance plays a massive mm -hmm. part. And we heard them talking about how important how how important it is to win flips even as a joke you know yeah. you've got to get to this stage of the tournament you've had to get lucky on a few occasions as ben <laughs> gets lucky on the right river. on time you plan that i did true professional come on daniel has one of those that just wants to get the showdown has showdown let's see what ben comes with it yeah i was gonna say this is one where you Check back, or is this one you try to get some small value out of? I'm trying to think of sizing. He just no. checks. Okay. Twenty six now. Just saw the number drop down. Two away from that final three table redraw. Most recent update from the million dollar WPT big one for one drop is Santosh Savannah bounces back, back oh, up to 70 go. bigs. I want to commentate on him again. I mean, he had a really rough time in that oh, um, the high stakes that, cash game. He like didn't rough. win a hand the whole entire time, lost 700k. Yeah. But he's such like a pleasant person. I mean, I think he might just have infinite money, which helps people remain pleasant in, in spots that might be annoying. But still, like. I've seen a lot of rich guys get tilted and get mean and get like frustrated and he doesn't show that at all. Like he just seems to be a really good natured person. That's very true. I wanna give the fans an update. The twenty seventh place elimination was Neil Murphy at the hands of Mustache Mark. Wow. Ace King against Queens, Ace High Board. Mustache Mark up to thirty one point seven million now. Dang. Tournament chip leader with 26 left. What do we know about Mustache Mark besides the stuff we've invented? We don't know much. Has 30,000 in live earnings on his hand and mob. The interview that we did with him, I believe it was yesterday, after kind of became famous overnight, you know, the WPT vlog, Poker Org picking up on it. Given the fact that the YouTube chat was full of, they love know, him. Yeah, so I, a massive shout out to the social team for picking up on that and, and grabbing an interview of him. He said he's incredibly comfortable playing this tournament this deep in. He's played tens of thousands of tournaments online. His words, uh, okay. not mine. Um, so is a professional, online professional from Canada, and yeah, I must say, he just seems so comfortable out there. Currently chip leading. Oh, with 26 no, I left. Know, like super easy. Well, that's go. funny because it doesn't matter. Like if you have tens of thousands you of reps online, you're a very good player. <laughs> it's still is weird to play live. I Handling agree. your chips one, yeah. and like having boring. people look at you <laughs> really long. Like there's a bunch of stuff that still could rattle people, but he doesn't seem like and he's rattled at all. Uh -huh. Yeah, I Whatever. agree. Been here a thousand times. So it's mustache mark. <laughs> what can I tell you? I remember right after Black Friday when um, we couldn't play in the U.S. anymore online, 
all the online guys started to play live poker and they looked weird. Like you just look at the guy and be like, you haven't left your basement in years. And now you're playing live at the Borgata and like shaking and dropping their chips and stuff. But yeah, not stash mark. And there's Totten in the chat saying, fun fact, mustache Mark shaved all of his face besides just above his lips. How much you start with? Can confirm. <laughs> About 12. Ah, Chris just slowly but surely working his way down through this field. One hand at a time. That pocket jack's hand. How disgusting was that? That was crazy. I thought we were losing Mormon in that hand, to be honest. That turn card was dirty. Well, Seppi will think you're not very... Okay, right, he's folding. These guys, they love keeping me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Nothing's guaranteed in the booth. You know, there are so many spots. I'm sure you can can back me up on this where you think something's just so obvious. Okay, this hand's over and done with, and then someone hits you with the check raise. <laughs> it's you why just you just, like, stop predicting. Yeah. You go, you know, this is the normal thing that a person would do with this hand, and then there's mustache mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely even caught. Caught out on numerous occasions. Yeah. You know, to assume is to make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> my grandfather used to tell me. It's if you always knew what everyone was going to be doing, though, you'd do really well in live tournaments, you know? Some, like, playing live, you just sometimes run into that, too. Why, <laughs> why do you think I haven't started playing tournaments yet? <laughs> I don't know. I figure you're just sort of like a normal person with a normal brain who enjoys his life. Yeah. That's maybe maybe that. Hit with one of those awkward spots. We've had another elimination, by the way. 25 left now. Wow. Four point six. Right, it's going to run it. It was Tan Tepper eliminated in 26th place by John Richards. So we're on the final three table bubble as well as a pay jump. A jump between 25th yeah. and 24th. Excuse me. Jamie, any guesses as to no, how pay much pay money oh, it's really yeah. the ladder is worth? Or do you just know the answer? Um, I think I checked already. Oh, it was okay. like 43k or something. It is, yeah. yeah really <laughs> getting towards that stage of the tournament now. $43,900 ladder. Next bus has a page. What did you say? No, it's the next, next bus that's a page. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Redraw as well. Redraw as well. Yeah. Well. yeah. Okay. For people who don't like the table, it's like, redraw as well. Oh, thank God. Well, <laughs> kind of sounded like Jordi just had that time. tone. There it is yeah, a, a, a pretty rough like table right now. Saying, yeah. it's, not, it's not a fun table, that's but for sure. Although I doubt there no, is a fun table left with this few players. Average is 40 big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Mormon oh, would be Can like start getting six handed tables. Four thousandth or so on the list of people that if I had to cherry pick players <laughs> to play with. Maybe as a one off just for the experience, but Stalling portion. 
or we're just one away from a big pay jump. I know chat hates it, but it's part of the game. All in. <laughs> ben, he's a bit frustrated. How much? 15.5 big blinds. That's oh kind of close. My, this really is. I think it's six plus the two. I guess that's what the hand gesture was kind of yeah. for because it's so it's grim. like exactly the bottom you'd probably call with, I think. You do have to factor in that we're on the cusp of a pay jump, though. And crazily enough, Eric didn't save back one chip. He didn't use any time banks. That's a great point. That's happened on a few occasions so far today. So do people just hate money? I think it might just be a pressure situation. He saw a hand, forget. he knows he has to shove yeah. and just forgot, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Ben really thinking this one through. Not often you see someone as good as Heath pained. I think decision. it is just this is exactly the hand that I probably would fold. King 10 suited, you wouldn't. Yeah. A nice pick up for Eric. Eric might think he actually got away with one there. Like a strong race to fold. Like an A6, a You'd be A7. dreaming, I think. Maybe A6 at the most, maybe, but I think a little bit of a crazy fold. You got the shuffle in. The rip in. You got me a half second to score. Redraw? Oh, okay. Redraw? We got one more hand. I started with it. But it's put the 20 So one more hand because there has been an elimination. From the outer tables as well, meaning we are down to 24 players. Final three <laughs> tables, everyone's made that pay jump. So, with that, everyone guaranteed 193,100. <laughs> I'm curious if maybe Eric heard the bust out before he jammed that because that would make a lot more sense than forgetting on such an important spot. That would make sense, yeah. Although me personally in that spot, I wouldn't want to leave anything I to chance. I would leave the 25k just in case yeah. you misheard. Ben with pocket jacks. Oh, who said first one's never a trap, eh? That certainly wasn't me. I think, uh, let's, let's review the footage. Winter. I feel like it was Henry Clubbane. Gonna make an Instagram <laughs> post about it, that picture with your quote, Henry Kilbane. First one's never a trap, eh? Deadliest hand of the tournament so far, pocket jacks. 50 big blinds deep, quite deep. God, why do I feel like we're about to witness like a 40 million chip pot? <laughs> it's gonna take a very specific flop. Yeah, eight. we might not even get to a flop. A good sizing to to get Chris's hand to fold out thing. Yeah, I was about to say maybe if it's suited. Yeah, and maybe if Ben sized down a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty nice hand to fall back with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Mormon. You'll never see those chips back. Dars just let it go. These guys, Jamie, such a dogfight. Every hand is just a battle. Final three tables. We're down to 24, and we're heading to a very short eight-minute break to get some new players over to this feature table. Jamie and I will be stepping away. Don't go too far, ladies and gentlemen. Edge of your seats kind of poker being played here with Chris Mormon. Closing out this table in pole position. We'll see you very shortly. Jacks, that feels pretty disgusting. I kind of would have preferred a flat for this reason. 
with like jacks or tens there, but I know that sounds really nitty. <coughs> Just facing under the gun, doesn't this feel gross right now? I, I think If you get four bet jammed on. Yeah, in theory, against a 22 big blind, we're meant to be doing a lot of flatting here yeah. with ICM. Let's get to that stage of the tournament now. Just the single big blind is three starting stacks, I mean. That's crazy. One. Yeah, the problem if you, yeah, I was gonna say if you three bet fold, then you're folding to a lot of ace kings, a lot of combos. But man, what a bad spot for Eric. Daniel Sepiel, just five cards away from being up to thirteen point seven million. Has spades covered. Earnings. Still finds himself out in front on the 10 8 4 with two diamonds <laughs> out <the> there. <laughs> it does feel a bit sweaty. sweaty. The nine of them. Nine of them. Yeah, a lot of fun turn cards. Not that one. See Eric shaking the head. The lack of excitement on that turn. Jack and a jack only. Doesn't find it. Sepio up to 13.7. Perhaps a misstep from Eric there. It's 11 big blinds. Still some life, but obviously really disappointing. Sepio's biggest life. Biggest life. And everything else takes a back seat. Yeah. You know, hydration, <laughs> sleep, yep. nutrition. It, it adds up. It takes its toll on the body for sure. Yeah. Just waking up with like, ah, I forgot to do something. Or like, I need to message someone back. Like, that was every day. Even when it was over, I was waking up feeling like that. And like, it's okay. Yeah. It's done. My brain, go to sleep. But I mean, so many people worked super hard on this event. Win staff, WPT staff. Um, it's incredible how much work it, this takes to put together. Just so many people were super overworked. I hope they get to go home and have a good Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever that they're celebrating. Yeah, it takes a, a small army to pull off an event like this, that's for sure. Well, Eric, for redemption here. Find themselves in a really good spot with oh. only nine big blinds. Out, please. Just short of 10, counting his big line. This is pretty close, I would think. Does represent almost half of Mateus' stack, though. I don't know if he wants to spin the wheel for so much. What is this? Slow jack open, big line rejam. Yeah, it's close. I mean, I think for chips, it's probably a call. Cool. Uh, with ICM. And stack preservation. I'll probably pitch. Yeah, it's close. I think ace 10, like, we're in there, right? Mm -hmm. This really is cuspy. Oh. Yeah, he's made the Makes call. The call on Eric in a really good spot to get back in this thing. Still has 30% or so. As Jamie mentioned, Eric in great shape, looking to bounce back. thrilled about it though. Always scared at this point in the tournament. 10, 8, 5, 2 diamonds. Eric's got the ace of diamonds. Mateus though, you know, there's some sweaty turn cards with the 9 in there. That's one of them. So queen of diamonds. Eric in really great shape now. Top pair, top kicker, and also the ace of diamonds, but Mateus can hit a jack. Safe river. Eric's going to get the double up. And now Mateus is pretty short. About 14 bigs. Yeah, there's a few of them at this table uh, saying when, when the scoreboard came up, like, we're at that stage now mm -hmm. where these guys kind of have one option pre-flop, and that's, you know, take these rejam situations that and presented. Especially with, like, the layout of this table with so many elite yeah. players with big stacks, like, you're going to find a lot of good three...
also just being indoors air conditioning. Yep. James raising up pocket jacks under the gun. It's your guy, your guy in the hijack with Queen Jack <laughs> suited. Your guess. Thank you. Yeah, I like the flap. Me too. Does open wow. the door for a squeeze, but <laughs> Daniel's not squeezing. He's got the goods. Daniel's been in a couple good spots recently at this feature table. 2.1. Just loving life. I mean, the kings against the jacks just a few hands ago. Now on the button as well. back for the WPT Win World Championship, day five, live from Win Las Vegas. I'm Jamie Kerstetter, joined in the booth by Henry Kilbane, and we are going to bring you two more levels of action. We have, was it 27 players left? 24. 24 players left. We just redrew. Final so we're getting three a tables. new feature table up here. It looks like we got Ren Lin, a lucky Chewy uh, sighting finally. Oh, Artur Martirosian. A day again. Oh, poor Daniel Sepuel has to just stay up here. I'm gonna let you handle that fifth fifth name. Cedric Schwader. All right, that sounds good to me. No, it doesn't. That was terrible. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Cedric. I can't. Schwader. Sh yeah, I, I'm digging what you're saying, Schwader. Sh right. Schwaderly. Let's just go with Cedric. Big man said. Yeah. <laughs> It's not Cedric Diggory, we know that. I, uh, you know, it's good motivation. If he makes the final table, if he wins $5 million, we have to learn how to say his last name. We got no choice then. Good luck to whoever interviews him <laughs> in the winner's interview. Okay. Cool, man. Who would that be? Lynn. Lynn's great at that stuff, yeah. though. She's great at everything. Yeah, she'll just, you know, she'll nail it. Pronunciation. Wow, okay. <laughs> Eight up to 21 million. And I've been informed that it's Ade. Uh, it's Ade, yeah. okay. Um, I think I hear him also. I think all day. Taylor. All day, Ade. Ade, of course, yeah. My first ever tournament of Foxwoods. That's that word. You fall? What's long? <laughs> oh, I hear Ren <laughs> at the table. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Bonnie be boxing at the table. <laughs> I can't say I do. Oh, well, we got witnessing going on another here. bust out. We are indeed. Is he 23 players left? Nash Aegis out in 24 for 193,000. He was one of the chip leaders yesterday. Dropping like flies at this age, this stage of the tournament, I mean. I guess tomorrow is gonna be a little oh, be I, so don't, long, I don't yeah. want to jinx it, but I think the option was there to make it a really long day to get down to our final table of six, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Well they added a day, right? From last year? From last year. I think so. Yeah. Feels right. And this one, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe this one. I no one complains about that, by the way. Like, no one complains okay, that they wrap yeah. early yeah, on those days. Most yeah. people are very happy to bag their chips and be done with it. Um, so I'm glad that they made that change. Okay. Got someone called Willem Muller 
in the chat saying, Henry's first attempt was all right. The dude is French, but the last name is German. But with Whoa. a name like Willem Müller, I'm going to have to trust you on that one. So That's what was your first attempt, though? Because I, I forget it now. I can't remember. <sighs> you have to tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll give it a go. Thankfully, we were going by first names at the future. So Cedric with Jax under the gun plus one. I'm seeing Otto Martyrosian in the mix at the feature up. table. 11.1. Uh, wow, Thank you. Ren just pitching the ace nine of clubs from the small. Take note for Vati. And I don't know whether it's because he's just really hungry, <laughs> stuck it into some noodles, or whether that's just a world class fold. Friendly reminder <coughs> that tomorrow Jamie and Nick Shulman will be streaming the million dollar WPT big one for one drop. I see a lot of people asking about that. Yeah, we're going to have both streams tomorrow. It's going to be day six of the WC alongside the one drop final table. So it's a good time to multi table the streams. Naj, by the way, falling victim to Chris Mormon. Tens into Chris Mormon's kings. That's Naj Ajez that busted in 24th. Be keeping you guys updated on outer table action. Enrique. <coughs> Flying the flag for the Brazilians. Here in Vegas. It's going to min raise King Jack suited. And then an under 20 big blinds, the ace deuce off suit, not good enough. So today you might bluff. <laughs> The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Five. What was the line that you you set? Fourteen. I think I said sixteen, but I I can't remember. What did I say? <laughs> I might have said fourteen because if we we're keeping pace with the bust outs from the beginning of the day. Yeah. It was going to be fourteen, but I also said that I thought it would slow down as the day goes on because the pay jumps get so huge. I think so. I mean. That's what I'm kind of expecting to happen. But at the same time, looking at the stacks at this feature, uh, Cedric on 28, Enrique on 24, Renlin on 21 bigs, Arditz playing sub-20. There's quite a few you know, 25 big blind or less stacks in the field. 
It doesn't take much for that many chips to find their way into the middle. Artur doing Artur things. Both the Foxens are out. People asking in the chat. Yeah, it's got to be a bit disappointing when you both come back with... Especially Kristen had a pretty good stack. She did. Both out before they get down to three tables. Ah, day under the gun with King Jack offsuit. And let it go. <laughs> Man, Ren could have told us he was busy eating his dinner. We wouldn't <laughs> have brought him over to the feature. Shout out Lucky Chewy, by the way. There aren't many that love it more. Big fan of Lucky Chewy. It's like one of the nicest people I've ever met. And I'm pretty sure that he's been abducted by aliens before. He's been what, sorry? <laughs> abducted by aliens before. Have you ever talked to him about aliens? He'll talk to you for like an hour. I've spoken to him about philosophy mm -hmm. and very quickly realized that not only is this man elite at poker, but he also has an IQ of 150. No, I think it overlaps the stuff of poker go. I gotta play. But I have to play anyway. You want to play on the top of the leaderboards? No, but I need to change that. They have one last series. One in September? No, no, they have one in January, right before they do the free roll. So we went rock climbing once. I went with a friend. And he was also at the climbing gym year. that I go no, to. And my friend must have told him forehand history straight, rattled him off, and Chewie acted like he cared and was very nice. Was There's no way he cared. There's <laughs> no possible way. Who are these friends that you're hanging out with? <laughs> it was an yeah, ex-poker player who just still loved the game. Um, so oh I was like, I'm sorry, Chewie. This is probably like yeah, your fan and then Bahamas area. And yeah. Booted me. You're being brutalized by hand histories. Yeah, my, uh, my favorite thing is when Jesse and I are on break and we get caught in the crossfire in the it's hallways. It's always a bad beat story, disguised as an interesting hand. And we got like 15 minutes You're in like between I frames. I want to go get a snack. Right. <sighs> right. Henry, let me tell you this eight big blind pot that I played. <laughs> Can I bring it here and use it? Huh? Can I yeah, yeah, yeah. Let well? yeah. me use that. Art it sub 12. Cut off. It seems like go time. I don't mind raise folding this one. Oh, 12 bigs, I think. <coughs> Something like 850, 900. Size up slightly. Just to reduce the amount of hands that the big blind can defend. We're obviously folding to any action. He's got to go for it. All of it. Personally, lean. Immediately to his left, center and ace jack. Four point seven. Total. That's four point six, right? This is kind of why. I prefer raise folding with a 6 so just because the the hands that call you're not doing so great yeah Score. you're just yeah. likely up against stronger a6 maybe i'm being a bit results oriented here but do you just prefer raise fold or maybe even just the fold with icm honestly i don't know 
found it in rough shape. Gonna need to find some diamonds. Some funky straight. Or a six. Could happen. I think he knows he's behind for now. A couple of diamonds. That six wrapped around the five three. Nineteen percent equity across turn and river. We just get greedy, we just seven of diamonds on the turn. <laughs> Oh. Some life. Start. From three outs to 11, with one card to come. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so dirty. Brutal for Cedric. It's just worth so much money. That's it, yeah. I mean, I don't even want to try and figure out how much that's worth. <coughs> The difference between Big having one? a 7.4 million chip stack and a 18 million chip stack, as well as eliminating Ardit. Fortune favors the brave. And sometimes the stupid in poker. I'm not talking about Ardit, I'm just saying in general. I've been rewarded on numerous occasions <laughs> in spots that I shouldn't have been. I miss those days. Yeah. The early ones where you don't even know you're bad beating yeah, someone. Exactly. You're, like, you're just oblivious to it. The <laughs> how results oriented you could be as well. You s you win the hand, so you're like, I must have played that yeah. perfectly. My first ever hen and mob cash is still like imprinted in my brain. I lost a coin flip and I kept doing circles around like, could I have avoided this coin flip? Like, I should have followed the ace queen because uh, like it was crazy how much you're trying to control when you don't yeah. understand how much luck is involved. When was this? <laughs> Stone age. Really? <laughs> so long ago. Was it in Jer New Jersey? Uh, uh, it was Paul at Gata? Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. I was so happy to. I'm in Hendemum. I'm a real poker player. <laughs> Do you remember yours or no? Uh, I don't actually, no. Hmm. I have one, but it's not. One? Yeah, it's not. I, I You're really not a tournament guy. Good yeah. for you. Final table of a WPT, by the way, just saying. What? So it's a good one what? to have, yeah. <laughs> and then you didn't catch the bug and play them forever? No, my bust out hand was uh, traumatic. <laughs> So instead of winning 100k, I only won 30k. And Kevin Rabichow saw a screenshot of my bust out hand mm -hmm. and uh, very correctly commented on my Instagram post saying, how on earth did all of the chips end up in the middle oh here? Oh no, one of those. Uh, I, I retired from, from tournament poker. <laughs> I'll talk with the ISO. I think this is going to work. Four bigs. Have it with the king nine. Yeah. Wow, okay, it just takes Four it down. So. Let's go. <coughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. If I don't come in for commentary tomorrow, by the way, we all know who's responsible. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not I'm not contagious probably. I feel like you're planning not to come in, you just need an excuse. Mm. We'll see, we'll see in a few hours time. <coughs> I have heard that there's a bit of a bug going around. Yeah, I'm just very glad it's not COVID because a few people got it early in the series. <laughs> Mine just is a regular cold according to a couple tests, so that's nice. Lucky Chewy under the gun, one with ace 10 suited. 30 big blinds. Raise it. Octave High Poker, I wonder what that is. Cute patch. You don't know? No. What's oh. that? Tell me. I don't know the specifics. I was asking Ashley Frank about it, and it's. Uh, yeah, Chewy's new software slash training uh, 
club, if okay. you will, school. Round them. Collides with you have round Arthur, him. Arthur Ocean. This is a plus one open. Arthur in the small. We'll get back to Octopi Poker after this hand. A few options on the table for the chip leader. Wow. Okay. 30 bigs. Effective. Gee, you can't love this. Let's go. That feels like a bit of a punt. <laughs> Ace Queen just rips it in. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> dangerous, yeah. <laughs> he is dangerous. Tell me about. That was weird. My mic cut out. Tell I me did. about Octopi Poker, please. Yeah. So. Chewy is always talked about. Do you have a poker <laughs> nickname, Arthur? <coughs> oh, a nickname? Nicknames. There we go. Wait, what's my nickname? Yeah. Where? The Bulldog? King of, King of Here, in poker. You have King. King of yeah, do you have one? <laughs> Just dangerous. Rocket Man. <laughs> Gucci Man. Gucci <laughs> Man. Jack. I'm trying to find Chewy's Instagram. <coughs> uh, not Instagram. Uh, Twitter. If I can find oh his yeah. Twitter, I can tell you more about Octopi Poker. The secret of Asian of Love. I can talk, I can have love. Sorry, man. I hope you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I found the Twitter account, mm -hmm. the official Octopi no Poker one. Now. Just says your path to uh. Poker Mastery. And I click on the link. <laughs> no. It says join the Octopi the right tribe, <laughs> pursue mastery, grow the game. There's nothing oh, it's just yeah, loads of ways to I, uh, study, seek. And collaborate. Okay, more game one. Publicly streamed hands. Involving some of the world's best, different coaches, influencers, and content makers. It's like Chewy and Dylan Lindy, Maria Ho. General availability coming in 2024. Wow, okay. Looks like Nick. How do you not know about this, by the way? I mean, Nick Shawman's in there. Victoria <laughs> Lifshitz is in there. He's all like. Okay. <coughs> but it looks like actual AI. I well, somehow managed to still not know what it's about. Well, good luck to them on their pursuit. I think anything that. Lucky Chewy attaches it's his really name yeah. to. I guess you could stack the chips. And it's likely to be because the placement of the reader. Right? Very solid. Sure. Yeah, that could work. <coughs> I can, I can, I can put it here when. The problem is just these three guys can see your hand. I understand. They see chips. <laughs> <laughs> I board. That's all, Enrique. <coughs> Arthur against Chewie is going to be a fun fight. Six fifty. Six hundred and fifty. Not in this hand, just in general. Yeah. See the little banter going on already. Very contrasting styles. Chewie's a lot more tame and methodical, whereas Arthur's like a 
bully in a china Bulldozer. shop. Eight pairs of bullet. Ace queen at the check mark now. There's just so much to sweat right now. I'm just refreshing <laughs> the one drop, the prime. The chat in here, it's yeah. my brain is very busy. Feeling. I forgot about the one drop for a second. There's a lot of poker going on right now. We've got it all. I want to keep you guys updated on everything. They're down to eight in the one drop right now. Although, I thought the sand was basically over, but it's very much not over as our tour has barreled one more time. Yeah, no, Arthur's an absolute dog. I mean, he just battles. Real street fighter kind of style. Enrique, going nowhere. I mean, Arthur forgets that Enrique's from Brazil. Oh, yeah. And, uh... They just vamo. Yeah, that's, that's a nation that I'd be reluctant to try and get fold. Folds from. Fold top two. Doesn't like giving up. Surely going to wave the white flag here, though. Single raise pot, cut off your button. It's gone bet call, bet call. I thought surely he was waving it on the turn, so... You just never know. There's so many players that it would be a fold against, but I think Enrique will likely have to put on the cape here against Artur. It's grim, but... I hate this up. There's an ace hanging around. Just thinking it's a chop. <coughs> Enrique Zanetti. Up to 15.3 million. So, about that one drop. We're down to 8 out of 17. Dan Smith, Cowboy Dan, ship leader. Here's our leaderboard. Artur Marosian, 64 big blinds. Ade, 49. Enrique, 38. Lucky Chewy, 28. Ade, 26. Daniel Sepiel, 26. Cedric and Renlin, both short. We are down to 22 players now? This is crazy how fast this is moving. Dropping like flies, as they have been for the last couple of levels. And we got from, yeah, 33 to 22 in a level and a half. Getting to that stage of the tournament now. The chips are flying in. Makes sense. I mean, Ren on 16, Cedric on 18, Arda and Dan on 26. Doesn't take much for that amount of chips to find their way into the middle. Maybe you should take some of those left. Swipe it right off. 23 left. Pay jumps we're looking at now. So everybody right now is guaranteed 193,000. Twentieth is the pay jump now. Really? Okay. Two hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. So looking at about forty-three thousand. Crazy. that stage before it was every full table ran slapping his wrist staying out of trouble yeah nice fold I did don't get too sticky out of the big not this stage of the tournament especially against 
Early position opens. Always tempting to fall into that trap of pot odds and getting the right price. I think I'm going to be hearing that little ding dong sound in my sleep. Don't, please. <laughs> I blame you, by the way. You blame me I mean, for pointing it out? No, I mean, it's, it's your stream. <laughs> Blaming you for the last five days at least. It's the thing of nightmares. I'm only taking blame for the good stuff. The rest, Matt Savage. I like that. Not yet on me. I should be visible also. I'm considering a jam. Yeah, this is precisely what we were talking about, right? Yeah, At that stage. 16 big blinds. Get through a decent amount. Just oh. get done talking oh. about pay jumps, though. Out to table action involving Gurgis with the tens, gets the double against the ace king. Gonna win flips to win tournaments, not to state the obvious. Doubling up against Maxime, chill out, pre flop all in. It's under the gun, that's a big blind. Look how much calmer it is down there. No lights, no cameras. Normal tournament going on down there. It's a bit of an advantage if you don't have to spend a lot of time on the feature your I first agree. few days. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people speak about this over the last few days. Even, you know, some of the high rollers that find themselves at feature tables more often than others were saying how, how difficult it is to switch off. Mm -hmm after a night of being at the feature table. Not only that, but they tend to play a little bit slower. Um, there's some dramatic pauses for runouts and stuff, so if you're a really good player, you probably want to see more hands. So the feature hurts that as well. find one Go Enrique on. Zanetti on oh, Hendon Mob and it's a lone cash of $1,860. Don't know if that's definitely him, him, but if it is, what a storyline. Those are easy people to root for when they're yeah. up against these killers. He's not playing Wait, like someone who only has a 1k cash, though. He seems pretty confident, <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> Probably similarly to Mustache Mike. Online you? guy. Merkin? Yeah, Could be. Brazilians. Widely regarded as one of the best online players. You have an all-in and a call on the outer table. It's chip leader John Richards with the ace king. It's Mario Navarro's queens in an ace on the turn. Showers. Mario Navarro in 22nd, and that looked like a sizable pot, Jamie. I mean, sure. that's a good 10 black chips or so. Like a 23, 24 million chip mm. pot, down to 22. Those are the most brutal, or it's just <laughs> hand matchups you oh, can't escape. Good. Doesn't matter what stack mm. you built up up to that point. John Richards is up to 48 million. Wow. He said cards should be visible. Not more than a final table average stack. That's grim. I don't know. I wonder how many words I'm going to pick up from you that I use after this. Grim. No, it's yeah, I like the that. Same as them. <laughs> <laughs> but no bluffing today, right? Yeah, I can't bluff. You can put like this. Get, get in the bin, mate. I like that one a lot. Oh, yeah. There are some uh, 
Australian commentary I was doing, uh, and I heard one of the players say, tell your story, <laughs> walk in. <laughs> what? It's the That's best thing savage. I've ever heard. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> That's good. Wow. That's the most Australian thing I've ever Isn't heard. Isn't that great, though? So if someone tries to tell the hand history, tell your story, <laughs> walk in, and you just leave. Oh, my word. I honestly don't even know how I'd react if someone said that. <laughs> it would shut me up. Yeah, quick. exactly. You just like, okay, showers. Right, yep. he's, got, he's got too many steps. Message received. Uh, Loud and clear. Yeah, fair point. Oh, like this? Three chips on this side. Is this side? Like this? Welcome to poker, Alto. No, I mean, it could affect the action if you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a reasonable point. There you go, perfect. We got there. Oh. Okay. Prefer clicking buttons online, yeah? It's a lot easier, right? Yeah. No, don't sleep on Artur's live resume. I know he's known for playing the higher stakes online, but. He also has a live resume to back it up. Zapio in the small with an ace. All options on the table. And this stack depth just going to limp. Limping in against Hade. Queen 7-0. Another one of those that feels like can go either way does decide to just knuckle this one. Internet's not really a thing in Vegas, is it? No? That's not working, no. Just, just me speaking. on the turn as Daniel boats <coughs> up. <coughs> Goes for a little one-third delayed stab. Targeting exactly these types of holdings. King, Queen, Jack, Highs. Parts on the river. Fortunately, and it does not pair up. Yeah, going back to Arthur Martyrosian, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. 12.6 million in live earnings. Second on Russia's all time money list. Best live cash of 3.3 million. 750. That's quite the resume. See what Addy does here. Sepiel, the milkman, trying to extract more. Goes for a small sizing. Spades brick. See if Addy. Yeah, he's going to look him up. Well executed. Well executed from Sepiel. Back up to 14 million now. Ade losing a small one. Blind v blind. Got curious with the queen high. Can't fault him. Double paired borders. I welcome I Jamie back into the booth. Um, I was born in no? that city. Okay. Queens, where I was, uh, That's right. The gremlins. The mice are in the uh, the, the, the wire boards. And Telling Jamie to rest. Poker After yeah. being sick for a couple of days. Chewy, who else was in two months, two million? I was thinking about it the other night. And um, I couldn't think of everyone. So the 
the house that was like featured was Jay Rosencrantz. Um, and Ski, right? Yep, Donnie Stern, Emil Patel. Patel? What's that? Is he the guy who worked for the Jaguars, that guy? I don't think so. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Same, the Jaguars, same last name, but different guy. Though. Okay, because he oh, played poker too. Right? Yeah, the fraud guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two months, <laughs> two million. Yeah. 20-something million? All in DFS. My question is, how did he get it? Three or four years, he got away with it, right? That's pretty insane. Yeah, Dan Stern. Pub saying, hello, pigeons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'd love to see it. Numbers have dropped on this channel, understandably so, Roberts. because the Prime He's Championship the final table is up and running. The My oh, recommendation right. is to have both streams up. Wouldn't want you guys to miss you know, Mustache Mark or any of the big hands from this Day 5 coverage. Got about a level and <laughs> one quarter left in the evening. Aldi, we moved on to Vegas. Okay. After call with him, is it? I was 22. Okay. Where'd you go to school? College? Undergrad? Uh, I went to Stony Brook, but I didn't. Stony Brook? Yeah. No, no, it's out of East Coast Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, is that no Wagner? No Wagner. Yeah. I'm just gonna defend now the big. Call. It's call. It's, it's like near gotcha. 2.2 million in the middle. Not the first time these two have collided. I believe you. Perhaps the collision on this one. Maybe going Brazil's way. One over card to the nines, although Artur wrapped around that jack of hearts with the queen ten, has the ten of hearts in hand. My experience in school was uh, mostly missing class and then. Typically one of those guys that you can expect to fight for every pot, including hands like this, Jack 4-4. Four, four. And just as I say that, there's the check raising chips, ladies and gentlemen. You can probably tell I've commentated on this man many times. Just never takes a day off. All right, I'm back. Henry. She's back just in time <laughs> for the Artur check raise with the Queen 10. Just relentless. 6.6 .6 million out there. Jamie was back briefly. Jamie's telling her story walking. She is. She's out there <laughs> trying to get the soundboard complete. This is just insane. Like, there's aggression, and then there's Artur Martyrosian. Like, timing is everything. Sometimes you look like a genius, other times you look like a fool. And Enrique pitches it. Artur. <coughs> the bulldog. I'm surprised he can still get, get those through. Honestly, yeah. Um, it feels like over-aggression at this point. Like, the jam against Chewy felt like a bit of a pun. Mm -hmm. Man, if it's going to work ever, it's when people care a whole lot about their tournament life. It's a good time to be stepping on the gas. Curious to see how some of these players adjust now that we are on the live stream. On a 30-minute delay to obviously protect the integrity of the game. Jamie Kerstetter alongside myself for the rest of this Day 5 coverage. Live from the win here in Las Vegas, and I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying it, but definitely one of my favorite casinos in the world. I mean, <laughs> Place rules. it really does. Maybe not the $60 salad, I, you know. 
Got a thing for that price on a salad. It just it's what paid. kind of salad are you getting? Well, yeah, the extra chicken, grilled chicken. Yeah. Got, got you get getting room service? No. No, just regular. Interesting. So you guys have like 17 different taxes, so something's listed <laughs> as $20. Mm -hmm. And by the time the 17 different taxes have been added on, it costs around 60 What have you got? You've got state tax, federal tax. I, I don't have any of those. I think they're just discriminated against you. They hear your accent and they're like, this guy's going to pay all and this. You know what it is? They're like, oh, UK guys, they don't pay tax on poker winnings. We've got to get it back we somehow. we got to get it back right. <laughs> okay. on the grilled chicken salad. Decent flop for Chewy. In before Artur check raise. Out of the small. One diamond, seven six, wrapped around the nine. Still eight handed. That Millie. Big one for one drop, by the way. Current chip leader is Dan Smith. The cowboy. Cowboy Dan. We were just talking about him off air, weren't we? Yeah. About how well balanced he is. Uh, I really do think it's uh, the true signs well, of an yeah, elite player is one zero. that is able to find that balance and just walk away, yeah. take time off, spend you know, with friends, family, doing activities. It's very easy to fall into the trap of forcing yourself to grind absolutely every tournament available. Yeah, I agree. Dan's certainly one of those. <coughs> yeah, he's not like a leaderboard chaser. No. Guy. I'm optimistic. Shows up for the big stuff and I mean, typically I shows up in Haven't yet found a better game, strong so. form. People that play it. Pretty compelling, right? It can obviously be quite intense. It's not the most. Raising up to ace eight suited, and Daniel Sebiol is gonna wake up with ace jack off suit. Deciding what to do against this 15 big blind stack. Isn't that the mentality that like people that don't want to see legal though? Well, I'm saying just from experience. That's a 2.1. That is probably the predominant argument for trying to legalize it, is that people will do just that, right? Like, for my double advocate, like, let's say, you know, you have a kid, they want to play French poker, and you're like, nope, daddy just can't do it. Uh, you just prefer. Uh, Cedric just handcuffed here. I mean, he ever thinks he has fold equity? Maybe he goes for it. <laughs> He's got 5.2 back. Hate to see it. That's why you just want to be 200 bigs effective, right? <laughs> Cash game. You see three dealer. Yeah, folding to three bets makes you die a little bit inside, especially with like a suited ace. Yeah, after losing the ace jack against the ace six as well. Yeah, if it was, if it was like, easy, wow, I, I wish I was <laughs> 18 million deep, like I should be. <laughs> For sure, yeah. No, I mean, it's. Uh, I think cash games obviously is the way to go. You gotta push them towards cash games. We'll, we'll see how you feel if you win the tournament. 
<laughs> that'll, that'll change someone's mood pretty quick, right? Definitely. You think? Things can change quickly. Guys, tournaments are so easy. I don't know why everyone's not playing them. I played eight days. I won $5 million. <laughs> There's Whoops. that uh, funny cartoon me with the survivorship bias excited. where it's the guy being like, mm. he's got bags of money. He's like, this is why everyone should play the lottery. It's all good. There probably is a bit of that after you crush a tournament. Oh, there has to be. <laughs> I wouldn't know from experience. But <laughs> Me neither. That's why we're in here and they're out mm -hmm. there. I've had a couple of sweats. Can I see your chips, Ren? Yeah, Five, Five black. Uh, Thank you. Arthur's furious that he had to fold the car. Enrique, very playable hand on the button. Covers Ren in the small, I believe he's got around the same amount of chips as Chewy in the big. Ren's been very quiet. Mainly due to bad card distribution. <laughs> Every time, bro. Oh, hello. Wow. This could this could actually find its way in the middle pre-flop. Enrique's got a really nice four betting hand. Oh, hello. What we got going on here? It's like ace, ace king. king versus ace king. Okay. Oh, Hearts it up. versus diamonds. Chop. No sweats on that flop. No spades. Huh? That was huge. Right? It was like. <laughs> so three, three bets, 3.1, about eight big blinds. I love this sizing. It's enough to make Enrique feel like Chewie can fold to a jab. Yep. Like he's got 21 bigs back. are famous for it. King 10 is not the worst hand to do it with as well. Fucking ace king, kings, tens. Calls. Interesting. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a tournament defining moment for both. Wow, <laughs> oh my god, what a flop. Queen Jack Deuce, Queen Jack of Diamonds, Lucky Chewy with the royal draw, open ender for Henrique. Jamie, what is this dealer doing today? <laughs> I told you. The dealer you of Notice death. she's been up here almost the whole time too. They said we gotta wrap this thing up. She's just like, let's, let's get to the FT tonight. Let's <laughs> skip day six. Enrique with the open ender. Chewy with the royal flush draw. Pretty boring turn card. <coughs> we, got, we got Henry coughing as, if you, as if you can catch a cold in 12 minutes and then I, be sick. Mm, I'll tell you what. Can't blame me for that I'll one. I'll be pressing charges. <laughs> Both players brick on the four of hearts turn. That's Enrique. Try and Take this one away here. 1.7. 1.7. So it's really small in position. You don't see that too often. Yeah, three bit pot of this SPR makes a lot of sense. Rarely getting check jammed on. Yeah, that's. Should we in a spot where he's just going to check call? Interested to see what happens if this river breaks off. Let's be on less than one. Oh, just the nuts <laughs> for Chewy. Beautiful river card. After playing the turn passively, what's he going to do now? Block. 
go with two million. Yeah, like fifteen percent, twenty percent. Probably not. I mean, Could I just bomb as well. Or oh, give the Brazilian as wow. much rope as possible. Surely Enrique just takes his showdown here, Jamie. There we go. Huge pickup for Chewy. Wow, well, right shot. What about flopping? Oh, oh. Up to 17 million now. <laughs> uh, it sounded like a. Chevalier in the turn, you call? You sounded like a super evil villain when you said that. Chevalier in the turn, you call? Yeah. <laughs> Ma maybe. Maybe it's your call. It's gambling. Right? I think it's Chevalier in your call now. Sick room. Yes. Yeah. I lose one here. More action seven. over here. Kings against queens. Actually, my blinds are on a ten seven four. Safe flop turn and river for the short stack. I haven't heard a word, so I don't think they are. Actually, just receiving word that the Mormon folded jacks in that spot. Wow. Mormon looks like he's got a pretty healthy stack out there. That was Noel Rodriguez getting the double up against Ben Jacobs. Artur in the hijack with ace queen of spades. And min race. Oh, the final table. <laughs> Good change, please. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yep. Card it with a nice uh, hand to defend in the big blind eight seven of diamonds. Yeah. Perhaps six blacks or seven. Sorry. Ace, queen, deuce, two hearts and a spade. Top two for our tour, and our dit has completely whiffed. I don't know if I'm just sick in the head or if these tanks just really have me on the edge of my seat. It's like the devil on the shoulder. It's like, do it, it's Artur. He has nothing to do it. Do it. I, think, uh, I think you were not on the same page as Artur on that one. I think he was just like, we're two away from a pay jump, and I'm yeah. going to just take a little while before I put these in the muck. That makes sense. If there's ever someone to stick it to, it's Artur. <laughs> and that's how Artur gets all the money. That's true. Championship is down to three. Who we got over there, Cal? Yeah, well, I mean, how crazy is this? Three left. They're all guaranteed 675,000 in a 1K. 1K. <laughs> That's crazy. And yeah, Cal, chip leader. Calvin Anderson, Jake Lewin second. Aaron Pinson. Oh, Aaron good for Aaron, third. too. Known him for a while. I uh, played day two of the WC with him. He actually had a stack in the World Championship also for a little while. Really? Yeah. That's a nice guy. Here we go, Ren. He's been patient. 13 and a half bigs. Is this his way back into the runnings? Yeah, I forget when, you know, you live out here, you know, stateside, you do just become one big kind of community. You know, all of these people, they've been grinding for, you know, mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15 years. You see their names pop up every now and then. 
Oh, good for that guy. I remember battling <laughs> back in the day. Yep. So far, so good for Ren Lin. Or did not waken up. Let's see what the big blind has. Six deuce. We're safe. Jamie, I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> top 20 big blind stacks out there. Sure. Your future's back. Can I sit on? Um, I've actually seeing the chat asking for uh, more beeping. Yeah. They want more uh, beeping shot yeah, clocks. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. What year was that? It's very pleasant. 2018. It's the Morse code. <laughs> Pretty sick. I run hot during winter. Bill and Lindy. What? When the blinds go up, I can't remember the guys. Last I could honestly see us getting be, down to 14, 15. Yeah, tomorrow might be a really short day, which is nice. Oh. Wow, lucky Chewy waking up with pocket aces in the cutoff. Been a nice little run for him at this feature table. Minus five four off suit. Bit disappointing when your aces just steal the blinds. Um, that would have been before my time, but. I feel like we're going to see like a 35, 40 million chip pop between Arthur and Chewy at some point. This feels like it's the... I could see it. The stars are aligning. You just see it in Arthur's face when he's folding even King 8 offsuit. That he's like, ah, like he just wants to open every single hand. Yeah, I mean, some of these guys just don't take a hand off and I respect them for it. Aggression works. Like Chance Corner said. Not looking to buy action and people that are looking for a min cash. <laughs> At least I know not to try to sell to him now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I remember the big game too. Uh, the first like million dollar buying cash game or whatever. Yeah. When I. Uh, was it Yukon? Remember he, he bluffed Ivy? He like over bet the High six poker was at What was his name? Um, he was from Canada. Uh, Brad, Booth. Brad Booth. That's what he was. Set the old 9 4 off suit in the small line. This could be one you just let go, huh? Not going to see that many walks, but what do you what do you think about this? Yeah. yeah, I think so. It depends on the stack size. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That is <coughs> too deep. I think if it's like a 20, sub 20 big blind stack. You can just leverage. Three and a half exit. Yeah. That's the last thing I wanted at this table. <laughs> at the table. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Arthur's on your left. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's on the left of the other table, too. <laughs> Lucky me. 20, 21 spots. One out of 21 spots. See you again. You can at least swap. This is grim for Ren. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going to let it go under the gun one. Yeah, well, I think Not getting into too much trouble. Two people away from a big pay jump. 
but that would pain me to fold. I don't like that. <laughs> he just said to the dealer, you're dangerous. <laughs> you're only going to play aces. Sappy <laughs> <laughs> Of a playable one. Ten of clubs. On the bottom. <coughs> Eight. Does have the relentless Artor in the big. Always. Daunting. Jack six off suit. Two point eight million. I know, I just go. I don't you have me starting to expect this as well. But he just goes with the call. I was thinking this hand doesn't have high playability post, but maybe he would have turned this yeah. one into a three bet as well. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking that possibly if I were Daniel, I, I might limp some buttons versus Artur's big blind, but that might be an over adjustment. Jack nine three monotone favoring Artur's jack six though. Now you made him too bad. Open energy, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> it's probably a nice thing to do, sub 25. I, I would think say. so, yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I'm all up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. 65. 85? 65. I see a lot of monotone so boards like being right? checked back or like min bet. <laughs> and goes for a little bit more. <laughs> Terrible turn card for Daniel. Expect him to just yeah, try and realize his equity here. Three point five million out there does check back. Fourth spade peeling off on the river. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll share the love. Yeah, We're still good, spirit. but can't feel you too know. good about his jacks and nines now. I was watching the tra travel channel. Not ESPN. No bonuses <laughs> for three pair. I don't think so. Only one time a year. Although I, I heard that ESPN. referred to as a Canadian full house once, and I thought that was really funny. Okay. <laughs> <Where did that laughs> I don't even know from? what it means. A Canadian full house. I just really liked it. Oh man. It's like the back door Bangkok. <laughs> There's so many ones that I remember Joey coming up. Anytime Joey's on a stream. <laughs> oh man. First check through. Artur crossing the 30 million chip mark. Media killed, killed that. I mean, there's no way you could do that today and try to like. Yeah, it's like the, the, the bottom mm -hmm. pair trip draw. <laughs> it's like my favorite draw in poker because they never yeah, see I mean, it coming. Mm -hmm. Like knowing that you're watching something on a two months delay. Oh man. Shout out to the chip race yeah. <laughs> in the sure. chat. I mean, that's the cool thing about focus. So a question for Henry: <laughs> What communicable disease have you brought with you this festival? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jamie. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> it's Jamie this time. I don't know. I saw you earlier in the festival, <laughs> and now I have whooping cough. <laughs> the plague. I don't know what you brought me, but it's not good. Oh, Darwin. Yeah, yeah. Style? No. Yeah, no. Chipre is saying, Jamie, yeah, anything yeah, I was deep. to the rumor that you sleep in a dog bed? Has <laughs> <laughs> Newt taken up the bed now? Has it did, even kicked out? I showed Lap in a picture where um, at my boyfriend's house I got like a twin kind of fold out bed to put next to the bed because all of the dogs come upstairs and sleep with us. So I was like, I'll have a spot for the dogs. Three dogs and him in the bed. I'm laying on the little thing on the, <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> on the corner. Just get kicked out. Yep. It's because I won't move them. They look so comfortable, you know? I'm just like, all right, I'll You're be too down nice. Here. You're too nice. Aw, day on the button with Jack Dine of Spades and Artur in the cool. small blind. Pocket eight's going to just make the call. Regain the big blind. Might also toss one in with a suited Jack. Uh, one more. 
think mostly gas is based. Uh, the kind of all? Yeah. Most of the PLO is. Apparently you've been spreading rumours. Thank you. The reason I wasn't here no, earlier on today is because I was at the rodeo. <laughs> yes, I did say that. <laughs> Why are they telling on me? Come on, chat. Beautiful flop for our tours eights. Overpair and the gut shot and the only heart among the three. Every here with the mux end of the straight. Eighth. Our tour just leads right out. Hade shrugs. All right, it's yours, buddy. I flop. <laughs> Eight of hearts is a very good card to show. Altor in cruise control at this feature table, just chipping away up to 33 million now. Still 13,000 strong in terms of viewership over on the World Poker Tour YouTube channel. And Jamie, we've hit quite the milestone today. We've crossed the 600,000 subscriber awesome. mark. Thank you so much, chat. That's really cool. How insane is that? 600,000 subs since we launched the channel. So much poker history attached to the World Poker Tour. I used to play as a kid. I mess around every now and again, but weird. I don't quite have what I used to have. Okay. Part of history here one. at the start of the World Championship. I think we're going to look back in 10, 15, 20 years time. And this is going to be where it all started. Definitely feels like that. We have really good people involved in this company. Not just saying that as a part of it. Adam Pliska at the helm I treats mean. everyone really well. Wynn is an amazing partnership. Ryan Beauregard, Ray Pulford, two people who just do great things for poker players. They run a really good show here. It's just a great partnership that I think they really just grow and grow. They didn't even sweat it. They missed the guarantee, paid it, didn't yep. do anything sketchy, and absolutely crushed every other guarantee they had this whole series. Yeah, I've got nothing but love for Adam. Really is one of those industry leaders. Everybody likes him. Yes. Yeah. That's a great example. Hang on a One more level. Yeah, we got, oh, yeah. we got something exciting happening. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Yeah. Is that what we're seeing here? Coming back to like 25. Target raising to 800k. Ade win three betting to 1.2 million. Yeah. Nope. Do you think well, that is a misclick? Or it, it was, yeah. We saw, saw the reaction from Ade. Interesting. It's so tilting because rather than seeing a flop, He's going to get forced out here. Oh, no. Wow. No, I was going to say, this is that. weird enough where that I think it freezes people another. sometimes. But it was such an obvious misclick, like his reaction. Couldn't you misclick with a big hand, too, though? I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't matter. All that's going to happen is Arjit's going to win a larger pot, especially if Ade feels the need to stab at this slightly inflated pot. Been checked and not a bet one million. Call. Blank on the turn. Yeah, fortunately, for Ade, doesn't. Turn a flush draw, just stone dead. Fortunate in the sense that he's not going to make a big hand. Check, check. Another blank on the river. This should be. I'm trying to decide if I was our did, if I would bet out. I probably would bet out small in case sevens or something wanted to pay. But he's going to let Ade bluff at it. Check, check. Well, I think I got you. <laughs> Point for one break. I'm going to go. Eight full quick. kings. I think I, I got you. Full house is good, my man. Players are escaping on their break. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a shorter one than usual. Just 
minutes, 12 minutes or so, we return to the final level of the night. Rushing. Lucky Chewy behind a 36, and Cedric down to 8. He's going to need something good to happen to him very soon. Same with Ren Lin. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we have quite a few bust outs in the last level of the night here. Don't go too far. Jamie and I stepping away with the players for 12 minutes when we return. Continuing coverage of the WPT World Championship Day 5. Just short of 10 counting his big line. This is pretty close, I would think. Does represent almost half of Mateus' stack, though. I don't know if he wants to spin the wheel for so much. Was there slow jack open, big line regen? Yeah, it's close. I mean, I think for chips, it's probably a call. Uh, with ICM. And stack preservation. I'll probably pitch. Yeah, it's close. I think ace 10, like, we're in there, right? Mm -hmm. This really is cuspy. Oh. Uh, he's made the Makes call. The call on Eric in a really good spot to get back in this thing. Still has 30% or so. As Jamie mentioned, Eric in great shape, looking to bounce back. Too thrilled about it though. Always scared at this point in the tournament. 10, 8, 5, 2 diamonds. Eric's got the ace of diamonds. Mateus though, no, there's some sweaty turn cards with the 9 in there. That's one of them. So, Queen of Diamonds, Eric in really great shape now, top pair, top kicker, and also the ace of diamonds, but Mateus can hit a jack. Safe River. Eric's going to get the double up. And now Mateus is pretty short. About 14 bigs. Yeah, there's a few of them at this table uh, saying when, when the scoreboard came up, like, we're at that stage now mm -hmm. where these guys kind of have one option pre-flop, and that's, you know, take these rejam situations that and are presented. Especially with, like, the layout of this table with so many elite players with big stacks, like, you're going to find a lot of good three... So just being indoors, air conditioning. Yep. James raising up pocket jacks under the gun. It's your guy, your guy in the hijack with queen jack suited. <laughs> your guess. Thank you. Yeah, I like the flap. Me too. Does open wow. the door for a squeeze, but <laughs> Daniel's not squeezing. He's got the goods. Daniel's been in a couple of good spots recently at this feature table. 2.1. It's just love and life. I mean, the kings against the jacks just a few hands ago. On the button as well. Looks really suspicious. Yeah, it just looks like such a good spot to squeeze. And you got pocket jacks under the gun. You weren't, you know, got 21 bigs to start this hand. I mean, I wouldn't fault Chen for going broke here. <coughs> if he Me can neither. Find the fold. It's just out of this world. All in. Yeah, it seemed inevitable. Bad news for him, one of his jacks oh. is dead as well. Yeah, I felt like he had <laughs> Dava Malet, Roshi. Chen just kind of letting Sepio know that he kind of felt like he he had it this time, wasn't up to no good, but <coughs> twenty big blinds and jacks, I mean Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, this is one of those spots where I don't even consider busting for the tournament. You got ejected from the tournament. 
pace Jack needed. No running straight opportunities. Jack of Hearts is dead as well, so it's just the Jack of Clubs is going to help James now. Drawing to one out once. I'm not a stand up. Type the of record guy. breaking <laughs> world championship. Uh -huh. Run nice run for James Chan, who's going to exit in 30th place. Oh, that's rough. That one's going to sting for a while. I mean, all of these eliminations, final four tables, what could have been. Take a day off, mate. It's a seven-day tournament. It's a slow burn. Building up storylines. You know, mustache mark. Ren Lin. Chris Mormon coming out of retirement. Is he really ever retired? No, you know what I mean. Right? <laughs> he'll like disappear for a year and then yeah. he'll show up and win a world championship. How many balls you fire? Three. Three. Yeah. Three. Four. I think first under the gun one, one, we just have to let these sevens Same go. Or you're first. You're first. Raise. Oh, he's not in the mood for folding, Jamie. No thanks. He's going to be flipping for his tournament life. All of the aces and kings are still alive, by the way. Just as I say that, Harry <laughs> finds one out of the big. All in. All in. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Yeah, we're not going to be waiting for a pay jump here. Mateus finds himself in decent shape, flipping against Ace King. Right, good luck calculating how much this is worth. And <laughs> Tens of thousands of dollars of EV. Sevens against Ace King, a fair fight. Oh, Ace right on the flop. And backdoor straight outs, two sevens. Seven and a seven only. Mateus to stay alive. Be down to 27 players. Doesn't find it, Jamie. Good game. You got to win flips to win tournaments. Teus opting to run it for 11 bigs Thanks. against Ben's under the gun open. Thanks. Yeah, you flips, huh? Couldn't hold with the sevens. And Ben Heath on the climb, closing in on the 20 the million chip the mark. asking about the chip counts of all the 27. Um, if you guys want to see, it's on WPT.com. We'll have all the chip counts and live updates, etc. Yeah, <laughs> I, I highly recommend checking it out. The World Poker Tour blog team really doing a fantastic job over there. Go on, do tell. I have to read this. Go Anders ahead. Totten says, we're all quietly dying. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so emo. <laughs> so true. I mean, like all 15,000 of us are sat here. Now we got As something to think about. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Slow burn. Oh, Jack of spades. Wow. How about what that? What a board. Insane. Dale defended the big blind. Five deuce suited. He ends up flopping spade draw and an open ender up against Chris Mormon's top set of jacks. How is the dealer just... Right? I told you. She's the closer. Fanned this one off. Open ender and a flush draw for Sepiel. It's really hard to make these two hands connect. That's about it. Then it became PLO8, which is my favorite game. Then it was Mix Big O. Against Chris. 
Wouldn't fault him for fast playing this one. Sure. Taking it upstairs. Just has so much equity. Especially out of position. We're happy to get it in right now and kind of spin the wheel. Although they are somewhat deep. Yeah, heading towards the end of this level. Currently 33 bigs effective against Mormon, who is secretly, can't see it on his face, but secretly doing backflips in his mind with the flop top set as the ace of wow, diamonds. Wow, that is sickening. Finds his way to the turn, and now Mormon finds himself drawing to 10 outs once. And how often is Daniel going to have five deuce in his hand? And only the five deuce of spades is going to check raise on this oh, board. This is so sick. As well. It's so sick. Checks it over to Chris. Just great awareness from Sepio, recognizing that the ace on the turn is meant to be a bad turn card for him, in theory. <coughs> One that should certainly favor the open from the cutoff. My word. Is this how you defeat Chris Mormon? Just the ultimate setup. I thought he was going for raising chips there. Wow. Absolutely sickening. And now Mormon with 100%. Jack's full of threes. 75% pot in his stack right now. A warm welcome back to day five of the WPT World Championship, live from the win in Las Vegas. We are down to the final level of play. 22 players remain out of a field size of 3,800 plus runners. Put 90 minutes up on the clock. That's what we have left. Artur Martyroshian leading the pack, heading into the last level of the evening with 66 big blinds, but note the chip counts, Enrique Zanetti, Renlin, Cedric, Schroederli, all in the danger zone. Both Jamie Kerstetter and myself were alluding to this final level, perhaps getting us from 22 down to maybe 16, 17, 18 players would Makes sense given just how many rejammable stacks there are. For those of you that have only just stumbled into the stream, firstly, where have you been? Living under a rock. <laughs> Secondly, just to let you know, everyone's <coughs> currently guaranteed $193,100 for their efforts. Jamie Kersetter, alongside myself in yeah. the booth for this one. Am I pronouncing your surname correctly? Yeah. It sounds better <coughs> the way you say it, too. I say Kerstetter, but whatever... Oh, so I'm not pronouncing it correctly. It's no, it's like, it, it's fine. <laughs> Enough said. Sub-10 now for Cedric. He's had a very rough stint at this feature table through no fault of his own. It's basically perfectly that with you. one hand is... He got jammed on by ace-6, called with yep. called with ace-jack, and ran out four diamonds, and that was 10 million chips that should have been in his stack. Instead of playing 18 million, he was Ooh. down to seven and a half. Oh, Enrique, another short stack. How much is it? It's eight big blinds. I'm assuming that Enrique is going to re-jam this. It's probably pretty pretty One close, though, one. two away from a huge pay jump. <coughs> assuming that Cedric's going to have a lot of aces in his range. You're not thrilled about king-queen suited. But facing an eight big blind jam, it's pretty close. It really is. It feels crazy to say that. But with ICM and all the other considerations. 
two hands in the blind also, in the blinds. Yeah, also worth noting that Cedric is from plus one in two hands time, would have to put in 25% of his stack. True. Wow, let's it go. Down. That's huge. Full point, 75. seven of spades now. Wow, this jab's gonna get ace jack to fold, <laughs> king queen to fold, ace seven to fold. Fold to final table. Fold to, <laughs> fold final, to final table, table he now. says. <laughs> Let's go. And Chewy, 9-4 off suit. It's the first good news for Cedric in a long time. He's going to get through. Different winning strategy. Why change it, right? Yes. I just forgot that moment I was going to speak. <laughs> and then no, lose my memory. Now you're back. Now I'm back. I want that memory. Hot now. There's probably nobody I'd want to sit with more than Renlin and Lucky Chewy. <coughs> if I was in a high pressure <coughs> spot, they're just like chilling. Yeah. I'm just happy. Grateful to be there. Uh, and Ren is this animated away from the table as well. I've spoken to him a few times and yeah, really nice, just bubbly kind of personality. Top five chip counts as things stand. It is America in pole position. John Richards rocking the US flag to victory perhaps here. Redemption after last year. <laughs> Currently sat on 44.5 million. Overwhelming wow. chip leader, by the way. Ben Jacobs in second. Arthur Martirosian in third. Mormon in fourth. And Maxime Jalod in fifth. 22 left. All guaranteed just shy of $200,000. All right. To win the hijack with ace two suited, he's gonna run right into ace king. Nuke on 13 big blinds. Assuming he's just gonna be three bet jamming this in. Only. Good luck. Thank you. How much is this for? 13. 13, yeah. A little too much for our tour to consider. <laughs> it still hurts him to fold though. <laughs> it's funny. It's a good table image to have. That you want to be involved in every pot. Seven. That you don't like to fold. Those are scary people to jam oh, on. Great question. What well, an epic five days of poker would we've had here so far. Not if they made it lower. State the obvious, they but were so close. there really hasn't been a single frame over the last few days where I've just been like, oh, get me out of here. <laughs> you know, like watching paint dry. E even in some of the, the the smaller lulls in action, if you will, there, there's just been like, you know, table talk or yeah. something crazy that's happened that's made it really exciting. I mean, <laughs> I was on my yeah. deathbed the last two days. And I still had my laptop open <laughs> watching this. <laughs> I was like taking 10 minute naps between watching all your commentaries. Like, this is it's just good. You know, it's a good content. Oh, of course. Some of these players are elite, and in the last couple of days, there are just some colorful characters that were in the mix with them. And well, I think the thing for me that really makes this as special as it is is. The months leading up, loads of people qualifying, people that mm -hmm. typically play, you know, sub thousand dollar buy in tournaments in for, you know, free rolls. I know you yeah. hosted some free rolls and they make deep runs. And it's just like, holy cow, man. Like, you know <laughs> that this 50K, this 60K is going to change this person's life. It, it's fantastic. You read people qualifying. He just gives all his, all his time extensions. After the um, we had people qualifying on Club WPT for literally no dollars, on Global um, for like 55 bucks. A couple people had won tickets for $55 yep. and then turned them all the way into a 12K package. Win ran several satellites, small buy-ins. Um, there's a lot of people that are in this 10K for very little money. You get the kind of stories, the every man story then. Well, I saw you, you hosted some like scavenger hunt, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> And uh, my team won, uh, my, it was me and Patrick Harvey, yeah. Patches, 
and he actually cashed and his hand and mob has like no, no money on it I before saw this, this and he was thrilled i saw this yeah all the hand histories sending them to our our chat with doug polk in it doug's That's just good. tearing them apart <laughs> <laughs> Take a day off, Doug. Yeah, Come on. Arda is going to make the three bet jam. It's going to get through. It's more than time, yeah? It's more than time. Actually, yes. yeah, bro. makes the fold. I have to ask. Feel free to put Doug on blast here. <laughs> is is he showering patches in the constructive way? Constructive, yeah, okay. completely. Doug's, I, I send my hands in there too, and I know when I do this <laughs> that like you just get roasted sometimes. But occasionally you get one where he's like, nice, nice sizing, good job. And I'm like, I'm going to pin I'm that on the good. fridge. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. I feel like Doug's the, the guy that you always know where you stand. He's just very, he's very honest. very honest, blunt, yeah. yeah. And that's what you want when you're, when you're telling a hand history. I'm like, I'm not telling this not get yep, better. 100%. Don't lie to me and tell me it's good. And not a fun place to be. Yeah. And, and I did, I went on some adventures in this 10K. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. You said level two yeah. of day one, you're all in. Seven. Oh, we busted the Yeah, one drop. they're down to seven in the WPT big one for one drop. So they are on the bubble for the day, if you will, because mm -hmm. we'll be bagging and tagging once we get down to six. Rick Solomon eliminated by Makita Bazikuski. That's a shame, only because he's such an entertaining character. Would have been nice to have him at the final. Running yes, the nines tomorrow, into jacks. bringing back six players for the final table, but only four will cash. So we're going to witness a $1.2 million bubble on stream tomorrow. You are, and looking at the chip counts, <coughs> it's, I'm have kind of a similar effect that happened then. it's going to uh, be very uh, cagey. Makita anyway, is the chip anyway. leader with 47 yeah. bigs, and Adrian Mateos Ooh, is wow. the short stack with 22 big blinds. I apologize, Ike Haxton is with 21 bigs. Oh, Ike so must have had a bad level. It's at that kind of stage oh, yeah, yeah. where you know, if you double up your chip leader, uh, there's going to be some insane ICM considerations for you guys tomorrow. You got Shulman in the booth, though. Yeah, tomorrow I get to be play by play, and Shulman gets to drop knowledge on everyone, which is the way I like it. Should be really interesting. I know Shulman had considered playing if the field looked a certain way. Within five years. If it could get um, the rooms in the summertime. Yeah. But I spoke with Ryan, they have been doing that. And they initially said it's kind of like the winter. They run so many events in the mm. summer. So well, I mean, they ran a giant WPP this summer that got to the all top, right? But again, if you want to get you know, WSP numbers, sure. you have to have the ballrooms. If they have no access to it, then you have kind of what happens to Venetia and obviously what happens to you here in the summertime. You have alternate lines for hours and upon hours. Yeah, yeah, that's it's true. For the amateur, it's just a really bad experience. You know what I mean? No one no wants to wait three, four hours to no get a seat. No one wants to wait, yeah. So, and that's the biggest thing is obviously WSOP, you know, uh, have is an advantage for WSOP, for sure. Ballrooms, but if they can ever get access to ballrooms, um, I think that's going to be the, <coughs> I think you're truly going to have like a PGA live kind of competition, you know? That would be a game changer. Yeah, for sure. Grace? Chewy in the hijack with ace jack off suit, it's gonna min raise. Cedric with a seven off suit. Gonna let it go. Everybody's slowing down just a little bit. Two people to a pay jump, that's very real. Ade in the big blind with a very defendable 9-7 suited. Gonna see three. Yeah, I'm trying to recall how Ade lost his ships. I mean, he was up to 20 million. I can't really recall a big hand not going his way. I think it's just been 
a slow He did. Bleed. He misclicked that one pre to 1.2. Right. And he did try to win a little bit post-flop. I think that was a bleed of about 3 million or okay, so. Okay, that makes sense. He does outflop Chewy in he this one. Checks it over to him. Yeah, really annoying flop. 9-5, deuce, rainbow. Very dry and disconnected Chewy. <coughs> Got to continue and would take this down a lot of the time, but unfortunately just running into it here. Does have two overs. Also retains, you know, all of the... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Ooh, what a turn card. Ace of diamonds. Chewy now with top pair. But a day with a pair and a flush draw. Of course, you don't feel that good about <laughs> your, your pair of nines anymore. 4.4 in the middle. Curious to see how Chewy proceeds here. But like all of the options are on the table. 1.3. He grabbed Jamie. a lot of black chips, but then just 1.3. Did you <coughs> just think for a second you were going to see something crazy? I thought he said 4.3 for a second. <laughs> I was like, okay. That would so. be pretty crazy. Are they getting a nice price to peel? Yeah, Chewy just really targeting exactly these types of holdings. 5x, 9x. Does brick out for Arde. Seven million in the middle now. Can Chewy extract more value? And Chewy's one of those players, man, that you just get to watch and enjoy because y you know how much work has gone into his game. And we can sit here and try and play a guessing game. I I'd rather just enjoy the show. He could go really, really small and just hope that one of the flop pairs would pay him off. Quite small on the turn. Uh, given just how valuable chips are at this stage, I wouldn't fault the small size. Look at this, the milkman. Mm-hmm, milkman. Trying to squeeze out another 2.25. Not going greedy. Seems to have a very solid read on exactly where Ali's at. Now trying to figure out would Chewy play a hand like King Queen, King Jack? What we got over here? Hang on. Oh, standing up out of the chair. Eights for Ben Heath against the Ace King. Eric Blair is busted out, short of the pay jump. Still a really nice run though. Almost a couple hundred thousand dollars. That's rough. Not to state the obvious, but losing a big flip against Ben. Time extension from our day. You know you sized it well when when your opponent's got third pair and they're using time extensions. Yeah, it's chewy as well. He's the guy that's going to find these cheap bluffs, but does eventually get away from it. Discipline fold there. Lucky Chewy up to 19.2 million. And ben Heath with the eights busting. Eric Blair was the ace queen, by the way. Queen high flop. Ben oh, that's so brutal. Yes, oh, my God. Biking the two outer on the turn. Uh, that has to be one of the worst ways to lose. Just like the tease from You're the like, poker Oh, gods. nice. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Probably like a 500k in equity. Just yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Good luck making that back in the next few years, you know. 
All in EV. Oh, looks like we're going to lose our tour. As we're down to 21, so... Hmm? Sad to see you go. Three tables of seven. Good luck, bro. I think you should be the tiger. <laughs> I, I love that. Chewy so much. The nickname. Chewy asked Arthur oh, if he has nice. a nickname early on, and Arthur said no. I think you should be the tiger. <laughs> Chewy was thinking about it the whole time, too. You know it. Yeah, he already had that nickname a couple <laughs> of hours ago. He was just waiting for the moment. He didn't want to boost yeah. Arthur's confidence too much. <laughs> Chewie was an, ex an instructor for a Learn WPT. I don't know if Octopi Poker is replacing that or if he's going to be doing both, but that was very nice to have. Well, he's going to lose a couple of friends if he abandons ship on us. <laughs> I'm on mine. Thank you. Right, why not Chewie has an enemy. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask one. Yeah, Reef Shark. You read my mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed you're looking at it. <laughs> you seen my octopus teacher, the documentary? Yes. Yeah. It was incredible. <laughs> you just snap with reef sharks. <laughs> no, actually, I think I'm wrong. I think it is leopard sharks. Oh. Um, leopard sharks and black tips. On. Here we go. All right. Cedric with the rays off of eight. Well, the cutoff. I think that is to buy himself some time and try to make this pay jump. We got a stack of <laughs> time chips that are going in. Oh. So, excuse the graphic, by the way. Cedric's effectively jammed yeah, and only has like 250 back. He's just counting those time chips. Can't fault him, it's about 40 grand. If someone else will bust before him. Oh, he's got a lot. Oh, no. Here we go again, Jamie. Yep. <coughs> this one's slightly different to the one that you and Jesse had. Because there has <laughs> been an <laughs> all-in action. At least he knows he's getting yeah. called. Can I stand up to watch the action? Or am I allowed oh, to stand up? Oh, it sounds up? like there's action. From I can't the outer okay. table, Jamie. All right, okay. Like he's standing up to try and sweat and all in. One of the outer features, we are going to be heading over there. The cards. Sorry? Put some chips on your cards. Just don't let. Good guy, Chewy. It's like, don't let anything cool, happen to you. <laughs> so, what have we got over here? We've got Mustache Mark effectively all in. He's using up all of his time banks. And Andre Mukayan has put him all in. It's a battle of the time extensions right now <laughs> between Cedric and Mustache Mark, both all in wow. for their tournament lives. Or they're going to both be all in for their tournament lives. This is very much an online hand of poker. I don't know if you, when you're down to two tables, if you sweat the other table, but you'll see the person's time running out and they have to make the decision before you, so you're like, oh, good. I'll see if this person shoves or not, if I'm going to bubble or not. Back. This is hilarious that it's happening in real life. It really is. Oh, yeah, nice. I mean, Cedric's got... Cedric's got a lot of time banks. I wonder <laughs> how many Mark has. we got to have a better solution than this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Ren Lin's helping Cedric out. Just saying Mark's got two, two more time banks. So it sounds like Mark's going to be forced to show down first. I mean, at this point, he shouldn't use them, right? What's the point? Just tell him I got more. <laughs> okay, tell him not to waste them. That's that's true, I mean. Yeah, if he could be outlasted. So it's gone. Cut off effective jam. Big blind has run with it. Yeah, if I was Cedric, I'd just start waving them in the air and like, look, bud, <laughs> got five over here. Let's stop wasting everyone's I'm time. Rich with time extensions. Big spot for both. 
Poor Daniel. Just, all right. I'll just sit here and wait. Well, it makes sense. There's a $43,200 ladder between 21st and 20th. Survive one more elimination. Earn yourself four buy-ins. So, here we go. <laughs> zoom up on the table. 17 seconds left. Mustache Mark. Looks like he's got around 7 million in front of him. The thing's not been going great for him. Looks like around 14, 15 bigs or so. At one point, was he up to 30 million? Or he was, wow. yeah. He's hovering yeah. around the 30 million chip mark. So All right, deuces. Oh. Ducks against King Queen suited. Mark all in at risk. Looks like a safe flop, Jamie. Ace high. Is that a jack? So hard to tell from here. It is indeed. The deuces holding for Mustache Mark as he doubles <laughs> back up to around 15 million. Chat goes wild. Chat does go wild. Although I can't Flip. tell. It's very bad news for well our pal Cedric, David. though. He's going to need to win this flip if he wants to make the pay jump. He got me to take cold plunging more seriously recently. Yeah. Is this a little bit Touche moi deux, moi. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so you got to pull out all the stops to compete at that level. I did it after, after every practice, especially in the summertime when we had doubles. Oh, eight right in the window. It's like not. <laughs> Huit flop. It, it's so good to regenerate. Um, it's good to regenerate. It's good to regenerate. Hard, stay alive. Like I heard it's not good right after workouts. Is that not true? Dead on the turn, Jamie. It's brutal. Good game, bro. Nice playing with you, man. How's that? Good job. Disappointing because you basically just lost two flips. The first one yep. to make the pay jump and then the second one to bust you. I've done cryo with him and Aaron. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Um, what's yeah, that? 20 yeah. remain. Yeah. 0.5% of the field. More like, a, again, acquaintances from basketball. We, you know, we don't hang out. Guaranteed. You know, he knows my name. And, Very healthy. Six yeah. figures, 230,000 now. Yes. For their efforts, I will tell you the exact like number if my internet will <laughs> keep crashing. Welcome back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell yeah, you, the something. couch <laughs> in the booth is making this much more enjoyable. You notice that? I feel like we're chilling. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Oh, you're a tall guy though. You might need like the lumbar support or something. It's not that. It's just it's difficult to like. I feel like making eye contact <laughs> and all of that in commentary is important. Yeah. And when you're on the couch, you're just like laid back. It's like we're watching a TV show together. You I know. know. I like this though. Mm. Kicking it with like fifteen thousand people in chat. <laughs> you know. It's Watching nice. people flip for literally tens of thousands of dollars at the turn of a card. Maybe she doesn't play as much anymore. Yeah, I guess the couch can stay. <laughs> Four one million? Um, yeah, cool. Thank you. One point five. Daniel's sizing up here because Ren, Ren is in the big on a short stack. 1.5? Yeah, and actually, this is a hand. Sizing. He may still defend. <laughs> hand is good, but he definitely would have defended it to a min raise. 1.5. Yeah, he's always defending a suit king. Has to. I have to find out No, wow. that's, like, that's a really sick adjustment by Daniel. That was perfect. Wow. It done. Okay. Ren. <laughs> Again, announcing that he's folding <laughs> to the final table. Yeah, that was. Big. But the big jump was 30, 21, right? No, it was 22, and then um, the kid, the kid average busted down there. Did it? Yeah. So oh, the clock's wrong? Oh, that clock's definitely wrong. It should be 20. 
Is the clock wrong? Yeah, it's 20. Miss? Is the clock wrong? <coughs> is the number of players the left wrong? Up. It's 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, he oh, it's definitely 20. I promise, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I saw, I saw Eric signing his eyes. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why he was taken for so long because I didn't pay. Yeah, I, I saw the only, but I wasn't sure. He's not going to throw all his chips in those two, two ways. Yeah. I thought the shorter stack had doubled up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave it to you guys. Just two of us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's go. What happened to Good folding to the final oh, table? Oh, man. Uh -oh. He's running <laughs> straight into ace queen, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're going there. Yeah? Natural eight. I don't believe you. Natural, natural eight. eight. <laughs> you're going to have to prove it to me. You're only one. I got natural eight, so. Yeah. I mean, unlucky it. Chewy. Game. You tried. Unlucky Chewy. That's funny. Okay, I'm calling A one time. This is your one time? Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to save <laughs> mine. I want to strong. Look, he's like, wait for a better spot. <laughs> I want to save mine. It's a good spot. Okay, oh, yeah, a lot a of help. Yeah, nine of them. Nice for a second <laughs> there are some wait, possibilities. There are some possibilities. Send a heart. Yeah. <laughs> Send a heart. That's a good sweat. That is a good sweat card. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's yeah, not that great. One. Down to just two <laughs> outs. <laughs> GG's Red Lynn always no, fun really yeah. is such a shame but always humble in victory and gracious mm -hmm. in defeat going around shaking everyone's hand Lucky Chewy on the climb deep in day 5 you'd love to see it Yeah, you really do love to see it and Ren Lin for 20th Under place, taking home $236,000. Not too shabby. Arthur. It hurts a little less when you bust when you make that pay jump. That's true. Right here? I, no, no, no. I, I'd feel I'll better if he's right here. Level, yeah, because yeah, it's no, he can't gonna be there. a long day. <laughs> it's the dead spot now. In 10K. He can see the debut from Thursday. not that's even at the final table. That's, that's pretty insane. No, Thursday is the end of the tournament. Oh, Thursday is the end of the tournament? Oh, I thought the final table was um, on Thursday. Oh, what are we going here? Trying to figure out. Who has the sixes? It looks it's like Georgius with the sixes. Man, Georgius has been on quite. I'm saying it like you now. Georgius <laughs> has been on quite the spin. Now eliminating. Is that Alves? No, sixes of Jorgos eliminating Noel Rodriguez's ace queen suited pre four ball in. Oh, you think it'll take that much, huh? Or, or nine. Oh, so six. We'll get off to six. Six televised. Yeah, yeah six on think? Thursday. Yeah. That's, that's what it says on the sheet. And Ray said six on Thursday, so I'm assuming that's correct. Oh, you think it'll I mean, take seven or eight? Right? You think it'll take seven or eight levels tomorrow? I think it'll yeah. take a while. Oh, wow. Really? I don't yeah, I mean, I last year they played like an insane amount. Really? I don't think they, they Last don't year they played but don't, like but don't, don't, don't forget that they also skipped a few, bunch of levels. I don't know. The date is? Christmas is next. It's yeah, Christmas. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely not the same tournament. Do you, do you know how many came, do you know how many, uh, came in on, on day I, six last year? I would have to think harder about it. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming we're going to... We'll say, I guess the benefit for me is playing at the future. Tonight? Probably a bag around 17, 18. I think we're losing about two, two to four more. Maybe it's a little slower up here, but like. Yeah, if that's the case, then it probably won't nice. be. Easy. That's what I'm saying. Or maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, They're discussing right now, right? how long tomorrow is going to be. We're thinking the stacks, time. Stacks are just so shallow. You know what I mean? People are busting I mean, pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't think tomorrow is going to be as long of a day as they probably thought it was minutes? going to be. Ah, uh, 19 minutes or I believe it's almost 40. No, average is in 40. 40 big, 40 said. 40, 40, 40 blind. 40 blind. 30 yeah. 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 20. Yeah, whatever. Like 20, 30, yeah, 30, 30. yeah. yeah. So like someone is going to bust now. We're going to be down to 19, right? Uh, did, is Marta Rosane being moved back up to the feature? It looks like, yeah. For a moment, I thought he busted. Yeah, it was like, wow, that's a lot of chips. But no, no have a better view. 
He spent about five hands down there, and he's brought back up to the majors. Oh, it's 18. Yeah. <coughs> Someone was for also 16, next we got another redraw? When was uh, 19? Yeah. We lost yeah, two. Yeah. Wait, when is the next? 16 is the next page. Yeah. Right? Two more players. Yeah. Two more players, redraw again. Yeah. Not what Jimmy wants. Yeah. Last time he had position on our tour. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's a bit different. You prefer um, being uh, on the show by Um, Not really much of a preference. It's fun when you're here, we get to chat. <laughs> If I had a choice, I would, I would say no. I had a really cool experience last year, though. Uh, yeah? I'd never played with Doyle before. Oh. No, you're not big blind. You're not big blind. Straddle? Yeah, if you want to straddle, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> this is a day two or day three. Uh, it was me, Kuhn, and Doyle. Sick. Yeah. That's, That's one for the memory book. That was amazing, yeah. Let's <coughs> welcome back to the table. You have nine blocks? Oh, nine, exactly. Yeah. How did we get here? 18 left. It's one, correct? One minute. You commentate on this and you don't you don't want this once in your life? As if as in like jumping in? Yeah, like, like playing tournaments. Like thinking about what it would be like to put chips in a bag on the fifth day of playing a tournament, just going to sleep. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, I mean, I've had this conversation with so many people, and you know, I get a front row seat. Mm -hmm. Some of the best in the world doing it week in, week out. Yeah. I'm, you know, focused on other things in life. Maybe I'll just do a fade or and come back out of retirement <laughs> in a couple of years. But I really yeah. enjoy PLO Cash. Okay. Like, it, it's just something that I don't think I'll ever not love. There's just something about the game, and especially with the recent adoption. <coughs> of five card PLO becoming so popular it's it like a new game now mm -hmm. <laughs> studying and learning you know, kind of freestyling a lot just yeah. non-stop action I mean how do you guys do it how's this man done it Carl Shaw with the double up flopped a set of nines on the nine eight deuce all spades board And John Richards put him all in on the turn. Was it Queen Jack Nine? Looks like nine eight deuce all spades. Jack Queen filling out the board. Yeah, I'm a bit I'm not sure. But Carl Shaw doubling up. Very healthy stack now. We getting after it. Queen six suited from the button. Can you watch your cards carefully, please? Right. I Four, didn't, I seven didn't three offsuit. Can the you watch one. carefully your cards? But yeah, maybe, maybe one day, really Jamie, you'll be calling the action. I don't know. I feel like I'm still sick enough in the head to play PLO cash. But then at the same time, I feel like you guys are complete masochists. <laughs> You'll grind for four days. You want to flip for hundreds yeah, of thousands. And then lose yeah. ace-king against queens. You'd be like, oh, well, you know, that's just you know, part of the game. I think it might be why I prefer online tournaments, just because you could play a bunch and you don't get to this point of being like, you know, like wanting to cry if you lose a flip because you're yeah. in a bunch of stuff. Exactly. The great thing about cash games is when you get stacked, you just buy more chips. Exactly. You yeah. just call for more chips. <laughs> Your 35% is going to get there eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Who's got deeper pockets? Love PLO. Could see myself doing it here, though.
So I'm going to complete out the small. Daniel with a very playable Queen Ten of Diamonds. saying WPT and win a uh, great marriage flawless execution appreciate the kind words Gerald really does take a small army to pull off an event like this not just the live stream productions but all of the dealers and the floor staff and you know, the waiters and the waitresses yeah it's crazy how much people put into this time and effort several months of planning too and the funny thing is, uh, as soon as this is over, we'll have a meeting, everyone, and Angelica Hale will say, okay, it's time to start planning for next year. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that the other day, Jesse and I were in the booth, and I was just saying, like, it literally starts from January Yeah. to pull this off. Um, like nine, a little less, or a little more with that? Yeah, nine points. Uh, it's funny, I was on the same flight over from Heathrow to Vegas as Carl Shaw. We actually sat next to each other, and as we were getting off the plane, he jokingly said to me something along the lines of, you know, are you going to be commentating on me on day five? Wow. Deep in, <laughs> deep in the World Championship. You're going to be saying something along the lines of, what on earth is Carl Shaw doing here? You know, when you know people, you can have more fun, mm -hmm. and get away with you know what you can say in the booth. And the fact that he's still in is uh, <laughs> pretty wild. 18 left. He's had quite a bit of tournament success this year. Haven't seen much of him at the feature table. In fact, I don't believe we've had him at all. Sethiel with the Django's. Out of the small facing a lucky chewy open. Three point eight. You have four stacks of pink? And then this. Cool. I started with uh, just under 18. Thank you. Ace four suited the type of hand that can mess around, but Chewie's so zen connected to this whole universe. He just senses the kings. <laughs> no messing around there. Mm -hmm. Just lets Daniel take it as we throw it to a quick commercial. Better than playing poker? Playing poker on a boat. We're giving away a $12,400 package to the WPT Voyage, including a buy-in to a major tournament with a $1 million guarantee. Sign up at WPT Global using the link in the description below. Use the promo code PLAY and deposit $1 and you're in for a chance to set sail on the poker cruise of a lifetime. Mine has a very heard it there. Right WPT Voyage coming soon. Different than other cruises that have been poker oriented, this one is going to be completely taken over by just poker players. They're renting out the whole cruise. And there's several big guarantees. See our scoreboard, Martyrosian with 75 big blinds, crushing everybody at the table. Lucky Chew with 47, Daniel Sepio 40, and then we have Ardit, Ade, and Henrique all somewhat short. Need to make moves soon. So I was a bit distracted. When are we going on this cruise? <laughs> believe it's March, end of March, I think. Okay. We have qualifiers on WPT Global running now. We streaming it? Are we streaming it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought past this series. You're forgiven. One bit. You're forgiven. There's Although I could see streaming from a boat. <laughs> Maybe being a bit choppy, <laughs> internet connection and all, pun intended. Yeah. Maybe I'm not trying to think play. if like 
it would be fun or terrifying to be stuck on a cruise with a bunch of poker players. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> you just like sat by the pool trying to relax, read a book, and you just keep over. So I had kings. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not doing this. Uh, we're not doing a great job promoting it, are we? <laughs> it would be great, chat. All of you that love telling us bad beat stories, you can all come together as a collective. Mm -hmm. Looks like Enrique uh, is going to be flipping for his tournament life. I don't yeah, think Chewie's going to be folding for 16. Not six handed, that's for sure. Yeah, the Turbo, right? Yeah. How much is it? No snap oh, call, but 16 and a half bigs. I think maybe my favorite. And then Pana's on. They're like, super fast. 8.275. Does make the call. Cards on their back. Biggest flip of Enrique's live poker career. And it's not even close. And there's the next pay jump is at 16 players. Love These this. are really scary flips to have to take. Right. Who has what? Two ESA skin? What? What's the other two in order? Yeah, I'm his king, he's mine. Fair fight. 17.3 million in the middle. Five, four, three, two Those spades. No club. Enrique picking up an additional four outs. Not sure I agree. Right. <laughs> it creates some excitement. I mean, king of hearts is even worse for you. Yeah, I don't disagree with that either. <laughs> Chop outs now. See what Guru to do a space, right? <laughs> hey, I'm not greedy. Can't be, right? Does no good. Oh, Ace. what dagger. Ace is going to double up. He's still in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jeez. Good end. Right, sorry. Dagger to the Chewy fans out shop. there. Ace good. of diamonds, corner pocket. It's late, it's late. Yeah, that would have been a 32 million chip stack in front of nice Chewy, but he's still doing well. I would take a chop. No, I'm, I'm just thinking about Deuce 7 for, for, uh, for a chop, yeah. <laughs> Chewy's I, like, I'll take a chop it's now. Right here. <laughs> it's right here. He's so incredibly stoic. Hello. Hello. That comment Please. would have made uh, me flip the table. It's like, <laughs> hang on, mate, let me just, you know, bask in my misery for a yep. second about you binking the river <laughs> rather than making a joke about chopping it. Should we just like, yeah, me still, too. You know, Super stoic. He's still in this with 18 left and 31 big ones. Not too much to be upset about. Well, well, well. Artur Martyrosian out in pole position. 75 bigs with 18 left. WPT World Championship live from the win in Las Vegas. Final level of play this evening. Bagging and tagging. Coming back tomorrow for day six, playing down to the final table of six. Have about 45 minutes or so left on the clock, I believe. A small line versus big line battle, and Ricky just raising about three and a half X. The ace queen and Chewy defending queen jack. Eight six 
four, two diamonds, no help for either. Mark Kirk saying the action dealer is back. <laughs> it's about to get real. Yeah, strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up Lally. and deal. Tree perhaps with a path to victory. Cross flop, turn and river. small bet, 800k in position on this four liner. He gets it done. Nice pick up for Chewy after losing that huge flip. So the pay jump we're looking at now is $55,000 if they can make it to 16th place. Seems like a lot. Only what? 55K? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's. <that's> I'm dying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. That's, um, that's yeah. brutal. I've been there as well in the booth, and you just... Oh, my God. The, the one time um, one I committed to nine days straight of commentary at the lodge, and I had my flight plan and everything, and I had bronchitis for an entire month. Oh, no. To the point where I lost my voice for three days, and I still went there, and it because I felt great. I wasn't sick anymore. And I had a coughing fit like every five minutes, but it was like uh, like a, an emergency attack one. And I was, yeah, it was brutal for anyone listening. That's rough. <laughs> that is rough. Yeah, I've, I've had my fair share of... I had food poisoning. <laughs> oh no, that's not me, good in the me booth either. Me and Maria had oh. it at the same time. And you guys are the only two? Oh my God, horrible. From, from oysters. <laughs> I was literally running from the booth to the bathroom next to the booth <laughs> to throw up. Run back in. Run back out to throw up again. It was, oh, yeah, no. It was it's good, good times, good times. <laughs> Daniel setting fire to 800k. Yep. Oh, Jack 5-4 on its flopped best. Top pair. Skull Mike in the chat saying, I had bronchitis for weeks after. I See, Skull Mike, this what? is what I'm worried about. <laughs> Jamie just out here poisoning. I'm poisoning you? All of the commentators is... Mm. We got outer table action. Double up. Here we go. It's like Jason Min getting the full double from John. John with King Five of Spades putting Jason all in. Jason snap calling with pocket eights on the seven six four deuce board. 
Took John with the over and open ender. Managed to hold with the eights. And John giving quite a few chips back. Perhaps more chips being given back here. Yeah, this is an interesting turn card. Dana with not much of it on the flop has reason now to barrel the turn as well. Ardit's making the call though with his top pair. Wow. <laughs> and the flush comes in. Oh my word, back what a time. Backdoor flush, so hard to see. The backdoor Bangkok coming into <laughs> fruition. 18 left, deep into day five. Four to a straight on board also. Does he just go for it all here? I mean, 8.5 in the middle. Yeah, it's just 6.8 effective stacks. All in. All in. This is where I just get snapped off by a three of arms. <laughs> in a world of pain here. Looks like such an under bluff spot. Yep. Maybe like an ace king, ace queen with ace of hearts. pairs like sevens and eights wouldn't really bomb turn and river they have a lot of showdown it feels like offsuit ace x king queen o Struggling to find bluffs. I mean, all of those ones that I listed, I feel like I'm, I'm stretching. Oh, oh my God. word. Pain. Ardit makes the call. Thank you, puts brother. on the cape. And just like that, out in 18th, Daniel up to 31.4 million now. I'm wondering if that heart doesn't come in if that river was still getting bluffed, because clearly it was not going to work. Clearly. I did not expect that. And just like that. Aren't it picking up $236,000 for his efforts, though? Really nice run. Wow, that one really caught me off guard. I mean, it just came out of nowhere. The Jack 5-4 board. Felt like we we're going to be seeing just the C-bet call and then <coughs> that's it. Hand over and done yeah. with. <laughs> I mean, oh. maybe it just looked bluffier with the four-liner out there. Yeah. It's desperate. It's like backdoor hearts or nothing, really. I want this, but I need this. <laughs> You do have these three suited and stuff like that, though, raising a hijack. They said I can choose? Um, oh, Daniel just letting go of the King Jack five handed, by the way. Take mm -hmm. note. Maybe because Artor's in the big. GG's are it, by the way. I mean, loved having him around. Really unfortunate run out. Mine's a one with no yeah, lettering. Thank you. One new Five thousand yeah. five hundred dollars. You can read it if you tilt it right. Pay yeah. jump between seventeenth and sixteenth. 
Slots players. <laughs> What's that? I said slots players with silver cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to out us on TV. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tried to grind a black card playing UTH, but I just lost too quick. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. Probably just keep trying. Yeah. As one of my friends likes to say, if you keep gambling, you can't lose. I think that's the dance that's saying. Most people just quit too early. <laughs> Sound, sounds like a dance yeah. myth saying. Day in the hijack with aces, gonna min raise so far, not running into anything that could give him any money. Queen six suited in the big blind, probably worth appeal. And we're gonna see three. Interesting flop. King eight five two spades. Not a wanted the action, but if we can make a big pot here, it means he's losing. Two point seven out there. Very awkward SPR for Daniel with the queen high spades. Eight hundred. Are they naturally continuing with the aces? Just shy of one third. Daniel, again, five handed, has options. I think getting four to one, I'd probably just peel one. Oh. There we go. Seems to agree with you on that one. 4.3 million in the middle. If that king was a lower card and you think that you've. Uh, that queen's going to be a problem, but if you think that your overcard's good too, you may want to just get it in there. But I think facing Ade, who's been relatively tight, I'd be worried I was just getting in really bad. But now he's got the pair and a flush draw. Checks over to Ade. Yeah, 32% equity with one to come. Are they going to look to set this up? 3.2. Turn and river goes big. Correctly recognizing the amount of draws out there. And given this stage of the tournament with ICM, yes, we want to extract value from hands like aces, but also just denying equity, not giving your opponent the right price to realize you know, spade draws, open enders, really charging down to the max here. Here we go, 10 million plus in the middle. 3.6 million behind. A lot of outs for Daniel. Not one of them. Aces stay good. That's a really nice river card. Yeah. So I know not to state the obvious, but... You're feeling good against even the king-queen now, so... And I'm assuming that Daniel peeled there just because he was getting direct odds to do so. And obviously the implied odds that he'd have some hidden two pairs and stuff that would get paid off. But I doubt he's going to pay off this river shove. Yeah, the line just so strong. Oh, that looks Ooh, like a check just back check face. Back. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Got a little scared of the trip eights or something? I don't know. It's tough because that, that was a very nice card for him. Unless he just felt like he was getting trapped at some point in the hand, like a king eight, pocket fives, I don't know. I mean, it was unlikely to get paid off anyway, even though he, w he was going to be giving very good odds, so no harm.
still three-handed in the Prime Championship. Who's Jip leading? It's currently Alan Penson, Chip leader with 52 wow. bigs. Calvin Anderson in second with 39. Jay Lou with 15. All guaranteed 675,000 for all their efforts. Alright, obviously didn't love that river. Still seven-handed in the million dollar big one for one drop. Final seven players are on break. It's Nikita Batikowski, chip leading that one. Are they not interested in defending the big? Yeah, thank you. VJ Brand asking if we're going to the final table today. We're not. We're playing to the end of this level, and then we're calling it a day. Tomorrow, day six, we're playing down to the FT. We have about 30 minutes left or so today's stream. Unless One Matt Savage seven. comes in and says, Hey guys, do you want to play down to the FT tonight? I mean, it could, <laughs> it could be a thing. If everyone agrees and he asks, look, we'll play down to the FT tonight. You take tomorrow off. Final table on Thursday. I shouldn't really be saying that out loud, <laughs> just in case he's listening. I mean, that's something they let us do with Prime. It was going to go till 6 in the morning. Um, and they said, we're just going to stop it at 9 instead of streaming all the way to 6. Okay. Because the players were more important than the stream. Yeah. Which I think was sense. a really good decision. Oh. <laughs> you're you're starting to fade. I see the he Henry kinda slumped down. <laughs> You're going to be on the floor by the time this is over. All these players are starting to look a little fatigued as well. I mean, look, they've been grinding for five days. I, I tip my hat to each and every one of them. The mental fatigue is brutal. You're thinking at such a high level for five days straight, especially the last couple of days where, you know, the ICM and pay jumps, it's it's rough. Ricky's just gonna limp the small with King Seven suited. Julie Queen Ten off. And that's gonna play pretty well in position. He's gonna check back. He's four three two diamonds. Check, check. 
Nine of clubs. This board is just completely breaking for both players. Might be a board that both are content to actually show down. Yeah. yeah, king, queen high. would be surprised if Chewie starts betting at this one. Queen, ten high has a decent amount of showdown. Although, I guess when Henrique is also content to show down, you got to put some king highs in his range. Just not a lot in the pot to fight over. Are you going to play that? Or were you going to play that? If you weren't in the main? One mil? Check. I know, but if you weren't in this, were you going to play that? Does go check, check. Nice little pick up there for the Brazilian. <laughs> Funny, I can't tell when my voice is gonna go away until I start it. <laughs> Sorry, chat. So it sounds like when someone's dying in the booth. That's the problem. We have a uh, health insurance. Oh, <laughs> WPT. Yeah. Listen, I, know, I know how expensive it gets out here. If I if I die, just make sure someone takes care of new. Oh, guaranteed. Uh, probably. I got you. <laughs> There'd probably be like a custody <laughs> battle over him. <laughs> were you going to play Chewie if you weren't in the main? No. no. I didn't prepare it. Arthur, you were going to play? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I said already that the problem is to find the trade. To find what? To find the trade uh, crypto to test. Trade. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> crypto. That's the one problem. million crypto. Fair enough. <laughs> Same reason Alex didn't play? Uh, not only this. He doesn't want a lot of attention to him. Fair enough, then let's talk about something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Change the subject. <laughs> Holds to Chewy in the small blind. He's going to limp the sevens. Artur checks back the king eight. We've had some very civilized blind versus blind pots lately. King ten deuce. Got DMS in the chat saying, can you guys give Ben Jacobs a shout, shout out? Currently... Still in this tournament. All right. Just as I say that, on the outer table, looks like we're down to the final two tables. Tens holding against Ace Ten. Andre Bokayan out of the hands of Ben Jacobs. Just as I was giving him a shout out from wow. the Hawaii crew. There it's actually go. amazing that someone could get this deep in the tournament and kind of hang out on the outer tables quite Haven't a bit, never drawing it. the feature. No, same with Carl Shaw. Haven't seen anything of Carl. Do believe with that we're going to be going on break at the conclusion of this hand as we're having a final two table redraw. Chewy with more races in his range as he limped from the small. But he's just going to check, try to show down his sevens. Trying to decide if he can extract value with his king, and he's, he's gonna go for a little bit. Very small bet. We break yeah, Twenty percent on the river. Maybe trying to get looked up by a curious queen high or a hand exactly like this. Twenty-five. All right, the price is right, I guess. 
Very nice bet. Artur gets paid up to 38.7 million now. And with that recent elimination, Jamie, we're down to the final two tables. So we will be going on a very short 10 minute break. Final two tables here at the WPT World Championship. Deep into day five. Don't go too far. We'll be back very shortly. Yeah, reef shots. You read my mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, I noticed you're looking at it. You've seen my octopus teacher, the documentary. Yes, yeah. it was incredible. <laughs> you just snap with reef sharks. No, actually, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think it is leopard sharks. Oh. Um, leopard sharks and black tips. On. Here we go. All right. Cedric with the raise off of eight on the cutoff. Yeah, I think that is to buy himself some time and try to make this pay jump. We got a stack of <laughs> time chips that are going in. Oh. So Excuse the graphic, by the way. Cedric's effectively jammed yeah, and only has like 250 back. Just counting those time chips. Can't fault him. It's about 40 grand. If someone else will bust before I mean, him. Oh, he's got a lot. Oh, no. Here we go again, Jamie. Yep. <coughs> this one's slightly different to the one that you and Jesse had. Because there has been an <laughs> all in action. He's getting yeah. called. I stand up to watch the action, or am I allowed oh, to stand up? Oh, it sounds like there's action from the outer okay. table, Jamie. All right, okay. Look, he's standing up to try and sweat an all-in. One of the outer features, we are going to be heading over there. Cards. Sorry? Put some chips on your cards. Just don't let Good guy, Chewy. Like, don't let really anything cool, happen to you. <laughs> so... What have we got over here? We've got Mustache Mark effectively all in. He's using up all of his time banks. And Andre Mukayan has put him all in. It's a battle of the time extensions right now <laughs> between Cedric and Mustache Mark. Both all in wow. for the tournament lives. Or they're going to both be all in for their tournament lives. This is very much an online hand of poker. I don't know if you, when you're down to two tables, if you sweat the other table. But you'll see the person's time running out. And they have to make the decision before you. So you're like, oh, good. I'll see if this person shoves or not, if I'm going to bubble or not. Back. This is hilarious that it's happening in real life. It really is. Oh, yeah, nice. I mean, Cedric Scott. Cedric's got a lot of time banks. I wonder <laughs> how many Mark has. We gotta have a better solution than this. Mm. <laughs> that sounds like Renlin's helping <laughs> Cedric out. Just saying Mark's got two, two more time banks. So it sounds like Mark's going to be forced to show down first. I mean, at this point, he shouldn't use them, right? What's the point? Just tell him I got more. <laughs> okay, tell him not to waste them. That's That's true, I mean. Yeah. If you could be outlasted. So it's gone. Cut off effective jam. Big blind has run with it. If I was Cedric, I'd just start waving them in the air. Like, look, bud, <laughs> got five over here. Let's stop wasting everyone's I'm time. Rich with time extensions. Big spot for both. 
poor Daniel. Just all right. I'll just sit here and wait. Well, it makes sense. There's a forty-three thousand two hundred dollar ladder between twenty-first and twentieth. Survive one more elimination. Earn yourself four buy-ins. So, here we go. We'll <laughs> zoom up on the table. 17 seconds left. Mustache Mark. Looks like he's got around 7 million in front of him. The thing's not been going great for him. Looks like around 14, 15 bigs or so. At one point, was he up to 30 million? Or he was, wow. yeah. It's hovering yeah. around the 30 million chip mark. So All right, deuces. Oh. Ducks against King Queen suited. Mark all in at risk. Looks like a safe flop, Jamie. Ace high. Is that a jack? So hard to tell from here. It is indeed. The deuces. Holding for Mustache Mark as he doubles back up to around 15 million. Chat goes wild. Chat does go wild. Although I can't it's tell. It's very bad news for well, our pal Cedric, maybe though. He's going to need to win this flip if he wants to make the pay jump. He got me to take cold plunging more seriously recently. Yeah. Vas-y, touche-moi un petit peu, là. Touche-moi deux mois. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so you got to pull out all the stops to compete at that level. I did it after, after every practice, especially in the summertime we had doubles. Oh, eight right in the window. It's like not. <laughs> it flop. It it's so good to regenerate. Um, it's good to regenerate. It's like so I heard it's not good right after workouts. Is that not true? Dead on the turn, Jamie. It's brutal. Good game, bro. Nice playing with you, man. How's that? Thank you. Disappointing because you basically just lost two flips. I, I the first one yep. to make the pay jump and then the second one to bust you. I've done cryo with him and Aaron. Oh, you did? back for WPT World Championship Day 5 from Win Las Vegas. I'm Jamie Kerstetter here with Henry Kilbane and we're really getting down to it. 20 minutes left on the clock, Jamie. 20 minutes left of Day 5. Can you imagine if you'd asked any of these final 16 when they first registered the tournament they'd be making it this far. Your friend said he was going to be here. That's true. That is true. Carl Shaw on my flight I think it was more so just his kind of jesting that I'd be commentating on him butchering some hands but I don't think he's been butchering many so he's worked his way down to the final 16 here we go John by the way on a bit of a downward spiral was up to 45 million back down to 27 Ben Heath like 29 million what a stacked feature table we have here This is a rough seat draw. We've got okay. three of the tournament chip leaders here. Artur, Ben, and John Richards. And they don't redraw for day six, right? This is going to be the only redraw until the final table. Is that how it works? I yeah. think so. Okay. I thought they just did random seat draws at the start of each day. I think when it's down to like three tables down that they just, this is the set. Yeah, like if they stopped right now, they'd come back to this table. I'm not 100% on that though. Yeah, like we should probably put yeah, some money down there. Right. 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 Oh, um, now I think I'm wrong because you're trying to make 20 bucks off me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm confident, I you're confident. I mean, there's only I one way to get on this. this. I'm just trying to get the way of the way. Friendly 
10, 20 dollars. Uh, enough <laughs> to make it interesting, but also enough to make sure that we stay friends. All right, bet, 20. Yeah? I bet that they keep these tables. Okay, all right, okay, yeah. okay, okay. You see, maybe you you've got me here, chat. Maybe I feel like I might win this one. The trapper has become the trappy. <laughs> he has a diet coke in his hand. <laughs> Being out leveled <laughs> by Jamie yeah. in the booth. I don't know. I might have lost twenty. You could just do what Ash. Unfortunately, did. I haven't been in this spot enough in my life to know Neither for sure I. what happens. What'd she do? I mean, she just didn't pay me. So <laughs> how many do you have now? <laughs> What'd you guys bet on? Uh, we bet the on the number left, right? The number left Good at the start of the day. Mm -hmm. Damn, I said you know <laughs> 45. <laughs> <laughs> she came in hot with 33. You must I was like, okay, book. So I the line being at 39 and a half. Mm -hmm. We finished on exactly 45. Yeah, I'm not trying to All brag. Right, okay. okay but I would have wrecked your life today if we you bet on the number left. Yeah, I would've. said 16. I said 14 and then readjusted to 16. No, you, you were looking at it. like 22. Yeah, you absolutely smashed it. But I think I'm going to lose 20 bucks to you anyway in this other bet. We'll see. We'll see. I, honestly, it's a fun bet because I, I'm, I have no <laughs> idea. So I, I just I feel think like it would be flipping. weird if they redrew just to redraw again in 20 minutes. Yeah. Tomorrow. Raphael waking up with aces on the button. Right, a good one. spot to have them. It's going to min raise. And I love that hoodie. He looks very snugly. That's a great hoodie. Are they going for the deep reach pill? And Mark with nothing. That's right, mustache Mark. Okay. Let's call him by his name. Excuse me. Yes. His name's in the title. <laughs> if right. he shaves tonight. Oh, no. If he oh shaves man. for the final table, that would be... Miserable, yeah. Wow. Oh, I might do that afterwards. Get a little massage. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, we're on. We're doing it. saying Mark wouldn't betray us like that. I, I, <laughs> I kind of agree, although... It would be an excellent troll move, though. Exactly. That, that's the thing I'm concerned about is the snap fold after all of the time banks being used with the Jack-10 earlier on. <laughs> He's just a natural born, born mm -hmm. meme lord. So maybe he just shaves it off for the FT. I don't know. We'll see. He's got to get there first. Currently rocking a 25 big blind stack. Ben raising up sixes plus one. Defendable nine eight offsuit in the big blind. Nine four three two spades. Really nice spot for Georgia, especially facing Ben's sixes, which are gonna feel pretty good on this flop. It's a fun one, sixes yeah. with the six of spades. Especially sixes are going to feel pretty good on this flop, but they also yeah. need protection. So I'm going to bet. In really bad shape against the 9 8, though. the turn, Ben improves to a gut shot to go with his pair. 9-8 still in the lead. 
Yeah, not deliberately giving us outs here in the booth, but it does feel like Ben has all of the options on the table. Could see a sizable double barrel to then check back. Seem also going small. Well, we may not even get to see that. Interesting. Gyorgios opting to lead with his top pair. It's actually Gyorgios kind of trying to buy the river, if you will, with this smaller sizing. Just trying to dictate the size of the pot. Do you think he was just thinking it's going to get checked back so often and like a size overs are going to have a lot of equity he's trying to deny? Yeah, realize the free. Fold out hands like King 10, sure. Queen Jack, although you beat those, so I don't know. Yeah. Bit of a strange lead. These pairs of the river, 9 8 still good. Feels incredibly awkward lead turn with this hand and, like bet river just opens the door for us to get put in the absolute bin because so you're still up against an under the gun one range which includes all kinds of over pairs ben's not gonna have nothing when he calls the turn but against ben's specific hand this was a very effective lead on the turn and on the river We've got to get us up to 23.6 million. What a day it's been for the Greekman. I mean, today's graph just feels like it's been an upward trend for most of the day, although he was you all in for his tournament life. Number of hands. Yeah. Final three tables. We don't draw? Redraw. Yeah, they should. No, because there's no redraw. Like, I win 20 we bucks. We usually do it for redraw, so you can't stall into the blinds, but we're going to come back to the same table. Oh, oh, oh no. I win! <laughs> No. Weren't you just saying that nobody wins money off of you in the booth? How? But I win twenty dollars. Well, I want to hear it from Matt Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we already redraw. Huh? We already did the redraw. No last time. So we we'll continue the, the same. same ah, table. yeah. Same, same seats. And I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, okay. I'll see it when I believe it. Good one, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> That time I'm just of trying night. to figure out what I can do with that twenty dollars so that I can mock you endlessly. Hey like Siri, what I should buy. What can you buy in, in Las Vegas for twenty dollars? I'm not doing it. Oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, nothing. I know what that means. Sandwich. Oh, I did actually buy a nineteen dollar sandwich oh. earlier. It was delicious. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I don't. I pay my debts immediately. <laughs> I trust that. You're here. a Lannister. Thank you. Easiest twenty dollars of your life. I didn't even. I didn't even get my money's worth. I can't worth. believe he just said it on stream. That was so satisfying. I didn't even get my money's worth. Like, to, to wait until tomorrow to pay you. <laughs> like, I, I got, like, 30 minutes worth of value out of my 20 bucks right <laughs> now. What's going on? Unbelievable. It's going to be so satisfying when we come back tomorrow with new tables <laughs> and you have to pay me 20 I'm and not, then 20. I'm not giving it back. And I'm definitely not giving you an extra 20. <laughs> Bar Charlie saying, buy Henry a country music album. Okay. Yeah. People really ran with that rodeo thing. I mentioned right. that you were at the rodeo. <laughs> it's like you really wanted to be here, but well, people, he's a big country music fan. You know, people are really doing their best trying to wingman me. What are they saying? Here. No, just in the States in general. They're just like, yeah, Henry, go to the rodeo, f find yourself a cowgirl. Cow girl, yeah. Ashley Frank was saying that, you know, that's what I need to do. People mm -hmm. are trying to get me to come out and live here. Lance Bradley has been trying to get me to come and live out here. It's a good place to live. I I'm mean, a fan of this place. I, I agree. It's sunny, and you, you get to just be happy every day in the sun. That's good. Plus, there are cowgirls, apparently. apparently. Limp hot line versus blind. Dorios flopping the flush draw. Queen pairs in the turn. Neither player too happy about that, but... Just a stab is going to get this one done. You say that, Jamie? Yeah. I've never seen a man who's getting a massage bluff.
Ben. So we bet when whoever has the button, we bag bags the button, then, right? Okay. You think, right? Like I. Yeah, this is what they said. Yeah, whoever has the like the normal thing. Sick brag. He's been here so many times. He knows exactly what they do. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying I don't. I've never really played. I haven't played yeah, we're like well, for 25 days before we leave today. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I mean, we just read the. Yeah. We read again. I mean, we do it all. Okay. Uh, apologies, Jesse, uh, Sylvia. Sorry, dude. Can buy, but it's in the I chat saying that Ashley's getting know. credit for hooking me up with the cowgirls. Hang on now, guys. Chill, chill. <laughs> you both get credit. I'm down 20 bucks. Don't kick a man whilst he's down. At least you said it at 20. Could have been worse for you. You were pretty confident. Oh, I, I always keep it friendly in the booth. Come on. <laughs> Day in the hijack pocket tens. How is Jesse Sylvia not a moderator on the channel, by the way? I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> <That's brutal. laughs> GG's, you guys. We hired uh, experienced mods from a bunch of other Twitch and YouTube streams to be like professional mods for us here. Maybe we just, you know, we're not professional. Yeah, that's I, I'm a moderator. Wow, yeah. I'm about to riot. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's five minutes of play left. Penn's gonna defend the big blind with King-9 suited. Five, four, three, rainbow. Ten still good. Could occasionally lead a board like this from the big blind. Does hit your range. It's gonna go for it. Yeah, ben really just applying the pressure. That end of day five bubble kind of looming as well. Jamie, their heads up in the prime championship, oh by the baby. way. J. Lou eliminated in third place for 675,000. So it's Pinson versus Cal? It is this indeed. It's going to be a good battle. No, is it a last are they making the call? Understandably so. Five pairing on the turn. If Ben's got a couple more barrels left in him, it could be very effective. It may just be a one and done with a specific hand, though. What do you think? If the five was a spade, maybe, but yeah, seems a little ambitious to try to just empty the clip. Does. Especially with Ade being kind of shallow. Maybe does shut down. I would be checking back my pens, though. This is a bit concerning, right? When the top top yeah. card pairs. Yeah, it's not a board you're thrilled about playing for it all. Yeah, Ben's a tricky customer. Certainly sure. have some traps here. There we go, check, check. So at this stage, just so much pot control because of ICM. You see a lot of people taking these more passive lines. Ben takes another stab at this, just try and fold out some ace highs. The old bet check bet line. Yeah, he does shut down. You look at me, and I thought it was a It was, I just checked. I'd be happy to just knuckle and show down the tens here.
hammer's on Ben right now, but he checked all day with the decision if he wants to try to value bet these tens or just check back and pick up the four milli. There we go. Does check through. Are they back up to 15 million and change? We are to the last hand of the day. And then these guys are going to bag their chips and come back tomorrow to play down to the final table. It's going to be a redraw though, right? <laughs> Thank you. What am I going to spend this $20 on? I need to buy something that I'm going to keep and taunt you with. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I, either, it has to be either treats for new. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. That's where all my money okay. goes anyway. All right, fair enough. Yeah. No, no, I but I'll just send you a video every day of him eating your treats <laughs> like, thanks, Uncle Henry. <laughs> do it. I love that. Final hand of day five. One epic five days coverage of this world championship live from the win here in Las Vegas. Looking likely that we'll be returning with 16 tomorrow, playing down to the final table of six. Also worth mentioning that tomorrow, Jamie Kersitter and Nick Shulman will be bringing you coverage of the million dollar WPT big one for one drop final table. So keep an eye on the World Poker Tour social channels for all news relating to the streams. Yeah, I'm checking that out right now if they're down to their six yet. Seven still, I believe. Yeah. That's what I last saw. Might go out there and sweat that until they get to the final. I'm going to be back for day six. Same time, same place with Jesse Sylvia tomorrow. I believe we'll be going live around 12.30. Between 12 and 1 p.m. local time. It just depends on how on time people are from a player point of view. I may get to watch your commentary wrap up to a final table and then do the one drop. I think we're at 4 or 4.30. Oh, really? Yeah. That was the plan. Um, so Mark with the open. Artur in the big. 8-7 of diamonds. Likely to defend here. Last hand of the night could be fireworks. Yep, 4 p.m. one drop final table. Okay. So you guys don't have to multi table as much. They might not overlap quite as much as we thought when we were going to be coming back with so many more players in our mind. Mark with a really nice flop, ace king four, two hearts. Got the flush draw and the gut shot. This hand should be over and done with. Close Mustache up. Mark, the fan favorite, <laughs> taking down the final hand of day five. Like Jamie, we're yeah. down to 16 <laughs> in the yeah, World Championship. Go. Tomorrow's going to be really exciting. One epic day of poker. See who's chip leading to end the night. Artur, pole position at this table. Going to be coming back tomorrow with 60 big blinds. Everyone guaranteed 291,700 for their efforts. Playing down to six tomorrow is Ben Jacobs. Leading the field with 46,400,000. Jamie. It's been an absolute pleasure. This has been really fun. Um, thanks a lot. And I hope everyone tunes back in tomorrow for Henry and Jesse Sylvia to bring this down to a final table. It's going to be awesome. From us here in the booth, end of day five, we're going to wish you good night.